Let me know if you can hear me, if you can see shit, if you're ready to fuck. I gotta go get my Twitch alert shit set up. I forgot to do that. What's going on in Modder? Zero Game Boy computerless citizen cy phoenix fire loud and slurred what i'm slurring right now i sound like I've, I've been on the uh been taking a little bit too much of the jankum it's probably because i just woke up woke up at like 9 30 dude <laughs> it's 10 30 now for reference just in just in case you don't know my time zone what's good hoifs abyssal spirit arty toy Crantix, kyer Oaken Shields, you're welcome, computerless citizen. Hello, dank dreams don't die. Happy Sunday, a happy end of your weekend, motherfuckers. Are you ready for the week? <laughs> Are you, you ready for Monday, bitch? You fucking ready? What's going on, Battleship? Pit Panther? Goddamn. No, nobody ever is. Nobody ever is. Nobody likes Monday. What game is this? It is a RPG roguelike-ish thing called Fear and Hunger. It looks fucking retarded in a good way. I hope you guys are going to like it. If not, then I can just fuck off and go back to bed. But we'll see. It looks like it could be pretty cool. It's something new. It's something, at the very least, I really doubt any of you have seen. It's like this really obscure fucking indie game. And it actually costs money. I had to pay... Seven whole dollary dues to play this fucking game. Just on my side, refresh, Artie Toy. What's good, Spell Sling, Spectrum Warrior, Swift Darkness, Doth Monk, Sly Cooper, Mr. Marv, Rumble, Neapolitan, Pinocchio, CT4. Thank you, Rumble, for the one year resub. I appreciate it, dog. Hello, Blue Hat TV, Rithlin. I've seen it. Well, I, I imagine you're in the minority. I'm sure there are people who've seen it, but I. It's one of the more obscure games I could pick. Because I could pick any fucking game and somebody's seen it, right? Like, unless I, I get some really, really, really hood rat shit. Like, make my own game or some fucking nonsense. What's going on, Incremancer? Thank you for the 19-month resub. Hello, Slavith. Cody RC. Sanic. Thank you, Chromatic Crow, for the one-year resub. I'm glad you feel it was worth it. Uh... Hopefully, here's to another year of me being a retard. I missed the last stream. Did you like Toy Story World? I did, and I found all of the all of the emblems and all of the chests in both Toy Story and Tangled. So, save for gummy ship bullshit, we're mostly at 100% completion for the worlds we've been to. Hello, Sushi Fish, Siphonia, Desiree Rose. That money could have been used for Diet Coke. True. Hello, Aku. I go full potato. Red toddy. Spinetto. Charizard. Thank you, Totes Not Geo, for the prime resub. I appreciate it. Thank you very much for using that on my stupid ass. And thank you, Wolfotic, for the six months. I'm glad you're enjoying RuneScape. Hello, Riz. Dunkzinski. B. Rorycorn. Tremazix. McGelatin. ICMD. Nani two three two one three and President Chicken. So if I sound weird, it's because, like I said, I have, I have like, I don't know what you would call it. I I have gunk when I just wake up. Like it takes me maybe two hours to get all the shit out of my sinuses and and whatnot. So it's if I sound different, I'm not sick. I'm not in a bad mood. It's literally because I just I woke up like an hour ago. <laughs> so I. I woke up earlier, but I'm like, eh, I could just go the fuck back to sleep. And so I did. I did. I went I went the fuck back to sleep so I could be fully energized. Hello, Vakev, Geo, Brother Hindo, QB Cube, Henroy, Sko, Electric Raichu, Texas Smash My Ass. How are you doing? I'm doing great. Yesterday, I was, yesterday was perhaps one of the most boring days of my entire fucking life. And thank you, Joe Mobe, for the two-month resub. I appreciate it. Hello, Papa Fubi, Sozoi, Nebra, Chad, Nazar, 
Gojira, BK. Thank you for the 14 month resub, Texas Smash My Ass. Hello. How was ESO? Yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'm getting to that. I'm getting to that. This is It's time for my 20 minute bloviation session. What's going on, Chrysan? Hunter War. I think I've heard people mention that game, but I don't know what the fuck it is. Hello, Avid the Adept. Tentacle Rat. Mez is here. Vicious Peach. I say yesterday was boring. So yesterday, I really wanted to stream, actually. That's why. I was like, man, I could be playing fucking Kingdom Hearts right now. That asshole, Cryotolic, wasn't well, didn't have his fucking LNC stream. Like, I actually really wanted to stream yesterday, and I'm just like, fuck. I, so I went over to Rune, uh, Hank's RuneScape stream, and him and, a, and one of my mods were killing a bear in the wilderness. Like, they were fighting a boss. And so, you know what I did, right? And thank you, Communism, for the 15 month resub. Hello, Andesu. Damies Bunston. Me and another person from our clan chat, we fucking went in there. Pew, pew, pew. We, we shot the motherfuckers. We went I like I went in there with my dark ball. I, I failed to kill my target, but Iguana in your ass killed Hank and we completely just shit on their fucking bear expedition. They got fucked, dude. Like two of us. Like and we we didn't even we didn't uh coordinate. We didn't coordinate. So we, we both, both me and Iguana decided to just go there and fuck with them on our own volition separately. And we just happened to do it at the same time. And thank you, TGI guy, for the 15-month resub. I appreciate it. Hello, Golden Plato. Alex EXF. Wider. Moving LNC to 9 p.m. I think I'm just going to say fuck it and stream next time if I want to stream on Saturday. Because I could have I could have done Frozen World last night. Like, I, I, I could have done whatever the fuck and i just i ended up being bored as hell uh, like all fucking night and i'm just sitting here fucking like what game should i play so i started runescape not runescape i started path of exile and i did like one map and i'm like wow i fucking hate this game and i uninstalled it and around six in the morning a couple hours before i went to bed Hank and Sniper Knight told me that Elder Scrolls Online was like the new hotness. That it's really good now. It's it sucked at launch, but it's it's good now. And I noticed on Steam it was ten dollars to get the base game and the Morrowind expansion. So I said, "Fuck it." I bought it. I'm like, "All right, let's play." And it was a seventy-seven gigabyte download. So, like, like, like two hours before I went to sleep, I, I started playing ESO. I gotta say, I haven't played much of it, but I at least know that I like it more than Final Fantasy XIV. Not exactly the highest bar in the world, but I'm gonna play it and see if, if, if I like it. But two hours is hardly enough time to judge anything, especially an MMO. What's going on, KC Smurf? Airloft, you have a clan? Nah, dude, I'm just chilling. Okay. Early 14s? Yeah, I didn't get very far. I only did the trial in 14, so. Writing a lab report, and the machine that was used is called ICP. Fuck yeah. Alright, so let's play the goddamn video game. I'm not gonna sit here. Like, no one wants to hear about my fucking gay. I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and, and start the video juego. Now, this might be the day I get banned. And let me explain why. Game capture and window capture, neither of them are effective for capturing this game. So I actually have to use display capture. So I, part of the reason I was late is I needed to get rid of any potentially compromising material that I would have on my desktop or in notepads and shit. So hopefully nothing bad happens. I, I hope everything goes well. Let me know if you can hear it. I know you can't see it right now. But give me a second to get everything set up. I'm sorry to hear that, EA Flynn. My condolences. Hello, baby. Hello, Skull Candy. Thank you, Sadowskovich, for the 16-month resub, as well as Ms. Doodles for the 17-month resub. Where's my Kingdom Hearts 3? I figured people were probably kind of fucking tired of Kingdom Hearts for the time being. 
Uh, like, I know there are a lot of people who just, like, come in and say, Tolo playing Kingdom Hearts, no thanks, and dip. Which makes me feel great. <laughs> but fuck those people. Those people... Uh, like, who gives a shit? I do a little bit, because it hurts my feelings, but... Okay. Tolo streaming, no thanks? Yeah, pretty much. What's going on, Doc Peps? And thank you, last name, first name, for the seven-month resub. Hello, R-Face, Echo, Tunral, Dot Peps. And I know Kingdom Hearts isn't for everybody, so it's good to diversify a little bit. Like, not everybody wants to watch fucking Kingdom Hearts. You know what I mean? And I do want to play this game. Like, I've been looking forward to playing this game. It's, It looks like it's going to be fucking retarded. So let's, let's go ahead. Let's do display capture. All right, this is, this is my, my humble desktop. As you can see, I have nothing open because I'm afraid of something, something compromising being, being exposed. Re what? Retard. Retarded. What's going on, Sniper Knight? Thank you, clergy, for the 10-month resub. I appreciate it. Hello, Bosh Head. How loud is this game? I don't know. I don't know. Game looks edgy as fuck. It, it is absolutely going to be edgy as fuck. Because you hated the game that started things really cool to watch. Some... I didn't hate Kingdom Hearts 3. I hated Kingdom Hearts 1. I, I was never really like, wow, Kingdom... The only time over the course of playing Kingdom Hearts 3 where I was like, this game's fucking retarded, was the... the <laughs> Wum, wum, wum at the beginning. Like, that shit was fucking chromosomal as hell. But aside from that, it's been pretty good. Thank you, Not Ethan, for the tier 3 resub, the golden 9 month rat. Thank you very much. How are ya? And thank you, Cannon Fang 16, for the 6 months. I have no hot water and the landlord is refusing to fix it. Fuck your landlord. What's going on, Aldo? Hero W. Kiyobusa. Is this made with RPG Maker? I'm pretty sure. Like, it looks like it to me. Doesn't. But. Okay. Okay. You know what else was made? An RPG Maker? I know. I know RPG Maker is a stigma. It's like being called a Tolomeo streamer or some shit like that. But Lisa. Lisa was RPG Maker. And that game was fucking incredible. That shit was dopest. That was one of my favorite games I played last year. That shit was awesome. So I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna write something off just because it's RPG Maker. You know what I mean? And thank you, Bagel Pawns, for the six month resub, and EA Flynn for the sub. I appreciate it, dude. Thank you very much. I look cryptic. All right, let's start a new game. I watched the whole vod. It was a whole vod of what? Mercenary, thief, assassin, whatever brings the silver to the table. Fun fact. Did you know shekels are actually uh, sh shekels of silver? So, wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Dirty tactics in battle and crafty ways of gaining the advantage. Knight with pure and righteous ways of the warrior. You know what? I'm going to pick the knight. You know why? The knight reminds me of somebody. Do you... Chat... Do you know who it reminds me of? Gotcha, Damies. Sonic Kid? No. Vakav got it! Fuck it! We are gonna name our character Jimin. What's going on, Lice Bro Fist? <laughs> Game contains scenes of extreme violence, gore, sexual violence, and drug usage. If you were sensitive to such, subject... Okay, so trigger warning for people who are, who are queasy. What's going on, Femme Ivoire? No, other other people have played this game on Twitch, so I, if, if I get banned for it, I'll be like, But they played it! Why the fuck am I getting banned? Senpai Yogi. Popular good streamers? Nah, not really. Is that the Monsters Inc. logo? I'm already creeped the fuck out. Choose the difficulty? Oh no. Hey, thank you. 
Paramaxer for the 36 month resub. Three fucking years. Thank you very much, dude. I'm getting spooked. Can we get the dancing dinosaur hard? Okay, well, keep in mind, guys, guys, this is actually like the sort of game where you die and you have to start the entire fucking thing over. So I'm going to start on normal. We might do hard, but this game is supposed to be really difficult and it's like a, a pseudo roguelike. So hard. Okay, I'll pick fucking hard. I'll pick fucking hard. God damn it. Okay, okay, okay. I'll pick hard. All right. Jesus. What's going on, rogue? You were born with the soul of domination that makes people around you bend to your will. Yeah, it sounds like BTS. You were a natural leader, but you might often end up blind to self-criticism. Your birth sign wasn't enough to warrant a future of greatness. You were also born into a wealthy noble family. In early age, you were sent into training to become a holy knight of Kingdom of Rondon. Training to become a squire was a harsh school that spared no one, no matter if you were from a noble origin or not. A practice sparring match between you and a well-seasoned squire took place at the Central Training Grounds. Said that the fighter shows their true colours in their first fight. This applied to you, too. When you saw the sword coming your way, I dodged it. You learned fast dance. That's my favorite stance. What's going on, Hellish Cerberu? Jimin's really come out of his shell? Absolutely. We're not using a fucking shield. Are you out of your mind? As time went on, you proved... Out to be a gifted fighter and a valuable out asset to the army of Rondon. However, the kingdom of Rondon claimed to follow the will of the gods is pursued from a power, but all the wars seem to fall in the laps of the noble city covered with the high castle walls. Ruthlessly, the kingdom would expand its reign, reducing the feeble citadels to ashes and bloodstains, enslaving the sweet women folk. Whilst every man is. So, this is some biblical shit. That's actually. That's from the Bible. What's going on, Mardos? Like, they actually would do that in the Old Testament. Although the caveat, the only women they would enslave are the, the virgin ones. Like, if they if they ever had sex, they'd kill the women, too. Your devotion was shaken. You were all re but ready to retire from the army. But your family insisted no. They demanded you to stay as a holy knight or else you'd bring great shame to their noble family. What, what do you think we should do, chat? Holy, be a bitch. What's going on, Dirty Dirk? Fuck family. All right, ran away. This point, family ties waited. No more than strangers you met at the dirty streets around, and you completely cut ties with your family without hesitation. Fuck you, mom. Fucking bitch. Just as you were about to flee from the army, things took an unexpected turn for you. You met a captain of a small mercenary army who seemed to share the same ill will towards the kingdom of Rondon as you. Common folk was starting man this this game's got some questionable fucking grammar already common folk was starting to gather around the charismatic leader lagarde who shared the humble origin similar to farmers and villagers alike there was definitely something otherworldly in his stature the guards saw potential in you and with warm words he almost seduced you to join his band of mercenaries thanks to your Rigorous discipline. You took a high position in his army. The Knight of the Midnight Sun. Your army was growing fast in both size and influence in the western regions. The Kingdom of Rondon would first use your services to their own benefit, but soon saw you as more as a possible threat to their modern reigns. Something changed with the guard as well. He kept more to himself and studied ancient texts and occult. He became obsessed with some relics and artifacts that gave you ominous feelings and terrible nightmares. It was almost too much for you when the guard decided to raid the northern capital of Old Guard and slayed everyone who stood in the way between him and his mysterious ancient relic. He never understood its importance. Looking for the dragon dildos. What's going on, Mazenmod? Barlug? Philly Chiz? It was a small overblow that was enough of an excuse for the kingdom of Rondon to turn common folks against the guard and justify his imprisonment as the troops of Rondon army marched towards your clearly small army and to choose which position to take during the coming encounter. You know what we're going to do. 
When when the fuck do we ever hide in the back and be little? We, we're never bitch like. We always spearhead. We always go in there and, and thrust. That's right, baby. I'm coming to spearhead the assault. Jimin always takes the rear. I mean, Jimin always takes it in the rear. The rear? Okay, take the rear and manage defenses. You get a long sword and a eagle crest shield. You also get plate mail and leg guards. The Knights of the Midnight Sun lost the fight. Many of your comrades were slain. You managed to escape the battlefield. The guard was taken as a captive and to be used most likely on propaganda. You knew you didn't have much time before you would sense this to death, so you had to act fast. Even if it seemed like a suicide mission, you decided to save the guard from the prisons he was held in. Before leaving for your desperate journey, you decided to stock up on equipment and items. Stock up on equipment or food? You need snickies. Three dried meat, a moldy bread, and cheese. Oh, Alright. The dungeons of fear and hunger stand in front of you. I like my Jimin posture. <laughs> Alright. Hey, buddy. A dead horse is... You hear distant barking from afar. What do you think we should do? What's going on, stale meme? Investigate it or beat it? Let's beat the horse off. It produces no effects. Okay, what about investigating it? Stage of decomposition. The horse has been dead for approximately what? <laughs> that was a pretty good run, dude. <laughs> what the fuck? Alright, dude. I, that, that's Feared Hunger, everybody. I hope you enjoyed my, my playthrough. <laughs> we're, 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 we're starting on normal, dude. Fuck you. <laughs> Should we still be Jimin? What do you guys think? Yes, I right, Jimin must succeed. Jimina, Aunt Jimin. I know Jimin just died. Yeah. Okay. 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 What's it? chat? Give me another BTS member. I only know Jimin. What's another one? Hank? I don't think Hank's a member of... Of... Of BT... I feel... What? Yo. Sugar? What's called Sugar, dude? Alright. <laughs> sugar. Okay. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Christ almighty. Sugar. What's going on, Mar? And thank you, Marionette, for the 23-month resub. I appreciate it, dude. Alright, I'm not gonna read all of the exposition at the beginning this time. I'm just gonna try to get into the game. Go! God damn. Do alt numpad? Now you're trying to get me to bring up some secret porn or some shit. Play intro? No. No saves? No, this is like a roguelike sort of deal here, all. And thank you, Mar, for the 100 bits. It. I think only certain parts are procedurally generated, but you, if you die, it's all over. Search the barrel for anything useful. Two carrots. Fuck yeah. What about the crates? A water vial. A 
bear trap. Should we go left or straight? Chat, chat. Left or straight? Left or straight? Okay, fuck you. I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna wait for you. I'm not gonna die. We're going in here. Dude, they're still, they're still coming for me? These fucking doobas. You can hear a faint sound from the other side of the door. Let's knock. Ring a ding ding, bitch. Thank you, Rogue, for putting Sturlux, Nicholas MN, Aaron Gooner, Chloe Perdition, LSD Monk, Taoism, Happy Pufferfish, Carowell, AO Diego, and Severin in the cuck shed. God damn, thank you very much. I appreciate it, homie. Thank you, Labyrinthian, for the 11 month resub. All right, we're gonna open it. What about listen? Let's listen. I feel like we shouldn't be hasty. Something faint can be heard. All right, we're going in, dude. What up? Oh shit, it's a wifu. Seems to be a little. Oh no, it's not a wifu at all. What's going on, Occult Enigma? And thank you, Rogue, for putting Riel Tyrax in the cock shed. I appreciate it, dude. Thank you very much. What's good, Basics? It's hiding her face from me. What do you want to do? Talk. Are you a monster? She doesn't. Dude, this, this, she's definitely gonna kill us. Let's try to talk to her. Should we open the cage? She's absolutely gonna kick our ass. Put it, dude, that's a good idea. Can I lay a bear trap? And thank you, Tremors, for the 15 month resub. I appreciate it, dude. Thank you very much. How do I open my inventory? Sugar Rabdophob. What the fuck is that? Okay. Oh, the cage is locked. Fuck. Okay, can I pick my bear trap up? Can I step in my own bear trap? No. I cannot. Is a fear of magic? The shelf has miscellaneous items. You find three pieces of pocket tender boxes. Okay, what's going on, C10? Fear of being criticized. Okay. I feel like we're gonna have to examine everything in this game. Alright. Okay, 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 okay. Find a list of inmates amongst other documents and papers. So just fear in general. If I leave the cursor on, let me know. Can I cook some shit? Kitchen table, lots of scratch and cut marks is pretty tainted too. We got maggot infested flour. Delicious. Read the list. Okay. It's I have it in my inventory, right? List of inmates. The seven inmates held captive here in these dungeons. You cannot make any sense of the handwriting. They wrote it in Saudi Mongolia. Check out the Witcher stuff in Monster Hunter World. Nah, I'm over Monster Hunter World, dude. I love dude fella. I wonder if something happens if we light both of these candles. No. Is it an RPG maker stream? No, I just want to try this because it looked interesting. And I want to give people a break from Kingdom Hearts, because I know it's not up everyone's alley. Devolving into some, into a something far lesser than the man I once was. All the high morals and ethics have no value here. No place for a little miscreant like me. This is Hank's diary. You seem pretty weak for a guy who was supposed to be a valuable asset to the military. Well, I haven't even fought anybody yet. Okay. Oh, get on with it. Wham, 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 wham. Oh, the Book of Fears. If you can read something, how do you know it's a list of prisoners? Fuck! <laughs> okay.
Okay. Do you think Sugar stands a chance? It's funny, it, like... Actually, no, no, wait. Do you think I can talk to him? What's going on, Pearl? Talk. Try talking some sense in this monstrosity. We don't have to... Wait. You know... Alright, alright. I'm gonna... I'm gonna try to empathize. I'm gonna try to empathize. Prepare to die. I feel like that's not gonna work very well. Please don't... I feel like the best answer... Or the best thing I can do is what is your origin? He feels like he's been through some shit. He feels like he was bullied he like i feel like he just needs a shoulder to cry on he needs to talk to people about his problems and shit thank you rogue for putting pearl in the cock shed what is your origin oh oh well that's not exactly the uh the answer that i was looking for but <laughs> Oh, man. The stinger. Okay, it says it's a stinger. It's not a dick. It's a stinger. Alright, alright. <laughs> I can target the stinger, dude! <laughs> What's going on, sweet cafe latte? Fuck yeah, dude. <laughs> this game's fucking awesome, dude. Oh, shit! I lost my arm. I think I lost both of my arms. Heads or tails, chat? Heads? <sighs> that went well. <laughs> that went well. Poor Sugar. I thank you, Head Crab, for the resub, dude. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. You gotta... Okay, chat. This game's pretty fucking funny so far. You, you gotta admit. Like, are, are, are you liking it a little bit more now? Maybe I should try a different class. No, we gotta... We gotta be... Okay, okay, next next BTS member, dude. Thank you, Volwave, for the six-month resub. I appreciate it. Kiyobusa, that sounds like a racial slur to me. Is, is, is that, like, a bad word? I don't want to say it. J-Hope, is that really one of them? J-Hope, okay, okay, okay. J-Hope. J-Hope. What's going on, Map Nerf? Game have an 18 plus patch? I don't think we should do that was on normal mode. We got dicked that hard by the first fucking enemy on normal mode. Okay. Alright, alright, alright. <laughs> this is good. I feel like this game is going to be extremely difficult to, to win. How long have you been streaming for? About 30 minutes. Nitroglycerin? Okay. I'm gonna try going to the left this time. I found a cheese. And some blueberries. Alright, alright. Uh-oh. No, 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 check this shit out. Like, if we look, we, we have the long sword and the eagle crest shield and shit. We have our gear. Okay. Search the barrel, got some raw meat. Okay. Hello? Pick up a dried up mushroom. Yeah, this is a, this is a wifu. You get a different fear every time? I guess so. Alright. 
Scared of sex, Tolo? I mean, it's you're not wrong. But it's sprite cutscenes. I think it'll be fine. Like Witcher and Mass Effect have cutscenes. It's as long as you don't. Oh God! What the fuck is that? All right, fuck that. We're not going in there. Let's go down Dongo. It's like a fucking meat jellyfish. Okay. There's nothing worthwhile here, huh? Is that Hank? That's mean. Oh, this looks good. There's a body on the ground. Seems like sacrificial gift for the older gods. There's another one of those fucking octopus things there. What's going on, Easter Meg? Um, I feel like we should try to avoid... Combat. I found a cabbage. And dried meat. Are these even hostile, or are they just kind of chilling? Yeah, yeah, we're, we're, we're cool. We, we, what the fuck? We're on the flip side now. Okay. Oh, shit. What the fuck is going on? Oh, that actually scared the fuck out of me, dude. I was I, I turned to chat and like, <laughs> Okay. Two carrots. Oh baby. I thank you, Brad Schnaw, for the 15 month resub. I think we gotta leave I think it's getting closer to me. We gotta fucking dip, dude. I think if we stay in too long, we're probably going to have to fight that guy. I don't want to fight anything. I'm a bitch. So let's see. And thank you, Trashnik, for the 18-month resub. Your stinger has given... <laughs> don't call it that. What the fuck, dude? I'm not a bee. Thank you very much for the 18 months. Should we try to fight this thing? Thank you, old Irish Dave, for the 19-month resub. The Maniba swings. It's. Do you think I can talk to it? What's going on, Hank? Okay, I'm gonna talk to it. I'm try talking to its peculiar form. What is your origin? What should we do? As the Maniba floats around mysteriously, you feel as your question is being answered inside of your head. Maniba's origins come from deeper depths. You see visions of ruins clouded by green hue. Okay, at least his origin isn't rape this time. Work it, girl. Okay, okay. Let's do fast attack. We need to cut those tentacles off. Oh, it tried to inject me. That's fucked up. Oh, you're done now, kid. You're done now, kid. <laughs> They're just an Eba. I I know, Huber. I know. It, it, it. Stares at you without expression. Alright, let's try talking to it now. It can't it can't fuck with me, so now let's talk and see if we can get any info from it. There's no need for killing. Suggested it needs to absorb your life force. It's nothing personal, so he needs to suck out my cummies. Okay. Using my extra turn to talk twice. Prepare to die. Your taunts go on deaf ears. Well, I mean, it can't do anything now. It's fucked. J-Hope was victorious. 
What do you want to do with the body? Beat him. The body of the Maniba is jelly-like, so your kicks sink in deep. <laughs> okay. Search him. Has nothing of value. Okay, so that was co that was completely a, a little worthless endeavor. Vast at number one again. I guess I could have. We'll we'll have more opportunities. There's more of these things. I don't really want to fight another one, but the options there. Because they don't really. They're not particularly aggressive. Can I? Okay, J-Hope feels a little less hungry. Do I have anything that heals? Dried mushroom? This sounds like it would heal me, right? Huh. The blueberries heal me. This is just like the giraffe game. Where is the time <laughs> This is this is very different. This is this is not the typical sort of game I Oh shit. That I would play on this stream. So hopefully you guys enjoy it, but I think we're about to get fucking we're about to get the dick down right here. Oh fuck. Okay. It's got to go. Okay, we're going to do fast attack. So we'll lose this turn, but next turn we'll be able to uh, attack twice. Oh, it's fucking me. Okay. I wonder... Oh, shit. Alright. We shouldn't die, but we we might lose a limb or some shit here. Unless I hit both of them right now. Alright, we're good, we're good. We're chilling. Yes, weed. Giraffes are also extremely homosexual. I think the majority of sex that they partake in is... Homosexual. Okay, let's ask it about its origin repeatedly. Alright, so let's ask it a second time and maybe it'll it'll elaborate. What is the place shrouded by green hue? It is a place caught in a place where time has no meaning. Okay, let's ask it again. I won't let it okay, it doesn't want to talk anymore. Wait, no. I'm fucking retarded. Never mind. Just prepare to die. You're done, dude. Dark Souls 1. Okay. Search it. So these things seem pretty much worthless to kill. It, it seems like a waste of effort to bother. They don't seem to drop anything. You can't beat them for fun after they're dead. Like... It only seems worth it if a particular one is is guarding something. A hey, thank you, EA Flynn, for the 1,005 bits. God damn. Thank you very much. Holy shit. Is there no XP system? I'm not sure. There's stats, so I'm sure there is, but I don't know where I would see it. Yeah, I'm level 2, so I've, I've been leveling up. Um, it's just weird. So, let's see. Do I have more blueberries? Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Go into skill? Wait, which one is skill? Is it this one? Skills? Oh, I already know what all this shit is. This is what I use in combat. Tentacle guy, guy injected you with a debuff? Oh, am I gonna get worms coming out of my asshole? Armory here, some miscellaneous armor pieces. Search. Heads or tails, chat? Tails? Okay. It's heads. Everything here... Okay. So that's that's uh, a pretty big RNG element, I guess. What's going on, Sim Sima? Heads or tails? Tails? Alright. 
I think you're splitting me up for the five month recent. God damn it, chat! Oh no, never mind. That was tails. Okay, we got a plate helmet. Chat, you're the fucking best. <laughs> you're the fucking best. That's actually a really substantial boost in defense. Holy fuck. Okay. I don't like the noise it makes, though. I wonder what I got injected with. Search the crate for anything useful. You find a pipe. And a small key... Whoa, 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 whoa. Small key to what exactly? I wonder if that's where... Do you think that's the key to the cage with the little girl in it? It's locked from the other side, so the key won't work since it's locked from the other side, right? I wonder if there's invisible walls and shit. Okay, I don't know if there's gonna be like a big old prison guard or some shit over here. The music stopped. Hey, buddy. Hey, pal. All right. Probably one time use so you can use for multiple things. Maybe. Fuck you. So what do you guys think? Should we go downstairs or should we try to kill this thing and liberate the kitchen? What's going on, Just a Gamer, John? Go to the cage. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh. All right. Hey, thank you, Stein Grimm, for the three-month resub. I appreciate it, dude. Thank you very much. I couldn't move to the side like I thought I was going to be able to. All right. We're just going to... We're going to just go for it. I don't want to risk taking too much damage. I think the middle tentacles are the ones that inject. Okay, we're getting we're getting our asses beat right now. We've won though. Need to heal badly? Oh, I am I am very well aware of that. I think the head just injected me, too. Alright, so let's eat everything we have. The blueberries seem to be the only food item that actively healed us. Sadly. Um... I think we're fucked. Can I smoke some herb with this? So, how the fuck do I use the herbs is what I want to know. Because it won't let me just... Yeah. Can I... Is there like a combination thing I can do? I don't think there is. I, mean, I feel like you should smoke the herbs, though. I miss your message on Discord. I'll be up all night because I can't sleep tonight. I dog. Herbs are probably for status ailments. I think I saw recipes and shit menu. There, I mean, there is this, but I don't have any. I've only collected zero recipes. Can't you see the herb? Doesn't look like it. All right, chat. Should we continue into this scary fucking graveyard, or should we go back to the girl and see if the key opens the cage? What do you guys think? Girl? Alright, we're going back, dude. We're gonna save our, our... I'm gonna save the little girl. We're probably gonna get fucked by the thing with the big old stinger. Uh, that's what's actually gonna happen, but... See, this shit's fucking fun, dude. I like this game a lot so far. Feels like we're on a fucking epic adventure together. We're, at, like, whenever I get stung by that, that monstrous stinger, I feel like we're all taking it together, you know what I mean? 
No place to heal. No, this is supposed to be a really hard game. Like, there, if you die, you have to start all the way over, and there's, like, dog shit for- Wait, who the fuck are you? Merchant. Hello there, Dweller. Here I is. He's starting to have, have some geese in them already. Little bird told me these dungeons swallowed a new set of poor bastards. I saw a business opportunity, that's all. So what shall it be? Fuck. Okay, well we can come here and get potions and shit if we ever get some fucking coins. The first to no rule freed? Yes. Thank you for the 13 month resub, Launders. I appreciate it. And thank you, Broken Fang XD, for the 18 month resub. I, I did new game plus seven freed, no rolling, blocking, parrying, damage taken, or backstabs the day the DLC came out. Uh, so maybe, I mean, it's possible someone else did it, but I when I looked, no one else had uploaded anything, so I doubt it. Okay. Smells like broken here. This is a fucked up game, by the way. Okay. I did from tweets? What do you mean? Let's go down, Matt Mank. Potion of life might be like a fairy in a bottle. I was thinking the same thing, actually. Oh, shit. She's not here anymore, dude. Okay. What is this? This is fear and hunger. No, I'm almost certain this is the same room. Because remember, the, when we saw the girl, we died on that playthrough. One of the maggots runs up your arm. Oh, delightful. Wrong room? I don't think it's the wrong room, dudes. Nightmare. See, this this book is here, and the layout is completely different. Room wasn't kitchen. The northern part was kitchen last time, but the the first half of this room right here wasn't kitchen. Okay, we need to eat some fucking some cabbage. Let's eat some raw meat, baby. Okay. Might be somewhere, just not here right now. What happens with the stinger? You'll see. You 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 will see. You, you should we go? What's going on, Brent? What the fuck is this? Black liquid. Scoop it in a vial. Should we drink it? Oh, we can. Mysterious black liquid, huh? Hello? It's sugar. No, wait, I'm J-Hope now. That's right. What do you think we should do? Combat encounter? What the fuck, dude? <laughs> I'm gonna get my ass beat by a door, dude. Like, this thing's actually gonna kick my ass. Can I talk to it? The door is too strong for me. Okay. Let's use the key. <laughs> That's fucking funny, dude. A cloth hood. Okay. Find salami, that's what's up. Cloth fragment. A stick. A sticky! Okay. Mm. Now, did that consume my small key? A fucking course it did. Alright. Alright. 
This is, this is actually kind of nerve-wracking, because I'm waiting for that big fucking stinger monster to, to just pop up and beat the shit out of me, you know what I mean? So, oh shit, that's not enough though, I need eight! I need eight silver coins to buy a healing potion. I just need two more fucking shekels of silver. I found some tobacco. Dude, fuck yeah, I can smoke this shit. Yes! Puff, puff, pass, motherfucker. Alright, so I'm guessing that's sanity. Yeah, that, that increased my mind a lot. Okay. An iron spear? Is that fucking good? Not really. It's not worth losing the shield, honestly. Okay. A blue vial? Okay, what's that do? I think this is the sanity potion. Should we try it? Yes. No, that was a healing potion. Okay, we got 20 HP. Good fucking shit, brother. Alright. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I don't want to... Hello? A moldy bread. Yeah, I don't want to fuck with that just just at this moment. Oh! No, dude, I'm gonna get stung! God damn it! Run away! Yeah, fuck you, bitch. <laughs> get the fuck out of here! We're fucking gone, brother! <laughs> We're fucking gone! Later, bitch. What the fuck is in there? You should have cut his dick off before you ran. I wonder if the damage is persistent. What's going on, Hanky? Do you think we should go in? Because there's something moving in here. I don't know what the fuck it is. That doesn't look good. Oh! <sighs> what do you guys think we should do? I think we're fucked. Run. Alright, I'm gonna try to run again, dude. I don't think it's a 100% chance by any means, though. Oh, shit! Okay. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> I feel like we really shouldn't be fucking around in there too much. Because that dude is fucking everywhere in the, in the main building. And thank you, Silver and Gold X, for the 8-month resub. Appreciate it. Okay, so we gotta go to the graveyard. The graveyard's really the only place that we haven't been, right? Going on a fucking adventure, dude. I wonder if the enemies respawn at all. And do you guys think it's the same prison guard, or do you think there's multiple of them? Because it seems like there's multiple of them, right? Last time he talked to him once... Yeah, talking to him did not yield good results the first time we encountered that enemy. He, he basically said he wanted to... He wanted to... What? I, I'm not gonna beat around the bush. He wanted to rape me. Um... And he... Well... He, he chopped both of my arms off and I died. Okay. It did not... It did not go well for me. At all. Okay. 
Eventually we get more party members and shit, I think. But right now we just really gotta... Do you, do you think I should try to kill that jellyfish in the kitchen? Probably not, huh? Because I'm only at 50 health. I don't think it's worth it. Let's see what's down here. Maybe get a bonus to escape chance that two characters have a fear of sex. That would actually be interesting if it worked that way. Okay. Nameless Grave stands here. It's the Nameless King. I wonder if you can get a, a shovel and, and rob the graves. What's going on, Scoot? How you liking Final Fantasy X? Sir Jacob, the great storyteller, made everything just that much more lively. Tombstone here. He likes Sir Sonia. Her brute strength beat every man in an arm wrestling match. Tombstone here. This one desperately sought death. Well, hope she's glad now that she's found it. Wow, Jesus Christ. Okay. Can't move it. What's going on, the Lady K? Katsis are worse than King Thrones. You fucking take that back, Scoot. This one of those naughty RPG Maker games. Yes. What the fuck was that noise? North? Or west? What do you guys think? Alright, we, we need to not... We need to not upset that fucking asshole. I'm gonna go ahead and, and just assume there's only one of him. I feel like this is the opportunity to get some good treasures, though. He doesn't seem to have a huge aggro radius like... Like the... The Stinger. Oh god, what the fuck is that? That doesn't look like a person. Bizarre creature, the blood is still wet. Foreshadowing. I bet you there's going to be more of said bizarre creature up here. A blue vial? Fuck yeah. Okay. Blue vials are 20 health. Oh shit, see? So okay. I've been missing searches. Shit, shit, shit. Friends? He doesn't seem like a bad dude. I'm not gonna run into him to confirm that theory, but he doesn't really fuck with you. Heavy Knight, hold it. Just hold it right there. You are sane, I gather. Even if I may seem winded, winded and wounded, I can still pack a deadly blow, so don't get any ideas. Who are you? I'm Sir Seymour, a knight from the Grand Kingdom of Rondon. So my country to last breath, just know that. Can I get him to join my fucking party? Are you hurt? Yeah, hurt by that bastard over there. Caught me off guard, the thing splurts out acid, watch out if you- Okay, so that enemy type explodes into fucking acid, so that's delightful. Jot that down. What has happened here? Beats me, I have no idea how things are in this shape down here. Any tips? Hello, Voxel. Seem like the type that can handle yourself just fine. Just stay on the defensive side and you might just make it. Whenever you get a bad feeling guard, it's better to be safe than sorry. So the game's telling you to play like a pussy. 
place is used as prisons by the kingdom of Rondin. Everyone knows these dungeons around these parts, and they're pretty notorious, and all kinds of rumors are exchanged in the dark of the night. Let's go on Loco, walking, talking robot. What are you doing here? Delve down here together with my comrades. We have a mission to fulfill. The fate would, however, have it that each of us got lost. I feared for the worst. Crown, Crown Prince Ludwig Buckman. Okay. Let's see if we can get some good shit. An iron mace. All right. Dive hunker in this game? I'm sure you can. Heads or tails, chat? Heads? All right, we, we doing heads. Tails. Heads and tails. Can you say iron again? Yeah, iron. Heads. All right. Dude, fuck you guys. You guys are are detractors. <laughs> fuck you. Okay. Always the booty. It's input reading. I bet you if we go past a certain threshold, that big fucking golem is gonna dick us down. Is ill from hunger? Okay. Let's eat some raw meat. Not ill anymore, asshole. Two tomatoes. Two eggs. And a cheese. This is the prequel to Oblivion. I already like this game more than Oblivion. Four tinder boxes. Two carrots. Okay. Two dried mushrooms. Worm juice. That's what I'm fucking talking about. We got tequila. Where the fuck is my worm juice? We actually want to take this because we got injected earlier and we got a mat. We want to take this. Yeah. I'm poisoned, I think, now, though. What the fuck? I guess it poisons you, but it kills parasites. It's, uh... Hmm. Okay. Better than having parasites, though. You don't want dick worms. Use herbs? I wonder if they'd work. Red herb seal. Blue herb seal. Well, we fucking president now. We're almost full HP. Do you think we should try to beat the shit out of the big golden dude now? What's going on in the world, though? Legitimately starving? I had hot Cheeto fries for breakfast. I feel like if I had a second party member, I could take those guards out. Have one dude chop his cock off, and then, and then the second chopping his machete arm off. You know what I mean? Like, his, his, his two main threats... You need another party member to deal with the member, if you know what I'm saying. And thank you, PV North, for this 16-month resub. Alright, so let me try to explain this game to you, because it's very weird. You've probably never even seen this shit. It's an RPG Maker game called Fear and Hunger. It is... It's like an old-school turn-based RPG with roguelike elements. Like, if you die, you start the entire game over, and the dungeons are randomized to a certain extent, and it's very difficult. One of, one of pretty much the first enemy you encounter in the game is this prison guard with a, a very phallic-looking limb called a stinger. Um, and he's not very nice. He's not very nice at all. He's not very considerate, so... 
Oh shit. Yes. Bonfire lit. Bear trap? I don't think I have the bear trap anymore, do I? I do. That'd be fucked up. He's not doing anything to me right now. Save and rest. Is this going to be like Lisa? Where some dude's going to be waiting for me with a baseball bat? <laughs> I still think if you die... This room doesn't feel safe anymore. Okay, so maybe there is saving. Never mind then. Let's go beat the shit out of that golden dude then. One use saves. I think if we use the bear trap, we could kick his ass maybe. What do you guys think? Oh, we can go get a health potion from the merchant now. We have enough, we have enough coins. Is he here? He is. Okay, okay, okay. Let's drop a bear trap. I wonder what's gonna happen. Oh, shit! Hello? Come here, my friend. I think he's... I think he's exceptional. <laughs> I don't think he understands what's going on in life. That didn't do shit. There's no way we're going to be able to kick his ass. There's no fucking way. What's going on, Dylan? It doesn't look like the bear trap did anything. Okay. Shit. Fuck you. Oh, God. Oh, God. He's slow, though. Just load- No, that dis that defeats the spirit of this sort of game, in my opinion. Are you fucking kidding me? He can go through that door? Suck a dick. <laughs> That's fucked up, dude. God damn it. Alright. You're not gonna be able to hold us down, friend. What's going on, Cogitus? A leather helmet. Oh, baby. More worm juice. Am I still poisoned? Yeah. Door is jammed. Just fight it and load it. Defeat it. You, do you guys want me to fight the golden dude? Do you guys want me to attempt beating the shit out of the golden man? Thank you, I'm Holly, for the 28-month resub. It's about 50... We're gonna, we're gonna beat the shit out of this golden man. Maybe? Nah, fuck that. Nah, fuck that, dude. Thank you, Zamad, for the 100 bits. And thank you, Iguana in your ass, for the 21-month resub, dude. I appreciate it. You know what comes with prisons, right? What the fuck are those? They look friendly. <laughs> Cave gnome. What should we do? I'm gonna beat the shit out of him. Fast attack, baby. Oh, they summon more?
I'm bleeding now, god damn it. Okay. Oh shit! Fuck you! I thought- oh no. Alright, alright. Can I use the green herb now? It got rid of some status ailment, but I'm not sure exactly which one that would be. How do I get rid of bleeding? Cloth fragment, right? Yeah. Okay. Eat the grilled meat for hunger. Are you AFK fishing in RuneScape? No, not right now. What do you guys think we should do? We really don't have that many other... We don't have many avenues to explore unless we go through the prison. It's either this way or the prison. Have you ever had pizza from Papa Gino's? No. I haven't. These gnomes seem like we have the best chance at defeating them. This gonna fucking attack. Fuck! I'm fucked now. They're gonna kick my ass. You have to use fast attack because they summon an, they summon a gnome per turn, but I'm dead. I just lost. I, th I think it's actually impossible for me to win now. Yep. God damn it. GG! We can- we have enough shekels to go to the merchant and buy a health potion. That's what we are gonna do. <laughs> I am not really feeling confident with my 1 HP right now. J-Hope is, uh... He's gonna- he's gonna win this entire thing, dude. He's ready to fuck. He's- he's ready to do it. I would have expected to be able to die from- Oh shit, this isn't the way. Play God Eater 3? Probably not. Okay. What's the goal of this game? I don't fucking know. <laughs> no clue, dude. No clue. A lot of Darkest Dungeon? Yeah, and I actually really like the aesthetic of Darkest Dungeon. Not so much the game itself, but... The actual art style is dope. It's supposed to be one of those spooky RPG Maker games. I don't know if it's it's setting out to be spooky specifically, but it is spooky at times. All right, buddy. Give me the fucking potion. What? Wait, am I high? Fuck you! <laughs> Fuck you, dude! What do you mean? What? Okay, hold on, hold on. I think I know what's going on. God damn it. I think you have to press the button. To, to see, like, I, I I don't think that was actually what I thought it was. It wasn't eight coins. Do I have anything that, that can heal me? Because I am in, uh... I'm not looking too good right now. <laughs> Alright, let's go, let's go, uh, and... Oh, shit! <laughs> he was waiting for me, dude! 
All right, all right, fuck that. We can't go that way. I'm feeling dizzy. You died because of your infected wound. Well, fuck you. Oh, my God. All right. Okay. And so you do get saves. So it looks like it looks like J Hope is our character now. Unless you guys want me to restart. What's going on, both of Baylor? Let's go down. I think I, we we. You know what? I will check. I will check the mace. I will check the mace. It's a good point. No, it sucks dick, but it can momentarily cause stun. We're gonna go beat the shit out of this golden dude. Hey, bitch! Iron Shakespeare. Should we should we talk to him? What up, dude? What should we... What should we say? Origin, right? I don't think he's in the mode for talking, dude. Oh, oh, shit. There's no need for killing. <laughs> I feel like you can't really reason with most of the monsters in this game. I don't really feel like they give a shit what you have to say. <laughs> Fuck. Wow. Fighting things. Yeah, I don't think that you're supposed to fight shit unless it's unavoidable. Nitroglycerin? I have that powder, yes. You wouldn't talk to the gnomes because they keep respawning and shit. I don't really have time to talk to the gnomes because they're going to respawn and overwhelm me. I will, I will try to talk to the gnomes, okay? Tobacco. It's because my character's a girl. I'm a waifu. I'm gonna fuck this door. So this poison does do something, but it only does it when you are in combat. That's unfortunate. Okay. We gotta avoid the fucking- oh, no, we, we didn't avoid the gnomes at all. It's weird that there's, like, no battle music in this shit. Alright, I can try talking to it now. And I will. Hello, Gnome. Fast attack? No, I don't think you, you understand what fast attack does. Um, you basically skip your turn, and your, your following turns you get to attack twice. Or not, you, you, you get to take two actions, not, you get what I mean? Okay, let's do, Quack, a goo, quack. 
What the fuck is that? I think he's confused sexually. Caw caw. Oh, oh, no, that didn't work. I think the qu saying qua pretty much incapacitates it. It doesn't do anything. It's it's seriously like momentarily stunned. No, not that. We want the blue herb, right? Yeah, there we go. Talking did a thing that time though. Yeah, so caw caw, like the aggressive cawing. Makes it to where they summon more, and that 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 makes them sexually frustrated. This poison's fucking me. I'm gonna beat the shit out of this. I missed a door. I actually managed to miss a door. That's impressive. That's like something I would do in real life. <laughs> Holy shit, that's a scary looking statue. Wait, what the fuck is that? Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. That's the cock monster. I don't want any cock monsters right now. Another pipe. A cabbage. I love cabbages. How about you? Find rotten meat. Shit, 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 Fuck you! Come on! Alright. We don't have to fight. The stinger is pulsating. We're chopping your fucking arm off, boy. Oh no, this is literally going to be heads or tails as to whether or not I get fucked, isn't it? <laughs> oh no! Okay. Heads because it's a wiener. Okay, okay. We're chopping that thing off, dude, I'm sorry. <laughs> you need to get that fucking thing away from me. Baby! Suck my dick! You have died from the. <laughs> you, you have died for, from fucking infection! Oh, fuck. See, we're. Oh, shit, oh, shit. Check his body. Is there even a body left? Beat him! No reaction, but it's satisfying. Search him. Loin cloth? Oh, okay. And we got cell keys. So this is gonna be the big dick. Uh, this is gonna be the great escape. We have, we, we have coins. We can probably buy 
a potion, but we gotta get the fuck out of here. And thank you, Fluffy Night Fox, for the 14 months. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Lesser foes might be intimidated. You know, I bet what this does is little shitty enemies. If I say prepare to die with this equipped, they'll they'll run away or something. Up the girl yet? No, the girl isn't in this playthrough. And then I die from poison while fighting a door. <laughs> That'd be fucked up, dude. So the problem is there's another one of those cock guards there. And we have to we have to maneuver our way past him. Man. I wonder if the bear trap would work. is clear. It's a free game. It's seven dollars. What's going on, Pyro Man? This is the best fucking game ever. This shit is lit. You catch his cock in a trap. That would be fucking hilarious. Okay. So we have the keys to one of the cells, but I don't know which one it is. And one HP. Yeah, we gotta get to the merchant. Because I have a feeling having this poison is gonna outright kill us eventually. And I don't really want that. I think that would kinda suck dick. What about this? No. Locked from the other side. It was three F cells. What other games do you actually get to chop a foe's dick off? Do you get to do that now, last? So save with the poison? Yes, but it doesn't go away on its own, so like I would be that either saving with the poison or just starting over. You know what I mean? Okay. Hey bitch, you got a potion for me? It is eight silver coins. Why the fuck couldn't I buy it last time with nine then? That's pretty fucking dumb. I want, okay, another thing is, I wonder if I can just chop that dude's head off. He just fucking scammed me, dude. He literally just fucking scammed me. That potion didn't do shit. <laughs> what the fuck, dude? God damn it. Oh my god. Now I got a UTI from that potion. I want the dogs to eat me now. Hey, thank you for the 51 bits, Butternut Slap. I'm glad you like it. I know it's not the usual sort of thing we play here, but hopefully you guys are enjoying it nonetheless. Okay. So that was unfortunate. What's going on, Muscles for Bones? Is there a usual? Yes. Kingdom Hearts and Souls. Okay. So. Go to the main castle? Fuck you. The thing's waiting for me, asshole. Okay. 
We gotta go to the prison. Hopefully we'll find some good shit in the prison cells. KH3 is souls like yeah, Kingdom Hearts inspired Miyazaki to make Dark Souls. It's a little known fact. Guards aren't that hard to kill. He missed me every time though. Like that's like that's one thing that you should consider is that yes, we did um, maybe if I just hit him in the fucking head, I'll instantly decapitate them. I think I might try that next time. But we also won two coin flips there. Wasted turn? That's true. Oh my god. Because what killed us during our first encounter with that was the coin flip. Because it hits you for 50 if you lose the coin flip. Oh, it's going to be a fucking mimic if I fail it. I just know it. Thankfully, I'm a god. A soul stone. What the fuck is that? Am I high? No, yeah, here it is. Okay, so it doesn't really do anything. Oh shit, we gotta we gotta watch out for the gnomes. <laughs> Equip? Maybe it maybe it's an accessory, I doubt it. No. Why the fuck would you ever want to wear cloth? You healed a bit? No, I didn't. <laughs> I didn't want health, you detractor. Okay. I'm gonna beat this fucking door. You ready, you little bitch? That's right. <laughs> fuck. I got the I got this the cell key, but I can only open certain things. I thank you for the bits, butternut slap. Okay. Hello. Oh! I didn't see you there, gamer. I think I'm gonna run away. Fuck you, asshole. That was fucked up. Okay. Is weak from hunger. Alright, so let's eat some food. Grilled meat. Oh, yeah, big boy. Can I take the bone? What's upstairs? This does not look like a place for friendly friends. Nope. <laughs> no! <laughs> Fuck you, dude! Alright. That, that... Oh, fuck. Oh, nice ass! Look at that fucking butt! Five simoleons? Okay. Opium powder? That's what I'm talking about. Let's get addicted to opium. <laughs> hey, thank you, Red Melody, for the five-month resub. I appreciate it, dude. Thank you very much. Okay. Let's see if we can get some good shit here. What's this book? Captain's Diary 2 on the table. Okay, thank you, Grump Veteran, for the Tier 3 resub of 18 months. I appreciate it. Uh, thank you for the, the Golden Rat support. How are you? Find a bear trap? Should we try using the bear trap on the fucking zombie? We're gonna do it. Okay, okay, family meeting, chat. Family meeting. We are at an impasse right now. These are our options. We could continue exploring the prison, which is filled with cock monsters. We could go to the blood pit, which I am almost certain that is not going to go well for me. 
blood pit? You guys really want me to go to the blood pit? Oh my god. Okay. God damn it. We're, we're gonna get fucked. Dude, it's a fucking reptilian. I'm not going in there. Fuck you, dude. <laughs> it's literally a lizard man mummy. Okay, okay. Will the bear trap work on this asshole? Come here, buddy. It looked like it worked fairly well. Actually. Okay. <laughs> it lost its arms from the bear trap, which I respect. Why the fuck would I want to use the soul stone on this thing? <laughs> Why are... What, what do you... Okay, okay, chat, chat. We want to beat him. Okay, 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 okay. I, I understand that you guys want me to use it here. But there's the corpse of the cock monster. Like, not, e not even ten feet away that we could use the soul stone on, right? Why the fuck would we use it on this if we could use it on him? There's no way that can go, go south for me. There's absolutely no way that can go, that can go poorly, right? Resurrecting the cock monster who, who talks about rape. I feel like... Okay. So what does that mean? It's a lesser soul. Can I, can I slurp it? Can I equip it as an accessory? No, I can't do fucking anything with it. Hooey. Alright, chat. I need to go to the bathroom and get a drink. I am profusely enjoying this game, actually. This shit is, is, is wicked fun so far. I like it a lot. And I'm gonna play this probably all fucking night. So I hope you guys are enjoying it as much as I am. But I need to get some beverages. I will be right back. Get a snacky. Come get some some crispies. I am back, my gamer friends. This time with Diet Cock. I have to give Sif a snacky really quick. So how are you guys doing tonight? 
Oh. You have a good weekend, chat. Here you go, Sif. Speak. What? <coughs> good girl. Good girl. I got relationship advice from Fem. I'm so sorry. I apologize. Lick the toe wolf. No, don't lick me. So. Okay. I've been thinking. I know that's a surprise to you. But. I'm almost certain there's going to be a situation where I soft lock my character when I'm playing this game. You know what I mean? Like, I have one health, I'm poisoned. Everywhere I go is littered with fuckboys who want to pulsate stinger me. Um, so... You know, at, at some point, maybe we might, we might want to... <laughs> We, we might want to restart the character if things are really going that bad. And thank you, Sapir Odd, for the 16 months. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. And maybe we could try a, a different class, but I actually kind of like the knight. Alright. I'm going in this shit. See, also, of note, these are the things that are in the blood pit. These, these are literally the lizard people that are in the blood pit. I did not... I, I did not really understand why this was a lizard man statue until I saw that the monster was actually a lizard. So those lizards are probably worshipped by by the massive cock dudes. They, they worshipped the dragon dildos. Okay. <laughs> Can I go to bed in here? You don't feel like sleeping here? Oh, come on. Wait, 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 wait. Fuck. Okay. Okay. Oh, oh, fuck me. Oh, hold on, hold on. We have one chance. We have one chance here, gamers. And I fucked it. We're done. But I know what to do. I can't target anything but his torso? Are you serious? Okay, okay. Run. Run. Yeah, just, just fucking run, dude. I'm stuck in the fucking corner. Oh, man. Alright. So, what do you guys think? We should probably start a new guy, right? Because we learned a lot. We learned a lot. But I think that that dude is probably fucked. What's going on, Formula Fuzzball? And keep in mind, it's not gonna be the exact same shit. Like, it is randomized, there are roguelike elements, so it's not going to be the exact same bullshit that we just went through. Which is cool. Um, so we'll do... We'll do a new character and hopefully we'll be able to figure shit out. This seems like the Survivor class. Hmm. Mercenary, thief, and assassin. Do you think we should stay with the knight or should we try someone else? What's going on, Kajumbo? I don't want to play the priest. I don't want to play someone who's physically shitty. Like, if I pick someone else, I'm probably not picking the priest. Let's try the mercenary. Let's try the mercenary. Okay, we need another BTS name. RM? Uh, 
Okay. <laughs> yes! Yes! Jokuka! Alright, alright. That was an accident, but we're keeping it. We're keeping it, dude. What? Dude. What would Jimin's heartless name be? Fuck you. Sometimes it makes me go through this intro, sometimes it doesn't. Nobody name? I, I, whichever one. I thank you, ZZ, for the five month resub. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Nice volume mixer. Thank you. And thank you, Apahar, for the 14 months. I appreciate it, dude. See, we've been getting fucked on normal difficulty, too. You can see Mr. Tolo's desktop. Sadly, yes. It won't let me capture it with, with window capture or game capture. It's a scary game. It's not intentionally made to be scary, but there are parts that are extremely nerve-wracking. Let's go down Saucy Wings. Okay, we need to hurry before the dogs come and fuck me up. Honestly, I could probably just go into the... The castle, and then come back out. Okay, okay, we need to go. <laughs> we need to go, dude. <laughs> the, the dogs just straight up kill you. Like, you don't even get in a fight. They actually just, they, they kill you if you stay in that beginning area too long. Uh-oh. This is... Oh, shit. The prison guard is in there with the girl. Unsettling implications. Okay. A white vial? Oh, well, come on! Why, did, why couldn't we get one of those last time, dude? Alright, well, we have that. I want to see if we can scrounge up, like, a bear trap or some shit before we... Before we fuck with the prison guard. Because this dude is almost certainly going to be less effective at, at combat than our previous character, right? Pinecone pig? What the fuck does that mean? What's going on, I fly high? Death is the answer. Well, that's morbid. A mock-up book. Okay, so what I want to do... Shit, 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 Please don't come up here. What's he gonna... Oh, fuck me. Alright. Alright. What skills do I have? Talk, run, backstab. Okay. Say goodbye to your arm, my friend. Yeah, dude, my combat is so much shittier on this guy. Say goodbye to that. Okay, coin flip. Thank you, Rogue, for putting auto navy in the cockshed chat. Heads and tails. If we fuck this up, we're gonna lose half of our health. Heads, we're going heads. Cause we just chopped off a head. And it's fucking tails. Alright. Good shit. Very fucking good shit, brother. <laughs> we got defeated by this dickless cretin. Thank you, Gallo, for the 29-month resub. I appreciate it, dude. Thank you very much. Wait, what the fuck is this? <gasps> Did we get Vord? What the fuck? Fuck. 
Alright, while we're inside of this thing, let's just eat some fucking blueberries and shit, alright? Sound good? We're in the blood pit. Okay. Are you roleplaying yourself? Yes. What's going on, sniper? Dude, holy shit. Both of my legs are fucking gone. <laughs> This is the origin story of uh, Prince Lothric, actually. Hey, thank you, PD, for the eight-month resub. I appreciate it, dude. Thank you very much. Oh, shit, can I suck this dude's dick? Good God. I got one shot by uh, one of the cock monsters, and apparently I got thrown in the blood pit. I doubt this character is going anywhere, but I kind of want to see what this shit's all about. Should I go down the hole, chat? I don't think it'll let me. Okay. Access a character screen to see what your stats are. Yeah. Let's see. That's my skills, sorry. I still, uh... Still not very good at this whole game. Dude, my... Man, I mean, I gotta say. 10 agility without any legs is pretty impressive. Might still be possible. How did I... Un Do you think that I'm gonna be able to, uh, that I'm gonna be able to win this chat? <laughs> I should get items just in case. Is this the legless run? Yeah. Oh, what's this? Ugu. Put your arm inside. I wanna disable it, dude. Give me some fucking arrows, asshole. Asshole. Hey, thank you, Squishy Surprise, for the nine-month resub. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. What is that chanting? Am I gonna find out in here? Oh, fuck. What the hell is going on in there? Hey, thank you for the 18 month resub, Monarch Ming. I appreciate it, dude. Thank you very much. How are you? I'm being railroaded in there. That's a stinger. Yeah, it's okay. It's not a wiener. It's a stinger. Can I just leave? Like, just sneak behind him? Like, you later, bitch. <laughs> Uh-oh. Do you think they want to talk to me? Should we go interact with them, or should we go this way? What up, bitches? Person nailed on the statue. Blood is dripping down to the pool where the statue stands. Sacrifice him. Affinity with the Almer is growing. Create an idol out of our fears. Wait, I'm standing up now. Okay, okay. Maybe maybe because my reputation with them increased, I can talk. Which god do you serve? We serve all the gods, despite the common folk blaming the dark times and the older gods. We also value their teachings. Grow Goroth, Sylvian, or Almer the Ascended One. The original destroyers and creators, the Ascended One. 
He who died for our sins. So he's Jesus. Well, thank you for the info, dudes. I appreciate it. Appreciate you. <laughs> what the fuck, dude? Thought we were going to become homies. Hey, thank you for the 22 months. Roll the D20. How are you doing, dude? What's up? Are you a smash god yet? Okay, I'm picking the fucking knight again. I like the knight. I'm, I'm a combat-oriented person. I like fighting shit. I understand that there are benefits to the other classes, but I want Outlander. Okay, I'll, I'll do the Outlander, and after the Outlander, I'm going to settle on the night, okay? Is that fair? Hard in the freezing winds of the north, Outlander is an, an epitome of survival. He knows all the tricks to stay alive. He's, he's going to be a survivalist, so maybe, maybe he's dope. All right. Do his background? No, nah, I want to play the game, dude. Big Chungus. Come on. Jin. Alright, alright. Ignore my typing skills. Is this good? I think the 32 month resub is Modius Briggs. I appreciate it, dude. Thank you very much. Very clever. I know. Thank you. <laughs> What's going on, Petrocles? Dude, this game's actually pretty fucking lit. I was expecting that I'd probably like it, but I'm actually really into it right now. I wanna beat this shit. Chat, you wanna you wanna beat this shit? No? Okay. Come on, Davian. Maybe not tonight. I don't give a fuck. Well, the good thing about Twitch.tv is there's plenty of people that you can watch where you will give a fuck. I'm already beating it. Later, Alex EXF. I want to spectate beating this shit. Only if it's actually beatable and not painful grinder crap. Mm, so I'm so salty. I'm so salty. <laughs> Next is 1001% Binding of Isaac. I'm glad you like me enough to stay here with me, Orbital Sloth. It means a lot to me. Okay, even if you don't care about the game, I know you really care about me. I want to beat off instead. At first, you're looking at this game like a small curio, and next thing you know, it's like, bam. Nice prawn. Thank you. Alright, we'll do his little, his little bullshit. Fucking love you. Everyone does. When they wake up in the morning, they think, mm, Tolomeo, oh my fucking god, I wish he was streaming. I wish he was streaming Giraffe Town right now. Uh. You were born with the soul of the torment, and you are destined to struggle in every step you take in life. This just ultimately makes you stronger physically and tempers your iron will that rivals the wills of the gods themselves. You had a balanced childhood in the city of Oldegard with both your parents... Always present. Your father taught you in the art of war. The very first step was to choose your weapon. We are not doing bow and arrows. If you see this shit, like mace and shield, awesome. Bow and arrows, fuck you. Nobody fucking uses bow and arrow. Come on. Get the fuck out of here. Mmm. Alright. A stealth archer? Ew. Winters grew colder and summer shorter, which resulted... A great hunger in the north. The fine men of the old guard set sails to the unknown west in a desperate attempt to find food and riches to feed the people. You've grown into your manhood. So what the fuck does that mean? Does that mean I had like a huge dick as a kid and as an adult I grew into it? All right. He saw no end, and the crew was struggling for their life. Some laid weak under the deck, while some embraced the cold, dark sea. As the weak met their fate, and the rest indulged in the greatest sin, I ate them. That's probably gonna let me eat monsters for extra health and shit, right? 
One hundred percent. Like you, you would have to be a retard to not pick devour your fallen com comrades in this game. You learn devour. As if the trip wasn't dark enough, when you finally found land, it was something no one in the civilized world could ever imagine. From the far reaches of the world, you found the dark continent of Vinland. Wasn't that in Dark Souls? Wasn't that Demon Souls, right? Gar Garl of Vinland, or was his? I, I don't. His name was just Garl Vinland, right? continent had never been touched by a civilized man. The land was tainted by ancient deities and gods you've never even heard of. The things you witnessed there left a mark in you that could never be washed away. Some of your comrades lost their minds while others tried to pillage anything worthwhile. We're gonna steal shit. This is gonna let us scrounge. This is this is probably gonna give us, like, scavenger and we ha we, we're more likely to get dope-ass items from chests and shit, right? Oh, fuck. Even in the character creation shit... What's going on, Gaben? Tails. Okay. Dope. You got a soul stone. An ancient artifact was brought from the Dark Continent. You knew it was a mistake, but the choice wasn't in your hands. While you were hunting away from all the mercenary army raided your village. Finally, you returned your witness, your home burning, family slain, artifact stolen. Those who survived the raid described the army and its captain. He was a famous captain from the fabled mercenary army, Knights of the Midnight Sun. You immediately packed and left after him. The men would witness the Iron Will and tempered... Iron Will tempered in the north and land in the dark continent of Vinland. What's going on, Namstatics? I actually feel like the smart choice here is equipment. And the reason for that is this is supposed to be a character that's adept at scavenging items... But probably starts off with dog shit gear, right? I feel like equipment would be the the best thing here. Maybe healing items. And rush might give you like an additional, an additional perk or some shit. I have no idea. What do you guys think? I'm leaning towards equipment strongly. Quit. We're doing a quit. Oh come on! I mean, we get a bear trap. Maybe we could use that on a prisoner, uh, a prisoner guard early on. Okay, is this some low-grade porn game? Yes, it's exactly what this is. You learn that the man has since been imprisoned in the kingdoms of Rondum's dungeons and the notorious dungeons of fear and hunger. All right. Okay, we gotta go. I don't like the way my character walks. Bottle of ale. Pine cone. Fuck yeah, I love pine cones. Worm juice. Cabbage. I don't hear the dogs this time. Oh, there we are. Find a salon. Two tomatoes. Okay, let's go this way. We seem. I think you should go this place first. Let's look at our skills and see what we got. Devour carcasses of your enemies to ease hunger. That's it? What, what? What's my equipment looking like? That's not too bad. My attack's decent. My defense is dog shit. For reference, on the character that died, I had 96 defense with the, with the plate helmet. Okay. Let's see if we can scrounge up some good shit. Alright. Wheat flour. Seems like night is the best. I, I strongly feel that night is the best. Okay. How does a 19 play non porn games made on a porn game engine? Dog, you should play Lisa if you think this is a porn game engine. Lisa is one of the one of the best RPGs I think that's ever been made. And it was made on this engine. It sounds silly. Like if you had told me that before I had played Lisa, I would have called you a fucking idiot. But it, it's really good. Later, C10. Okay. Find rotten meat. Two dried mushrooms. So. I. 
I feel like trying to fight these things is a waste of time. They don't really give you anything. I notice I started at level two. I don't think I get experience. Oh shit, herbs. I need to I need to pick the shit off of the ground more often. Hey, thank you, Wonko, for the prime resub, dude. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. You can devour them if you're hungry. Hunger is rarely the problem, though, is the thing. It's usually health. I wonder if they they were they're good food though because they're made out of jelly. Like when I try when you try to beat their corpses after you kill them, they make a comment on how gelatinous they are. Okay. Resident Evil remake sure looks good. There's an emblem of a crow on the lock. Okay, so we can't do shit with that yet. Limit how much shit you can carry? I don't think so. I haven't encountered it yet, if there is. I'm, I'm sure there is a limit, but I, I haven't gotten it. Okay, blueberries are good. They heal you a little bit. Seems like blue equals healing in this game. Okay, we're getting a lot of ingredients, which kind of sucks, but... Oh, well. I'm trying not to step in the middle and get absorbed by the quicksand bullshit. That happened on my my other character that made it reasonably far. Okay. It seems like there's little variation in this part. Like, this is the same shit. Can I just devour this? Fuck. Oh, that's not good. What's going on, Mangled? No, this is, this is a game that I was actually interested in playing. It's called Fear and Hunger. I got it from itch.io, but I don't think it's a shitty game. Personally. These fucking boards, Jesus Christ. <laughs> okay, let's loot this shit quick. Some raw meat. And a bone saw. That sounds like it could be good. Send me hot pics of your pet sleeping. Also, I'm making donuts. What kind of donuts, dude? Say it's worth going back and watching the beginning of the VOD. I like it. I don't know how much chat likes it. But... Oh, this is what you use? Like, if you've got an infection, you chop your limb off so you don't die. Okay. That's fucking hardcore, dude. Shit, I didn't mean to do that. You know what? Let's just run. Okay, so you can't run from these because of their tentacles. I think the character's basically fucked. I mean, we're pretty much dicked, honestly. Okay, go for the middle tentacles. Yeah, we're 100% we're fucked. <laughs> okay. Well. There we go. Just use night. Yeah, I'm getting the impression that night is is for retards like me. Can I can I run? No, it seems like it, it just always prevents you from escaping. What's going on, OBST money? We're actually fucked. <laughs> we're actually gonna we're gonna lose to this fucking thing. The easiest enemy in the game just wi wiped our ass. All right, so let's let's do night. <laughs> let's do night. All right, nice run, thank you. And what should our name be this time, chat? Chad Maniba dicked you down. Lost a perfect name. Dog meat. Okay, fresh in here. What are the different classes? Do? I'm still figuring it out. Like I, I just tried that class for the first time. So let's let's go over it really quick. So I can I can fuck off. I guess not. Never mind. Oh fuck you, fuck you. 
Fuck you, I'm gonna go back. I need, I need a good name. So, alright, I'll, I'll try to remember. The mercenary is good at, like, picking doors and shit, so it's like the exploration class, but it's, it's shittier at combat than the knight. The knight is the combat class. The knight is the best solely because it has this move that lets you attack twice in a turn. Um, it is a porn game. There's nudity in it. Like, one of, one of the first enemies you'll fight in here is a prison guard with a huge swollen cock, and if you try to talk to, talk to him, all he can say is rape. Um, he's not a, he's not a very nice dude at all. What about the priest? The priest seems like it would be really strong, but they say it's physically weak, so I imagine priest, you really just have to absolutely avoid getting into any combat early in the game. Okay, stream this then. I've seen other people stream it. I, I googled it, so... Other, other streamers bigger than I, I am have streamed it, so I... I Twitch says anything, but they streamed it, dude. And you can stream Outlast. Like, Outlast has cocks in it. As long as you're not sitting there just, like, looking at his cock and making making it super sexually obnoxious, I don't think Twitch really gives a fuck. Blue herb. Blue vial. Okay, we're getting some good fucking drops this time. Got some healing items already. Wear hood. That's true. I don't have any headpiece. I don't think five defense is really going to make much of a difference, but you never know, I suppose. Another blue herb, holy shit. Find a throwing knife? As long as- yeah, as long as you're not focused. It, it, it can also be a situation where it isn't the focus of the game, but if you're sitting there just like, ogling it for- and making that the majority of your content, then they can get you for that too. See, I really want to open this cage because I'm almost certain this is a trap. If you try to talk to her or anything, she will not she will not converse with you. So I have a feeling that this is some sort of fucked up boss. Okay. It's fair, I guess. Yeah, it makes sense. Because, like, Witcher has a lot of nudity and sex scenes, too. It's just... They're, they're not really as strict on that sort of content as people make them out, to be honestly. I say that I'm probably going to get walled for playing this game. That'd be... Wait, Ring of the Stillblood? What the fuck? Is it to make blood still and this prevent bleeding? That's what I'm fucking talking about, dude! A leather helmet? Oh my god. Okay. This is looking good. A throwing knife. I'm gonna- oh, 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 oh. We still- we still do not want to fuck with those dudes because they can kill us in one hit. That is absolutely something that can happen. And I don't really want it to, uh, I don't really want it to happen. We're gonna die to something retarded really early on now that we're, we're having a good run. <laughs> it's just, it has to happen. A hey, thank you, Lotsum, for the seven month resub. Wait, oh, I do have necrophobia. That's fucked up. I imagine that has something to do with your mind. Like, if you see bodies and shit, then I will, I will have a bad time. Okay, hold on. Do I have tinder boxes and... I don't have anything I can cook just yet. Is a face in the wall? No, that's a stove, dude. <laughs> that's a fucking stove, homie. Okay, making sure he's not at the door. Hey, thank you, Mangle, for the 26-month resub. I appreciate it, homie. Thank you very much. Alright, so good start. Good start so far. But we still have to be super careful, because you can absolutely just get dicked in the blink of an eye. Even if you've got good items. Necro yeah, it really seems like we got shit luck of the draw with the phobia roll, but... Room is filled with meat-eating flies. Are they going to eat my snacks? 
I can't give up the emotes? Good. A red herb. I just... My, my one real qualm with this game is I wish WASD worked. I hate using the fucking arrow keys. Okay. It seems like these herbs are mostly here. 100% of the time. Rotten meat. Two carrots. Do you think it's worth trying to fuck with this guy, chat? Let's not do it yet. We can we can come back later. We don't have to do it right now. Maybe we'll get like a new weapon or some shit or some better armor. Okay. Please don't look up shit and, and tell me what's going on. I, I wanna I wanna experience this blind. Okay, we need to go. If this is the same experience as last time, we need to go. We need to fucking leave, dude. Get the items though. <laughs> that sounds so stupid. <laughs> What's this? I imagine the third time that happens, you get dicked. I have not put that to the test yet, but that would be my my uneducated guess. The one thing that kind of sucks is the enemies can still move while you're picking up items and shit. Okay. So they do gradually drift towards you, but they're not... Not particularly aggressive. Food gathering simulator. It's like a survival horror game JRPG hybrid. It's weird. It's good though. I like it a lot, honestly. I'm having a lot of fun with it. Okay, no, that's a worthless area to go to. We need to try to be clever about this. Oh, fuck. Just heads. Just heads. Fuck. I don't have time to waste. Fuck. Okay, okay. Heads. Fuck. <laughs> Getting dicked at the important part. Later, Vakev. Enjoy. God damn it. All right. We're still okay, though. We're still okay. Blueberries are really good. Dude, fucking... Alright, alright. No, no, no. Should we risk it? Let's risk getting the big box. No, the big boxes don't give anything. So, if we look at this, we have blueberries, four blue herbs. That's, that's really good. And two blue vials. So, we have a fuck ton of healing. Compared to the last run, at least. Now, that won't matter if we get one shot, so we have to be careful still, but things could be going worse. No, see, my mind is really low right now. Like, that's actually a fuck ton of, of mind damage, I guess, for lack of a better term. So there's definitely, there's definitely a, uh, a negative effect. Oh, shit. Alright, well we gotta we gotta fight him. We have to go this way. Okay, let's do fast attack. And then hopefully we get good RNG and they don't fuck me too hard. Okay. So as long as we don't miss, we should be able to slice off two of the tentacles here. Just please don't inject me. Let's go for the head. Fuck. Yep. I'm dicked. Fuck you! Okay, we're going for the tentacles. Because <laughs> the head can still inject. Because if I... Hypothetically, I could just skip the tentacles and risk it. 
and try to go for the head, but as you can see, it didn't really play out in my favor there. Okay. See, all right, all right. Worm juice will cure the parasites, which is what I got. And I, I have a feeling that it would make sense to do par- Like, parasites probably mean you get more hunger, right? Um, and I have a white vial, I think, somewhere. No, I don't on this place. That was on the, on the barbarian. So, for the time being, I think I'm okay with that, but... I don't know. We, need, we do need to get the hunger. I, I imagine hunger has a negative penalty on our on our combat stats. Can I eat dirt? That's fucking lit. <laughs> I can eat dirt, dude. Okay. Is this like real life in my hot Cheetos? Alright. I saw Total playing a game I haven't heard of and I'm curious what the hell is this game? It's hard to describe. It's like a survival horror JRPG sort of game made in RPG Maker. It's ridiculously difficult. Everything fucks you. It's very RNG based. And it's got very mature themes such as enemies with huge cocks that pulsate at you menacingly. Um, very unique game if you ask me. Let's see if the open coffin has something. Okay. Hmm. Dirt should have RNG and buffs, debuffs. What's going on, XC? I've always wanted Cox to pulsate menace at me menacingly. Then here you go, dude. Like, Darkest Dungeon? Mm, maybe a little bit. There's similarities. It's also procedurally generated to a certain degree. It's nothing huge. The, the general layout of the areas tends to be really similar, but the items and whatnot you get and the enemies you encounter or where you encounter them are different. Okay. Never know what's in the dirt. Could be whatever in it that saves you in a shitty situation. Yeah, maybe there's cocaine in the dirt. What does RNG mean? Random number generator. So, like, example would be when you're searching a, a weapons rack you'll get a coin flip and you pick heads or tails and if you get it right you get a good piece of equipment if you get it wrong you don't get shit or sometimes even bad things can happen to you like in combat the prison wardens are really dangerous because while they're not they're not really super dangerous with their normal attacks they can do a coin flip attack and if you fail the coin flip you die immediately like they just one shot you they actually just kill you. Later, Formula Fuzzball. What's going on, Bibby Brown? And some silver coins. Some blue herb. This guy is here again. I really want him to join my party. Okay. Because having extra party members would go a long, a long way. But I don't think there's... A, see, okay. This is... I need to remember that this place seems to always be here. And this is where we have the opportunity to get, like, new weapons and shit. So we need to always go here on a new playthrough. Like, this is where we need to go immediately. What do you use the coins for? Uh, there's a potion merchant, but I'm not sure I want to use them anymore. Because last time I bought a potion of full healing... And it didn't do anything. He scammed me. Okay, so we got an iron mace. Alright, tails. Good shit. Arm guards. It's been tails three times in a row. We're gonna do heads. I don't think that's going to be a particularly good upgrade because the the reason I like the knight is they actually start with some good shit, but... So what are the arm guards? Is that an accessory? Now here's the question. 
if I equip this, will it cure bleeding or does it only prevent bleeding? Like, if I start bleeding, can I just equip these? I doubt it works that way. But bleeding's fucked up. But the arm guards... I'll, I'll be less likely to lose a limb. Well... Here's the thing. When we're in the prison, I probably want to have the ring, because the only thing that's inflicted us with bleeding thus part or thus far are the little gargoyle things, right? The little cave gnomes. So we should probably switch when we fight the gnomes because they bleed you. But anything else, I feel like the arm guards would probably be better, right? Only Tandy. It fucking matters though in this game. Like that's a lot of defense. Can I get over here to the suit of armor? Doesn't look like it. Okay. Remember, the, the Iron Shakespeare is here, so we gotta tread at least a little bit carefully. He's really easy to outrun, though, so he's not a huge, a huge risk factor. Okay. More worm juice. Jesus Christ, there's so much tequila in here. If you beat Shakespeare, that's a tall fucking order, though. Like, way, way later, maybe. But that guy is... Like, he was hitting me for 50s. That dude kicked my ass quite, quite comfortably. A white vial. Okay, so we can get rid of our parasites now. So, one possible strategy we can do is we have the worm juice, which gets rid of our parasites. And we also have something that cures poison. So, we could kill all the tentacle dudes... Um, and then cure parasites with the worm juice and then cure the ensuing poison. That seems like it would be a good idea. Um, because we don't want to do it with any of the worm dudes alive, because if we accidentally get into an encounter with them later, they could just give us more parasites, and that would suck deck. Um, so, because the parasites are making us hungry as fuck, and that's not, that's not really a good thing. So let's save here, and then let's go try to kill all of the little jelly-headed idiots. I bet you that you have a much higher risk of getting fucked over at this save point if you do not light the bonfire. No, you get recipes, Quenstreams. You just have to find the recipes. Someone was watching you? Okay. Grill the raw meat. Yeah, so you can cook shit. Oh yeah, big boy. I'm having a fucking cookout. Okay, so let's let's do the grilled meat and then we're gonna go kill all of those little tentacle retards. And then we we get more areas to, to explore by killing it, said tentacle retards. Then we'll take the worm juice. Which will get rid of the parasites we get from fighting them. And then we can use the white vial to cure the poison. Seems like a, a solid strategy to me. Cooked meat spoil? That's a good fucking point. Enemies don't respawn, not that I've seen. Which I actually really like in this sort of game. What's going on in this game so far? We're trying to get to the bottom of a prison infested with cock monsters. Later, Philly. Take it easy. What a neat game. Have I missed much? It depends. You've missed a lot, but really we haven't progressed too far into this game. So in the grand scheme of things, you've missed the learning process, but really not too much content, I guess. Okay. We can, we can risk trying to go and, and killing him in one go by hitting his head. I'm gonna risk it, dude. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. There's no reason to play stupid. I'm gonna cut the two tentacles off and then I'm gonna risk it. If I miss, then I go for the tentacle. No, there we go. 
game have an XP system? I'm not sure. There are definitely levels, but I don't know if they're just... If you get levels from completing events that happen in the game, or, or what the deal is with that. Okay. Whip it, baby. Even with almost 100 defense, they're still hitting really hard. Try defense dance? Fuck defense dance. Alright, we got injected, but that's okay, because we already have parasites. Alright, go for the head. Go for the head again. There we go. Run now, but he's still only- a I have no idea, Leo. I assume so, but I'm not going to experiment right now. Okay, so let's go ahead and take some some blue vial. Delicious. Because even though those tentacle dudes are weak, shit happens and we could conceivably miss a lot and get fucked by them. So we don't want to. We don't want that to happen. I think there are two more left that we have to fight. No, actually, no. There's just one left. I think. No, there's two. There's two. Although I don't necessarily have to fight this one. This one's pretty easy to avoid. But maybe something happens if I kill them all. I don't know. Because I've never killed them all. Is the night a woman? Yes. Alright. That went absolutely perfect. <laughs> I incurred zero damage on that one. I will take it. And then what could this door be? I imagine there's something in the blood pit that'll let us access that because there's references to a crow as well as blood. Okay, so I think there's one more nasty man in here. Our mind is still good. Our sanity has been preserved for the most part. Not the rune. I'm not really sure what those do, Lindog. They're, that's not the only one, and I've seen them. And they seem they they're definitely important because that one in the room is literally always there. So it would make sense that they. Okay, I think we've killed all of them. So let's go ahead and. Do the worm juice and then the white vial. Yeah, see, now we're poisoned. Let's do... Let's drink the explosive vial. Oh, that's cool. We can use this to clear cave-ins, apparently. And let's go and take this blue vial to be at 94 health. And then let's eat grilled meat. And we are fucking chilling. We're, we're almost... We're almost max everything, and we've cleared this entire place of, of enemies. So that went exactly as we envisioned it. Can you check if you leveled up? Sure. Level 2. You start at level 2. So I haven't leveled up. I thought I did the first time I ran through this game, but your level seems to be 2. Regardless. Okay, so now we could go to the prison or we could try... I think instead of going to the prison, I want to try going to the castle. And maybe I can maybe I can kick the dude's ass there. I think what I want to try is immediately going for the beheading. That seems like it would be the optimal strategy because one solid hit seems to just cut their fucking head off. Save the game. No, saves are one use. You you can only use them one time. That's why I wanted to save before anything fucked up happened. About the injured knight, dude. I haven't figured out a way to do anything with him yet. But we're going in here, and this is a pretty dangerous area. Also, fuck that dude. Don't buy his potions. He's an asshole. Okay. Do we have a bear trap? Did we ever get one? I don't think so. How do I use, like, throwing darts and shit? I 
think I've ever actively tried to use them. Okay, so we already went here. We're probably gonna get dicked. We're almost certainly going to get fucked here. But that's okay. So let me see if maybe her dialogue changes. Like what the, the opportunities to do anything or do things change based on the playthrough. Because some of it is randomized to a degree. No, and it's locked. So we can't do shit here right now. Do you swap arm pieces? I have the armbands on right now. Oh, another poison cure. Holy shit. Okay. Six silver coins. Some dirt. That's what I'm talking about, baby. Some raw meat. So what the fuck is this? I've never seen this before. So these are the new gods. What if I light the candle here? Nothing. Nothing. We need to be paying attention for to areas that we can light up. Because if they if they stay the same each time, then that means there's potentially something we can do with them. What's going on, Deprive Scum? It's kind of... It, it's a weird game. It's very strange. Heads or tails, chat. Tails, all right. Give us, give us the Bible, dude. It's tails. Cool. The passages of Mahabri. I don't know what the fuck that is. We should probably read the books, though. Open the passages of Mahabri. The pages start telling you stories of past ages. Oh, what the fuck? So it's like a little instance dungeon thing. Okay. As you open your eyes, a new world is upon you. Ah, fuck, I don't like this. See, forms taking shape in the sunlight. Those are the new gods. Oh shit, she's got her titties out. You recongonize the forms as the new gods. The beings trying to replace the old world order. I don't know how to pronounce that name, actually. He seems humored by your presence in this ancient landscape. A mortal to take a step into the realm of gods. Okay. The tormented one notices. Gee, I wonder which one is the tormented one. Do you think it's, do you think it's the one that's been skinned alive? <laughs> or do you think it's the one with the titties? Feel disgusted by his mere presence. Okay. Let us meet again. Oh, okay. This is weird. Mahabri downtown. Can I get items? A bone saw. Delightful. The book is telling me to, to, to dismember myself. Four tender boxes. Throwing dart. Sunday nonsense. Well, this isn't a game jolt stream, Dylan. I'm, I just wanted to play this game specifically. Uh, if any, if anyone, I, I guess I should have made that abundantly clear. Uh, this is not like me playing a bunch of random, dumbass games. Like I wanted to play this game specifically, and this is the only thing I'm going to play tonight, most likely. Unless people decide they really don't like it, in which case I guess I could switch to Kingdom Hearts. Okay. Heads or tails on the chest, guys. God damn it. You find a worm juice. Delightful. Longer than usual Sunday game. Wait, can I use the explosive vial? Dude. Should I? Oh, it won't let me use it here? 
Yeah, but how the fuck do I use it? Damn. Okay. Combat? I... Maybe? But it says it's used for cave-ins and shit. So... Start hearing and smelling things from the real world. More worm juice. I guess you're timed. Like, you have to... You you only have a certain amount of time to go through there. Okay. Well, we know. We learned. We learned. You use the darts in combat? Maybe. Thank you, QP Goose, for the 17-month resell. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. There's a lot of free stuff, at least. Nothing particularly useful, but... The thing about this sort of game is if we want to beat this shit then we're going to need to learn the ins and outs of it. So now we know in the event that that happens again, we've got to we got to fucking we got to hustle. We got a Zambuki. Heads or tails, chat. Explosive files usable in combat against swords. That's actually a good point. What's the torn page? Crow, crow, grow your horn, vile as snow, and the Skarsberg Massacre Row. Crow, crow, oh why you maul, the meat is fresh and the blood still falls. Crow, crow, are you there? He is coming with nothing to bear. Crow, crow, behind you now. Oh, crow, please reap. Oh, crow, what I sow. That's fucking ominous. <laughs> that's that's fucking ominous. Okay, so we can see our, our, our big cocked friend. He appears to be going to the left. So let's go ahead and really quickly veer off to the right. We need to do it, right? You have died from a cave and the entire place collapsed on your dumb ass. Fuck you. <laughs> that's what, I, honestly, that's what I expect with this game at this point. Okay. Heads or tails. Tails. It's gonna be has because it's been tails so many times. Oh shit, that's what's up. Iron spear, okay. Nothing to write home about. Heads! Executive decision. Empty scroll, okay, what's that? Fortunately, you don't have anything to write with. Is it me? Or has the music gotten a lot fucking creepier in the last couple of minutes? And then it just fucking stopped. Oh god. Okay, let's eat. <laughs> yeah, use bones, I'll just chop off my shit preemptively. Music tends to ramp up then mute itself. I think it's just because I read the page about like some ominous crow man. And then the music seemed to ramp up after that. Okay, so here's here's the problem. I don't know where the where the huge cock dude is. So we could potentially get into a a, a battle with him. I wonder if he can go past this landslide after you do it. Wonder if his pathing is set up to be that way. Okay. Let's 
What's going on, All Profit? left here. Should we read it? Should we read the demonic book with the Illuminati symbol? Sacrificial circle. This is the place. Okay. Okay. I have an idea. Human sacrifices. God damn it. I was going to say, maybe we could lure the monster here, and if we kill him on the the sacrificial circle, something happens, but it specifically says human. What's going on, Burn? Act of love in her name? Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, fuck, dude. Oh, no. I think I know what they mean by act of love. We're gonna have to watch My Little Pony on that fucking circle. Fuck. What's up here? This doesn't look friendly. Find a salami. Another one of these doors. Wait! Wait, 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 wait. Maybe we can open them with that note. We have a note with a crow on it, right? Maybe, in, and these doors said something about a crow. Human, because he's like 20 feet tall. Dark. His cock is literally bigger than I am. Hey, thank you, Burn, for the three-month reset. I don't have notification noises, sorry. But thank you very much. Let's go on that lucky chick. We're playing a fucked up game. A stick! My favorite food item. Oh, no. Hey. What's up, dudes? This is... See, I don't know if I want to go in there, because you remember when we were playing as that one character and we got our legs chopped off? And there was, there was cult members up there? Okay, Purifying Talisman, I have no idea when I got that. But that's what that is that is used for. My mentality's fine for now. Yeah, they're chanting they're there again. Oh my god. Something written here. The Hexen creates connection to the gods both new and old to get closer to the older gods you must work your way up and gain their affinity with each circle you get closer to them new gods only pass on their knowledge to those who share the same birth sign and soul with them what do you think we should do What the fuck? There's a skill tree in this game? This is what souls are for. These are what the soul gems are for. Interesting. Okay. So you can get every skill as every character. Because domination is fat. The one I have is fast dance, right? Or, oh, I see, I see. I I think when you, when you put one of the souls in here, you get all of the abilities, right? 
Because I, you see how I have a, the soul and domination? Maybe? I don't fucking know. Should we do curse equip equipment? It sounds like a fucking bad idea. Oh, I can't do it without souls. Iron Spear. Okay. What's going on, Neurotically Yours? This is fear and hunger. Save you, Saves are limited. If I were to die now, I would go all the way back to before we killed the little tentacle idiots. Should we try to fight the cultist chat? Oh, we can fight one at a time, maybe? There weren't any cultists over in this side. Maybe we can get some items this way. They don't seem to be particularly hostile. Like, if you talk to them, they're gonna fuck you up, but they don't really... Do you think there's anything in the Iron Maidens? Okay. Have some salami. Oh shit, salami's actually a really good food. I don't need to eat anymore. Starting to look hungry when you look into the Iron Maiden? Yeah. It happens. It happens. And sometimes you see it and you're like, man, I could go for a nice ribeye right now, you know? Okay, so we have a blood vial now. <laughs> 19 more of those and maybe we could fight Ludwig. You got a skinning knife? Yeah. I don't know what to use it for, though. Maybe the jellyfish corpses? Some blueberries. Some good ass drops there, honestly. I couldn't move during that, by the way. I, I was locked into this. This is Ludwig, dude. Buckman, Buckman. Earlier. Earlier, that, that soldier that we were talking to was looking for Ludwig Buckman, wasn't he? It looks like this is the dude that the, the soldier guy was looking for earlier. You're a sane one, right? Yes. I don't have time for this. I lost these dungeons for what feels like a lifetime. My sense of time has become blurry. It might be years, months, or I fear even just weeks. This cannot handle it any longer. I feel my mind is giving up already. I just can't. I don't know what business you got here, but if I were you, I'd run out as fast as possible. If escaping the place is even possible anymore, that is. Can we fucking go, dude? What do you think we should do? Should we try to save him? Relentless, I'm suffocating in this darkness. So have a light. Hoping that would do something. Okay. There doesn't actually appear to be an antagonist here. Bag of wheat flour. Go talk to his buddy. That's definitely what I'm going to do next. Oh, that is a trap on the floor. That's that's the arrow trap. That's why I, I was going up to see if there was a monster, and I was going to intentionally ha like try to line it up and have him get hit in the back with the dart trap if there was something up there.
Alright, I think we need to go back and talk to his homie. Because it's not going to let us sleep here. It won't. So he seems content on sitting here right now. So, I think we have our, our, our goal carved out for us for the time being. We need to go talk to that man who is looking for this dude. These guys seem absolutely content on just letting us fuck off. They They don't appear to be particularly hostile. Now, here's the question. Are we gonna encounter the Chad Thundercock in these halls on our way back? Only bonfire places can save it looks like it. Because we can run away if we encounter him. That's an option. Can we see him from here? It doesn't look like he's over to the left right now. What is your ultimate goal? I'm not really sure. Where do you suggest I go out to eat? What are your options? No, he's there. He's there. Okay. There's an herb in the courtyard. I will be back. Now, he, does he loop? It would be it would be really helpful if I could figure out his exact pathing. Lord Buckman onto the sacrificial circle. That's fucked up. I want to kill him though, because I bet you he has the key to the the chick's cage. What's going on, Daring Destiny? What a burger! What a burger, dude! Duh! Like, come on. Now, can I use the skinning knife on these gelatinous abominations? Can I get some jelly to put on my on my salami? Are their corpses gone? No, they're here. Okay. Skin him. Took pale skin. Okay, what does what does pale skin do? A skin from a ghoul. Seems like a generic item you get from pretty much any anime. What's going on, Septic Straw? You know it, dude. Your mind is down to 70. Yeah, that's the problem, is I don't... I guess I could drink ale. Ale helps with that. Yeah. It, actually, ale does a lot. I shouldn't use it so soon. It does at least 26. Okay. What happens if you search it? They never have anything on them, from what I can tell. This area, hypothetically, should be safe, although some of the things have despawned. Can I go in here? Now that I have the... No, I can't. Blank scrolls or cheat sheets you can write on to spawn an item or a spell. What are you playing? I'm playing Fear and Hunger. Blood vial on the door? It's something you use on your person. It's not something you you, you use in a... Did it give me an option to use the blood vial? I guess I can go back and check. I didn't really read it. It's kind of spammed. I was thinking in combat, maybe, but I need to I need to see about using items in combat. It has something to do with that asshole crow for sure though. Okay. What about sacrificing the dude by the cultists? Maybe. We still haven't even gone to the prison this run through yet. We're gonna go talk to that dude who... Well, will I be able to talk to him? Because he... Did Buckman ever tell us his name? When you force the door... You go into combat with it and you need to be a certain... Oh shit, a certain power level to beat it. 
which I do not believe I am at yet. Can I go yet? Yeah, dude doesn't have a very big aggro range, thankfully. What are you doing here? Okay. What has happened down here? No, it doesn't seem like it can do anything. Is there a pause in this game? Because I really have to piss. Alright. I think we need to try something... Something... Drastic. I think we need to try to kill the guard in the main castle. It's gonna be risky and I'm probably gonna die. But I think I need to try to behead him. We'll lose quite a bit of progress if we die, but that's the nature of the beast. Hey, Diet Coke cans can you use? Terrified Tolomeo Art, please never play a scary game again. I mean, I could piss myself. Wants to die? No, I really want to kill him. In fact, I think my order of operations was wrong. I think when I saved, I should have immediately tried to kill him. And on the successful attempt, then go and kill all of the, the little jellyfish. Although the jellyfish don't really seem to... Like, there's not really a huge point to killing them aside from getting that ghoul skin, I suppose. Hold on. Let me see. What's going on, Autumn Bears? Maybe if I buy a full sanity potion and give it to that guy, we can do something with it. All right. We're looking. We're, we're actually looking for our, our our fat fuck of a friend. What a bitch! All right, we're gonna risk one turn so we have chances to chop his fucking head off. Okay, thirteen. His stinger's pulsating. Miss. Okay, come on, baby. Chop that fucking head off! Damn it! Alright. Here we go. Heads or tails, chat? Head, because that's what he's about to fuck us with. Oh god damn it. <laughs> oh god damn it. Oh We survived. Let me chop your fucking head off. Thank you. 
Fuck you. Search him. He didn't drop a key. Beat him. Skin him. All right, so we, we are hurting right now. We took quite a bit of damage there. Do you think the water heals me? Yeah, like, by two. whoop de doo What about blood vial? Should I drink the blood vial? It was food. I don't have many healing items. I guess I have the herbs. Okay. So I think I figured out the meta. For those guys, I I don't think... He can charge you with one leg. If you only break one leg, he can charge you. But I think... What I need to do... Is use the attack that lets me get two attacks at the beginning. And then chop both of his legs off. And I'm going to take hits from the cleaver. But he won't be able to coin flip me. Right? In, in theory... But the thing is, he absolutely has a dick that pulsates. So will he start charging me with his wiener? Because we've never seen what the wiener actually does. We've never let him get to that point. Good as the meat cleaver. It sucks. We, we've killed one before. That's why we know they drop keys. Later, cruel gruel. He just blows a load on you. He uses inject. Okay, maybe there's another another dude that I gotta kill. He gives you a white pile. It's fucked up. They don't seem as intimidating as they once were, though. The big prison guards, at least. I wonder if there's multiple in this area or if it's just the one. Okay. Gives you the big goose goose. What's going on after Wolfie? Maybe it's all just a bait. Maybe it's only pulsating because I'm I'm a woman character. That's fucked up to say, but And next time, we need to try to kill him on this. And see if it works. Pulsated when you play- Oh, did it. Later, Mardos. I pulsate every Tolo stream. Okay, Kels. <laughs> Should we try fighting the cultists now? I think we're just gonna try talking to that dude again. Maybe he'll take our potion of full sanity. Ooh, what's in here? Alright. Cap is just in these. Damn it, I'm actually gonna die. Heads or tails? We won. 
At what cost? We have, like, nothing for healing now, though, is the problem. Played Vampire's Dawn? I have not. Left arm highlights when he charges? I really don't know. I, I don't think there's, like, an easy solution to beating those guys. I think you're just... You gotta do the cooking by the book, you know what I mean? Oh, that's a delightful thing to find. Heads or tails? Tails? Okay. Damn it. Alright. What's this? What is the book here? Office of the Captain of These du Dungeons. And a small key. Okay, we have a small key. My wife has died because of their plague. My child has died because of their sins. Next will be me and I will die because it's a macabre hellhole that they're built. Uh, I think the charge is the left hand because if it, it blinks like it's... It, okay, maybe. What kind of crazy game makes so much depend on a coin toss? Oh, God. Let's look. I don't want to climb in, but let's look. The smell is a mixture of death, blood, feces, and semen. So that's the portal to my Discord. Got it. I understand. We have the small key. Let's see if we can use it on the cage with the girl. What does semen smell like? I couldn't honestly tell you. Should we? Girl staying quiet. Oh no. Alright. You know what we have to do, right? Fuck, this is gonna be terrible. Can she fight? Can I put equipment on her? She has fight. Okay. She can't use weapons. Give her the night. Can she? No, there's, there's no weapons she can use. be back. I'm gonna take a piss. Oh, fuck. Chat, decide amongst yourselves what you want to do.
right, gamers. We all agree, show the love? Okay, I'm gonna take it off the stream then. I'm not gonna show it just in case it's something really bad, which I have a pretty... I'm pretty confident it's gonna be something really bad. Like, it's fucked up. Okay. I'm gonna mute it too. Alright. <sighs> Fuck. It gives me an option saying, make love with the girl. The girl is not willing. Okay, okay, good. Thank fucking God, she's not willing. It doesn't give me a prompt to do anything more. I I've never been so glad to be a turbo virgin in my entire fucking life. So we gotta kill her. <laughs> we gotta do the incel thing! See, look, look, I'll, I'll show you, look. It says, make love with the girl. Yes, the girl is not willing. So you can't... You can't do it, I'm guessing, because of her phobia. So, should we just pray? Almer. That's the one who crucifies people. Do we want to kill her? She's worthless in combat. She's not... Like, she'll take one hit in combat. Your affinity with Grow Goroth is, is growing. Holy shit, I didn't just kill her, I fucking decapitated her. It is still muted. Okay. What, the only noise that happened is she just went, ah! And that's it. He didn't miss much, but... You fucking psycho? This game's fucked up, you're not... Oh, look, do you see what we're playing right now? We're not going to make progress in this game by being a kawaii desu ichiban happy-go-lucky motherfucker. When in Rome... Drink some ale. Okay, it's 30. Ripped her hat off? Yes, I did. But now we know that it, it gives you affinity towards a god. <laughs> Rob decapitate the weak exactly. 79 mining, nice. Ooh, blue herb over here. Can you give the dude a say? We could try, Vlad Tat. Okay. This game looks sick. It is sick. Oh, we could just jump down the well? What's that? Okay. What happened to the girl? I decapitated her. I fucking killed her. Do you think that this guy will make love with me on the circle if I give him the potion? What game is this? This is called Fear and Hunger. Oh, he's not there anymore. He's fucking dead, dude. Oh shit, that's right. Oh, I just fucked myself. Can I use this? I guess we're gonna find out if this if this gets rid of bleeding. You're are bleeding. You are are bleeding. No, I think I think this ring actually is just it's it's fuck bleeding. You don't even have to have it equipped. That's fucking- that's actually insanely good. That's- that's nuts all. Okay. But yeah, these cultists seem to let me have the run of the place as long as I don't talk to them. Oh, 
Holy fuck. So how are we feeling about this game so far, chat? Do you like it? Mahavre? Best porn game I've ever watched? Fuck yeah. It's way worse? Oh, I'm sure it does. I've seen the twin towers that rise next to a black night sky, those macabre obelisks telling tales of some older, more cruel age. I've seen the Grand Gate when it's maddening murals and spirals, patterns beyond understanding. It's not like the sound of wind howling between those hollow streets wasn't enough. You also hear the sound of local residents, even while all comprehension would dictate that this place is long abandoned. You still hear them. You are not alone in this part of the world. In your dreams you've seen it, haven't you? The city of Mahabre. City of gods. Did you know it exists here? Interesting. Tales. Book of Forgotten Memories. What's that? Oh. <laughs> Can I have a snacky? This is me, me, Sif, and Amanda, actually. Like, this is exactly what it's like when she's over here. <laughs> is it roguelike? To a certain degree, the items you get are all different and shit. And yes, you can, we've already fucked our run-up so bad that we've had to restart. Because you only get to save once. Like, the save spots are consumable, and we've only found one so far. Memories of your past life flash before your eyes, but some of the memories are not yours. You remember your ancestors from a long line of noble knights from the kingdom of Rondin. Training to become a holy knight of Almer, you remember how the priests, your caretakers, would use punishing and cruel ways to embed the moral codes and ways of the knighthood. You remember how the cruelty knew no end. Every day you would be pitted against the beasts from exotic locations. You only get one save? I'm sure you get more. But you can't just save over and over again. Like, when you when you use the save spot, it, it, you're done. Like, you don't get to use it again. It's like Lisa hard mode if you've ever played that. Every night you would be pitted against the beasts of the monasteries. The monks would crawl next to you in the darkest hours of night. You remember slowly sinking to the darkness within and hearing the voice. That's fucked up. That's bad subtext. Remember how the voice would teach you skills to help you one day extract revenge from the wrongdoings of your uprising. What the fuck are the save snaps? What the hell was that from, Demonov? I remember that, but I do not remember what game it was. Kingdom Come? Right, right. Okay. You remember Counter? Holy shit! Uh-oh. Now here's the question. Can I counter the big dick bazinga big bang charge? Do you... You don't suppose that person is friendly, do you? Girl wasn't willing to make love with you? No, the the girl actually had a phobia of, of erotic shit. Like, the erotophobia or something like that. So it, it... It makes sense. But maybe... Tale of the Pocket? Cat 1? Oh my god, that's fucking terrifying. It was a rainy day in the countryside just north from the forest of Murwood. Willem, the wildest child known in town, would stare at the raindrops behind the window screen. His mother would warn him of going outside. During rain, decent boys would help their parents with various indoors tasks. Rain brings forth all kinds of dangers not otherwise known to little boys. Disregarding the warnings and without a worry in the world, Willem dashed through the bushes and ran deep into the... Murwood? In the heart of the forest... All wet from the rain, Willem heard slight panting noises from an overgrown grotto nearby. Cautiously, Willem peeked through the leaves. 
he would not believe his eyes when he saw a finely dressed cat standing on two feet twice as tall as Willem's father would be. The cat's back was facing Willem. Its hand was moving swiftly inside his pocket. Oh, fuck. It's a story about a depraved cat man jacking off to small children in the woods. Suddenly, the hand movement came to a halt. Even if Willem was well hidden behind the leaves, slowly the cat turned its eyes towards him. In terror, Willem ran as fast as he could towards his home. I'm feeling hungry, you know. I, you know, I could really go for some Twinkies right now after hearing about this this cat. <laughs> the two glowing yellow eyes of the cat haunted him all the way to his home gates. His mother was there to meet him by the front door, so you just had to go into the woods, did you? Said his mother. You saw something you shouldn't have, right? Questioned his mother. And how do I know this? Wom's mother would go inside and get a little parcel with decorated wrappings. It's appeared on the front door just before you came. It was directed to young Mr. Willem. Slowly, Willem unwrapped the decorated paper with small mouse prints on it. There was catnip. Are you with a sane mind? Please leave me. I'm not here to make acquaintances, and I feel... I fail to see what worth chatting with you would bring. Who are you? Clearly frustrated by you. My name is Enki. A priest of destruction. Can I feed your curiosity? Alright, we should probably shut the fuck up. There's definitely something behind here, by the way. Okay. Dusty old books for the bookshelf. Let's see. Can we get some... Heads and tails, chat. Tails? Miles, tails per hour. Tails. Good shit. Good job, chat. Alchemilia Volume 3. Is this going to teach me how to make, like, health potions or some shit? Recipes for intermediate class alchemy. Okay. Effects of different colored alchemical... Okay. Orange plus green, super senses. Blue plus blue, greater healing. White powder plus murky, highly explosive. Okay. What a, what a well-kept backyard. And I just, I love what they've got on the place. Can you drink the explosive potion? No, you use it to break, like, cave-ins and shit. So I guess two blue herbs makes a healing potion, but I imagine you need an alcohol. A meat table. Are you just out here with your, with your bow and arrow looking at these dudes' cocks? I see. Seems like you still retain your sanity. In a way, it's reassuring to see that I'm not completely alone here. Tell me, are you evil? What do you guys think we should say? I think we should say yes. This dude's a... This dude eats people in his backstory. You probably won't believe us if we say we're not. Why the fuck would we be in this castle if we weren't evil? We're evil. Is that so? I suppose no one in these dungeons can call themselves say exi- See? See? But your presence here means the dungeons will claim one more victim, and the evil residing here will grow that much stronger. If I were you, I'd try to escape these ancient walls by any means necessary for your sake. I hope our paths don't cross again here. It's not here just to torment us. It's not here to spread its roots into the surrounding world. Even if the dungeons, vile traps, decrepit monsters will lead you to believe otherwise. No person considers... It. Some people consider humanity at, at, on a fundamental level to be evil, though. And it's not nice to make sweeping generalizations about group, vast swaths of people and while excluding oneself. You know what I mean? 
Like many, many, many religious people believe all humans to be innately evil a little bit, at least a little bit, right? You gotta think in the context of the video game. Who are you? I mean, Ragnavalder. I'm an outlander. Okay. Fuck is this? It's called uh, Fear and Hunger. My kind, the northern people of Oldegard, we found the dark continent of Vinland from the far reaches of the west. The moment you lay your eyes on the crooked mountains and twisted forest, those lands, you feel the presence of a greater evil. Same, same evil that resides here. Why are you here? I'm here to find a relic that a certain person took from my people. Man is a prison somewhere deep below. Okay, so if we get their relic, we might be able to get them to join. <gasps> hmm. Okay. <gasps> Fuck. We could have given this to the girl. Well, we know. We know. Nitroglycerin powder. All part of a balanced breakfast. And some blueberries. Okay. Hidden backyard. Does Miss carry tiny spores in it? Oh, uh, what the fuck is this? Blue plus blue. I don't have an alchemy table, though, is the problem. Like, I... It's a thing. It looks like an ant hill, but there are no ants. I feel like fucking with this is a very bad idea. I'm scrolling on Arisma. I want to see what this shit is. It looks like a, a, a gnome sanctuary. It's a chick. It's a chick tree. You see her vines through the hair? There's a little face on the top. And I got all sorts of corpses ensnared in it. It looks like a friendly, welcoming place. I feel like very, very... Few bad things could possibly happen from going in here. What's going on, Crimson Fucker? I want to leave, dude. <laughs> I want to leave. What? Sif, shut the fuck door. Another menu for combining, maybe? You're right. It's just two potions. Okay. Since that was Alchem Alchemelia Volume 3, I guess that's how to make a, a big dick potion, not a, not a baby dick potion. Which is what we want it, what, what we want right now, because we don't have any potions to combine. Sif, I'm in the middle of a very intense game. Okay, I haven't saved in, in over an hour. We we can't find any save points, puppy. Do you know where they might be? Do you think we should try to kill the the fucking goblin? Oh, what the fuck! This is the rainforest. Maybe he's friendly. Pray, let's, we sacrifice, so we'll pray to grow, 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 grow off. Maybe something will happen. I think he's friendly, dudes. Thin creature, leave me be, please. I'm turning into a butterfly. A radar pillar turning into a beautiful radar fly. 
A story as old as time. I'm gonna be a pretty butterfly. Should we beat the shit out of him? No, there's no point. Let's see what the bunny thing wants. Uh. <laughs> um. All right, so I'm gonna move this desktop, and I'm just gonna narrate what's going on in this part because I I feel like this might be some some too hot for television shit. So Twitch staff, if you if you're here, I'm I'm doing a good job. They can't see it. I'm gonna talk to her. Naked bunny mask. Welcome to the meadows, O traveler. Let us ease your suffering. The first one is free. Dudes. There's a lot of sex going on right now. There's... Okay, let me, let me count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and then a twelfth man naked. In the middle of the meadow. It is a rabbit orgy. Uh, and they're doing variety. Uh, I'm, I'm not gonna explain. It. It's it's a mess. It's a mess. And the first one is free, so I'm gonna I'm gonna talk to the the one who's alone. Are you looking for a partner? Yes. Just take off your clothes and put on this mask. Black screen. Oh no. All right. Well, we're we're fucking a random bunny dude in the meadow. You lose track of time, but you're able to snap out of it. With the act, your affinity with the Sylvian is growing. You feel rejuvenated. Okay. Alright. We're good. We're good. Let me... Let me move this back. We are outside of the bunny fuck fields. Did I- did it heal me? It actually full healed me. That's what's up. That's what I'm talking about. Sif wants to go out now. So I'm gonna let her out and I will be back. Okay. So now we know that there's a forest full of nymphomaniac bunnies and you- You can take your clothes off and have sex with them for full heals. It's a girl night- yeah, we were the one on top, Amater. Oh, I'll be right back.
I'm back, my Pegasisters. How are you? So that was an experience. So Sylvian is, I guess, like a like a Sylvan nymph, god of sex. Okay, you call us Pegasus sisters? You're fucking goddamn right, I did. All right. Hmm. Check how much it is. No, thank you. Does this mean you can't be a wizard anymore? Should we kill the dude who wants to be a butterfly? Now that we, we fucked to full health? No? Okay. Talk to him? I already did. He didn't have much to say. Now that we're healed up, let's see what happens if we poke that beehive thing. What, do, what should we do? Sniff it. Smell of tobacco. Listen inside. Faint echo can be heard resonating inside. Poke it. Sides are squishy but firm. Put your hands inside. It feels warm inside. The hole goes on beyond your reach. Okay. Do we want to risk going inside of this hellhole? It seems extraordinarily dangerous. Alright. I'm almost certain we're gonna die here, and we will lose a lot of progress. No, there's a fuck ton of places we could go. What the fuck is that? Should we fight it? Nah, fuck this, dude. I, don't, I didn't like that noise. I didn't like that noise at all. I feel like the next area we should explore is the prison. We've established that we are more than capable of killing the, the prison guard guys now with a little bit of luck. And the gnomes aren't going to be anywhere near as, as bad considering the fact... That I have anti-bleed. However. However. There's other places we can go to. There's the area full of semen. The hole full of semen we could have crawled through. And there's the well. So there's a lot of places we could go. And I'm trying to, I'm trying to deduce which one has the... Has the, the lowest chance of me getting fucked. Stop being a pussy. Okay, we'll go and fight the tree guy. We'll, we'll fight the tree guy. Tree guy or semen hole? Which one? Tree? Alright, let's go see if we can beat him up. I have a feeling this is going to be like a super boss or some shit, though. It's fine, though. We got to learn. We got to see what this dude's like, his approximate power level. Hey, 
He's, he's a mumbler. Oh, we fi we're fighting a sound clown rapper. Fast attack. I don't know if he attacks immediately. So I, otherwise, I would... No, he's pulsating. Shivering touch. Okay, so he attacks your mind. That means we probably want to get its arms. That doesn't look good. Okay. We defeated it, but our maximum sanity appeared to be cut in half. Oh no, hold on. Never mind. Oh, we're poisoned though. Fuck, okay. We have a white vial. We're gonna use the white vial. I, I do not want to be poisoned. And do I have... I, I don't really have shit for sanity except for this, which doesn't usually restore your sanity. It's, it's, it's a lie. Wait. That's not good. I think we gotta leave... It seems like we it seems like we could do more here, but I don't think we can at this particular moment in time. I'm gonna go see I'm gonna move this and I'm gonna see if I can if I can go have sex to, to heal and shit. <laughs> like maybe it'll heal my mind. I wonder how much it costs. So give me a minute. Cause I don't, I don't really want to show this on stream. I think it would be fine, but it, there's a lot of fucking on the screen when it happens. So let's go see. I'm sure we're gonna get like a an STD or some bullshit now. Okay. Someone recommend? No, I found this game on my own. Yes. Okay. Wait, I'm fucked. They didn't charge me money. They said the first time is free, so some sort of affliction is going to happen to me this time. Yep, it's giving me a heads or tails. Chat, heads or tails. I mean, there are a couple people getting head right now, so I think I'm going to go with heads. It's heads. It says you lose track of time, but you're able to snap out of it. Okay. I feel like if you lose that coin flip, you're gonna you're get. It appears that they're all in a trance there, like they can't they can't stop having sex. So I think that's what happens when you when you do the coin flip. Like you'd actually just get fucked and die. So my mind isn't completely healed, but my my body is. Okay. 50 50 shot of full healer game over. Yeah, yeah, that's what it looks like. Titty God like you more? Yes. Some graphic sex scenes. I don't think you understand how graphic the ones that are on the screen are. Like, I'm serious. It's like porn game tier. It's, it, it's, it's a lot, honestly. There's no less than 11 couples having sex on the screen. So, should we go into the bloody toilet hole or should we go to the prison? Shit pit! <laughs> it's just called the shit pit! <laughs> Walls are covered 
and muckus and all things horrible. All right, climb up. It appears to be it had been a mistake jumping down here. I think I'm fucked. <laughs> I think I lost, dude. <laughs> Ooh. So, how are you doing? Is there an item that I could conceivably use here? Who's that? I fought the enemy though, Quen Streams! I literally fought it and I couldn't I couldn't go in. <laughs> An epic tale of a knight who willingly climbed into a shit pit. Yeah, basically. All right. To title. We lost. <laughs> we fucking lost, dude. All right. The good news is it's not it's not all bad cuz now I can try doing the prison. We can try doing the prison which is an entirely different segment of the game and we can we can see what's going on there. We did lose a lot of progress, but that's okay. There's still plenty of the game to explore and we'll be able next time we get the child, for example, we we'll, we won't sacrifice them. And we can give them the knife and they can be a little party member. So. Dying is not necessarily the worst thing in the world in this game. Because you get to try a bunch of different shit that you didn't. However, all of the little, the little tentacle monster beasts are alive still. I think I'm just gonna go ahead and say fuck the tentacle beast. There doesn't seem to be a, a particularly uh, good reason to kill them. Hey, thank you, Tents, for the 16 months. I appreciate it, dude. Thank you, thank you. All right, to the prison we go. What we're gonna try to learn here is there's a lot of those prison guards, so we're gonna try to figure out how to deal with these enemy types as efficiently as possible. There's gotta be a way to, to just mangle the prison guards in short order. Wow, holy shit, 17 coins. A lot of t well, yeah, but there's... It's, it's got its own category on Twitch and other people who played it, so I think it's okay to play. Maybe I will get banned. I'm trying I'm trying to uh, censor the, the sexual parts, though. I'm doing my best. Okay. Now what we have to do here is equip Ring of the Stillblood. Because these gnomes will fuck us up otherwise. I guess we could avoid the gnomes and kill the prison guards? Doesn't sound like a terrible way. Going about we we really don't have to find fight everything. Oh, shit. Okay. Fuck you. What's going on? I push kids. What the heck is this game? It's called Fear and Hunger. It's one of the most profoundly fucked up games I've seen in a while. Okay. Is this RPG maker? Yes. We could go to the blood pit. That's an option. It's right here, I think. This is the blood pit, right? Ah, oh, fuck. 
Okay. Delightful. Did he seriously just get three attacks? I like how he's got the spider shield from Dark Souls 1. Okay, he's licking his lips. We need to try for his head. Okay, use the white vial because I got poison. And then blue vial. So, those dudes are, are, are rough, but they're not unbeatable. They're not terrible. Leather armor and crude sword. I doubt either of those are very good, but. Whoa! -ho 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 -ho! It's a two handed weapon. With a hundred fucking attack. I don't think it's worth it. I don't think it's worth it at all. I think this is actually a trap. You wanna know why? Definitely- no. We already kill all the limbs in one hit when we do hit. Like, if we hit, the limb goes off in one limb. So why the fuck would we want to use this and lose all that defense? It would just be overkill, right? Can you one hit the body? Maybe? It's a possibility, but I really feel like it's not a good idea. Can I jump down? a guy who won in a shithole? Chat wanted me to go in the shithole, though. Like, I just got- I'm, I'm, I'm a man of the people. Let's go back and skin that lizard. So the blood pit really only has that one lizard guy, huh? It's not anywhere near as intimidating as it first seems. Skinning knife doesn't cut lizard man skin. Well, okay. Fucking bullshit game. Fucking dumb as hell. Let's see some salami. Bloody pit is pretty underwhelming. It really kind of is. But sometimes when you die, you get your legs chopped off, and then you get thrown down here. Like, we had that happen. We lost to the first enemy in the game, and we... <laughs> we were a fucking cripple. Okay. Two carrots. Delightful. Do we want to jump down the well? Because, remember, there's a well, too. Do you think it'll have a better, a better result than the shit pit? Wait, what the fuck's going on in here? Buckman. Trotcher, please, why do this? Say it again, please. I love it. Even if I may lack the parts, I still feel the tingle. Interrupt that. This dude doesn't look like he can do much if I just chop his arm off, right? I think I'm going to forego going for the double and just try to slice his left arm off in the onset of the fight. That appears to have been the right decision. Okay, now let's talk to him. Some Monty Python shit. <laughs> Still surrender and be a good child. I need new test subjects. Okay, so he's experimenting on people. What if I talk to him again? No, that's all he says. We're just being cruel at this point. Beat him! 
Fuck you, bitch! Kick his fucking head in. 2F key from him. Alright. Skin him. Damn. Thank God, thank Almer. Buckman does a symbol of a cross with his hands and looks up close. I'm so glad there's still good folk around. Who are you? This is an important question. See, now we have his name, so maybe we can go back and talk to that guy. I'm desperately trying to escape these ancient walls, but first I need to find him. I met this heavy knight in the basement. So Seymour has to be your guardian angel, aren't you? Okay, so maybe if we come in through the blood pit, we get this. Because when we came in from the bottom, he was running away from something, if you remember. And we didn't have the option to talk to him about the night. He had gone insane already. So it seems like we want to approach this part of the game through the blood pit. Which means we have to fight that lizard man. Well, we don't necessarily have to fight him. He's on the top. And we could just run through the blood pit without, without actually battling him. And then we get this iteration of the event. So let's go jump down that well. Find two carrots. I still can't believe there's an area called the shit pit. <laughs> this game's fucking epic. A lot of trial and Oh, absolutely, Vlad Ted. It, I think it even advertises it as like a trial and error sort of game. Like they, they, they don't even pretend that it's gonna be anything different. To save after the girl? No. Okay. I like it, though. It's fun. It's a very enjoyable game for me thus far. Alright. Are we going down the well, chat? What do you guys think? Okay. Jackpot. Heads or tails. That's how you get in here. Plate mail. That would be really cool, except for the fact that I have plate mail already. It's nice to know, though. It's nice to know. See, now here's the problem. We have a we have a belligerent. He seems to really like that door. What's going on, Dark Beardo? <laughs> fuck! 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 Okay, okay, okay. We can, we can, we can do this. We can do this if we, if we. Now, this, this works well because we're at the basement with the knight, so we can go talk to him and see if the quest has progressed. Let me, let me, okay, let me take a break because I, I, I'm getting super into this game. I know I'm not talking with chat a lot tonight, but I'm, I'm actually really engrossed in this shit. It's weirdly enthralling. Okay. So this game is called Fear and Hunger. It's a weird RPG maker game with turn-based combat that's also sort of a survival horror game. You you have like a hunger meter, a sanity meter, a, a health meter. Uh, it has roguelike elements. Things are different if you die. Saving is, is not really an abusable tactic. The way saving works in this game is if you find a save point, which we've only found one thus far, you can use it once. After that, it is it is inoperable. So you really have to. We 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 fucked a character up before. We saved at a bad time and pretty much bricked our character. And I'm sure that's not the last time it's going to happen. The game's combat system is interesting because it's turn based combat, but it is extraordinarily slanted against you. Um, th there's a coin flip mechanic. And it's pervasive throughout the entirety of the game. Like, when you're getting loot, you do a coin flip. If you guess right, you get good shit. If you guess poorly, then you get dog shit. And that's also in the combat. Sometimes you just get fucked. Like, there's an enemy with a huge pulsating cock who chases you around. And if you lose the coin flip, he tramples you and pretty much just fucks you. Uh, you, you lose, like, 70-plus health, and you're pretty much just boned at that point. So it is very difficult. It 
it's it's a very difficult game and you ha we we just lost actually we lost not from an enemy but we went into we found a hole that said that it smelled like death blood piss and semen and I was like, okay, that sounds dope. Let's jump in. And it took us to an area called the shit pit, which was literally inescapable. We could not, we could not leave the shit pit. And we, we, we bricked our character. You really helped me out there. I want to give you something special for 40 silver coins. Did you know that torturer? I knew him somewhat. He was one of the higher officials in these dungeons, believe it or not. He had the disfigured shape long before coming here, but this place has certainly had enhancing effects to his look and mental state. Who are you? My name is Ludwig Buckham. I'm saying it's a pleasure meet, to meet you, but talking about pleasure in this hellhole sounds too macabre. What are you doing here? We dealt with these dungeons with a small party. We came for a certain person here. We were supposed to get him out of here, but that was before we knew the place. Nothing survives here. There's a blank expression on Buckman's face. It says that his eyes got no liveliness or glimmer or hope. This is before he became a, a brony beast. Okay. Alright. I honestly think it's too late for the others. Yes, maybe. Should we prioritize our survival then? I don't really know. It's not like the place is letting us escape either. I guess we head down. Also, Burn asked earlier if there are multiple endings. I presume so, but I, I don't know. I have no idea, to tell you the truth. So, okay, okay. We've revised our, our path through the game. What we want to do, in the event that we have to start all the way over again, is we immediately want to come here. Maybe we kill the first prisoner in that first little castle area, but then we come here, we go around through the blood pit, and cause this event to happen so we can get 40 coins. I'm sure it doesn't happen 100% of the time. I'm sure there's not a consistent way to get this exact outcome every time. But we need to try. Okay. This dude really poses no threat. He's too slow to really fuck with you. Finis for different gods. Yeah, it seems that way. Doc Peps. Ended up in a toilet. Hello, Tipsy by Twilight. Occasional yeah, there are definite grammar issues, which sucks, but that's not really a big deal. What do you think he drops? I don't know, but I know I'm not going to be able to fucking kill him. We fought him once, and he is quite a formidable opponent. I mean, maybe... Possible idea, using the two-handed sword from the lizard man, maybe we could immediately gimp one of his arms. That's a possibility. But I forgot how much Salome loves his own voice. What do you mean? I don't understand. Steam only has this game, so I don't know if they published anything else. I was saying it was slightly ironic because the name of the publisher is Happy, and there isn't much happiness in this game. Oh, fuck. Wait, maybe I can break down the fucking doors with the two-handed weapon. I didn't even think about that. Let's try that. Okay. Long sword, crude sword. Let's beat the shit out of this fucking door. Still nothing. Maybe the wooden doors we can break, but the the barred doors, there's, it's still no dice. Okay, don't forget to equip your shield. BS yes, fur, what's wrong, dude? Melt money into material for a sword? 400? It does hit really hard, but it's it's really situational at best. It's not really something you would want to use a lot, I imagine. Oh. Well, it's a good thing I have that anti-bleeding ring, huh? That was not there our first run through this. Oh, shit. Okay. Let's see here. Let's we're gonna try this. I don't think it's gonna it's gonna go our way. But maybe with the two-handed sword we can kill him with a body shot. 
Oh! Well, this is a different encounter entirely. What's going on, Melon Fox? Alright! So we definitely want to kill that lizard. We definitely want to kill that lizard because that sword is actually really fucking good. That was- that was fantastic. Those- those guys have been a pain in the ass, and now... Now I can apparently just one-shot them. I just have to- I have to- I have to switch. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do that with the melee guys, though. I'm not sure if they have different stats or anything like that yet. Okay. No Apex? No, I'm sorry. I don't- I don't play those games. Two-handed weapon makes enemies pulsate? Oh shit, okay. Do you think it's gonna be the same sort of deal on this guy? So what's going on, Noodle Slayer? Fuck. That's what I was worried about. No, I guess I crit that one time. Okay, I'm gonna have to have the dice roll. No, it still one-shots them. They just- it, I guess if you hit them with the body, they still get to do things. They still get their turn even if you kill them. That's what it looks like. You find this game spooky? Kind of? I find this game fucking funny too. Search them. Skin them. Mortal wound instead of insta kill? Oh shit, I gotta watch out for these little gnomes. That's actually what they're called, by the way. They're they're really called gnomes. Wait, what is this? I've never seen this before. What could possibly go wrong? Woo! Okay. That could have been bad. Alrighty. I don't really have too many healing things. So I could use the red herb. I don't want to go up and check that door because I'm pretty sure... The, the gnomes will be able to pursue me. Never opens door and shithole. That would be fucked up. I wonder if there's actually going to be something that lets you do worthwhile things in the shithole. So it seems like all I have left are the gnomes. I could kill them. I think I would manage to beat them. It's... Especially since I don't have bleeding. I could fight the gnomes, and then I could go to the Sylvan Woods and have sex to get the full heal, the freebie. But if I can avoid having to deal with the gnomes at all, I feel like that would be the preferable alternative. Because I didn't get a key this time. So I can't do anything with the with the cells unless I have to search. It's like on a on a shelf or something somewhere. Gnomes seem pretty avoidable. They also have a tendency to follow you way harder than most of the enemies, though, which is the shitty thing. They're very persistent little bastards. What happens if I light the torch up? Does zombie have something on him last time? I don't think so. Is your character female? Yes. Okay. Hello? I wonder if there are any hidden walls. Not hidden, but like invisible walls and things like that that are really hard to find unless you just search everything. Okay. Looks like another one of those places you drop in from, from above, actually. 
Make a difference if your character is male or female. Um, I'm not sure. I'm sure it does, but the the differences seem to be very minuscule. Like, I know the prison guards tr say they want to rape you if you're a girl. I don't know if that's the case as a dude or not. Successfully forced the door open yet? No. Did you say have sex to you? Yes, that's a thing you can do. But it, it seems like... When, when you have sex to heal, the little nymphs tell you that the first time is free. And what they mean by that is you get a coin flip on every, every fornication session after that. And I'm guessing... Oh, fuck. Well, we know what the lever does now. Anyways, back to that initial thought. Um... I'm guessing if you fail the coin flip with the sex mini game, that you you just lose automatically because everyone else there seems to be entranced and it has a little bit of dialogue that you were entranced and you managed to break out of it or something to that effect. Okay. Fail the mini game and show it on stream. You won't. No. Probably not. Maybe it just damages sanity. Would that mean you have the Ahago face or the, the anime getting fucked face? What's going on, Acid? Let's see. So we've never been this far before. This is progress. Okay, so there are more gnomes down here. They, f I feel like they're a little bit faster. Let's go. Let's go do the the sub quest with the girl, I guess, before we go down here. Kind of new areas make me nervous because I don't know what the fuck is gonna happen. Could use that lift in the shit pit. Yeah, I wonder if killing the cultists has any sort of benefit. I like the shithole more than down here. Everything in this game makes me nervous. Even this dead body. I just really wish I could find another save point. I understand that this is a hardcore game for epic gamers, but... <laughs> oh, I just realized, actually. Let me look at my books. So... Getting to the getting to the Sylvan Nymph area is kind of reliant on luck because you need a certain book to open the bookcase to get past everything that's going on there. Much was this game? Seven dollars. So can I just I didn't mean to do that, but that works. Let's get his right arm. What now, retard? Okay, so let's interrogate him. Well, no. Let's actually cut- I don't know if he can do other things. He can't do anything to his legs. Old show you might like, it's called Mononoke, and it's a paranormal psychological light horror. I'm stupid, though. Like, I'm dumb. I don't understand that sort of thing unless it's in a video game. And thank you, Wonderkind, for the 17-month resub. I appreciate it, dude. Thank you very much. What is your origin? But a wretched being on a holy pilgrimage. All the priests of the Western world dream of delving down these dungeons. I'm gonna have to ask you to stop that, sir. I shouldn't have tried to talk to him. Heads or tails, chat. Tell 
Tails, I'm trusting you, chat. It happens. So don't fuck with- like, go for the kill. Do not try to talk to them. Go for the fucking kill. <laughs> go for the kill, for sure. Alright, so we're way- we're, we're back here. That's rough, yeah, that's just how it goes, though. Now we know- now we know that you really don't want to converse with them. Hold on. Hold on. I want to try something. It's something very stupid, but it's something that I do want to try. I want to kill the lizard man and get his two-handed sword and then see if I can kill Shakespeare. I wonder if that, that will be enough to like immediately sever one of his limbs or something. Later, Wanderer. Because that lizard man is... <laughs> he's very useful with that weapon he drops. Also good shit acid. What's going on? Spell Lena backward and ship all. Well, let me catch up with chat. All western priests dream of delving deep into this dungeon. So what that means... That, that seems like it's not really... Oh shit, a small key. There's a lot of progress. Yeah, but it's alright. That's just the nature of the game. Why would they make a pilgrimage here? There's probably a god at the bottom of the dungeon. Or some sort of ridiculous, uh, holy shrine of some sort, right? Immediately go for the arm. Miss. Okay, so we're fucked. Go for that arm again, baby. Only 110? It, it worked, though. Fast attack. I actually thought it was gonna... I like how the left leg counterattacked me. That's fucked up. I hey, thank you, Spell Lena Backwards, for the four-month resub. I appreciate it, dude. Thank you very much. Spider Shield. Yeah, that's absolutely a Dark Souls reference. I'm trying to find out how much health the Corso has. Okay, so that was 115 times 4, so that's, what, 460 is enough damage to kill it. I would say it pro most likely 100 or 450 HP on the torso. That would make sense to me. What weapon is that? That was the longsword, but this lizard actually drops a two-handed weapon that does some really big dick damage. I, I fucked up, though. I, I still have parasites. I, I actually made a pretty egregious mistake. But that's okay. This is this is kind of a test run. I'm, I'm, I want to try something. I'm not really trying to win specifically. MC male. Well, there's different characters you can pick, and ours is female. You didn't use the worm juice? Yep. That could have been really bad, actually. What's this beauty? It is called Fear and Hunger. It's a fucked up game. Why is beating the dead body an option? Because it's funny. <laughs> At least I think it is. Maybe you don't. But I, I find it kind of humorous. Oh, hold up. I want to eat, though, because it has some manner of effect on you. It says you're, like, weak from hunger. So I think if I... I think I would have been able to fuck that lizard up a lot easier if I had eaten prior. Okay, so we've got leg, head, and right arm. We're gonna we're gonna risk it. Okay, that was good. 
Now we want to beat the shit out of this arm. Holy shit! Okay, yeah, this dude's not playing fucking games. That was it. That was 700 plus damage on the arm, and it did not do a goddamn thing. Okay. I just wanted to try. I wanted to try, and I got I got my answer. That is absolutely like a boss type enemy. I feel that you're probably gonna want multiple party members before you tackle that dude. But that means we have something to look forward to, right? Okay. The good news is that two-handed weapon really... Oh, fuck. I'm not gonna be able to kill the lizard because I used my vial. That's okay. That's okay. We don't have to kill the lizard. The girl is not dead. Because I don't want to save scum too much. I feel like that kind of goes against the spirit of the game. Although not not too much because you you do have a limited amount of saves. My bad English. Oh, dude, it's all it's all good, dude. I I mean English is my first language, but I still speak it like a fucking retard. So you're you're all good, dude. Like you're never gonna find anyone saying that I'm a good speaker. So. <laughs> all right, we got an explosive vial. That's good. Quick rundown on this game. There are enemies that chase you with giant pulsating penises. It is a survival horror RPG type game. It's they're limited saves, so it's 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 very difficult. Okay, so we have the small key. Let's go save the girl. Or at least let's try to. Let, let's make an attempt. Save the game with some books. I'm sure Quill in the blank page will let you save. Doesn't look like it, Erloff. English is real stupid. Take hom homonyms, for example. What about homonyms? Okay. So this is going to be an interesting thing because we're going to see if this quest always plays out the same way. Yes, it does. So this is our route. We always want to go this way. When we enter this particular part of the building, we always want to approach from the blood pit so we can do this and get the 40 silver coins. Because this guy is absolutely free. If you break his arm, he he cannot do anything to you. Hey, thank you, Slam It In Me Only Chat, for the 11 month resub. I appreciate it, dog. Thank you, thank you. Just kill him. Why beat around the bush? Okay. Who are you? Alright. Good. So now, we go down through the well, because there's a chest, which gives us a potential for a really good item. Last time we got plate armor, which is good, but we already have it. Please, no spoilers in chat, by the way. I like. I think I speak for many of us, although maybe not, in that we are exploring this game and it kind of is a group and it's fun to figure shit out, so we don't really want to know optimal strategies or spoilers or what to do. Search the body? No, I didn't. I should do that. What happens if you ignore the conversation? I don't know. Sorry, it's all good. As a native English speaker, English is dumb. It can't be right, because it gives, it gives a second floor key. What if there's a way out of the shit pit? See, I want to find about that, out about that, but I want to find out about that after I'm done with the game. Is like, I'll look at this neat little thing you missed sort of deal, right? There's the shit pit. Oh yeah, this dude's fucking here, I forgot. This could be... 
This could be problematic. Okay. <laughs> Imagine, dude. Imagine being this asshole. Is that a penis? No, that's a stinger. Oh, he, he still has it up. Okay. He can always attack you, but that does seem to be the best way. That does seem to be the best way to deal with him. Skin him. All right. With all these hours, I still find this golem disgusting. You find a torn page. What was the torn page used for again? That was the crow, right? Yeah, it tells of the crow mauler. Okay. You have the right arm before. He's gonna hit you no matter what you do, though. Like if you if you don't have his left arm or like. I guess, hypothetically, if I don't do the double turn thing, I could take his, his hacking arm off first, and then his other arm, but if I miss, I'm fucked. But I guess if I, if I miss, regardless, I'm fucked. Apex Legends? No, I'm actually, I don't know why so many people are asking me about Apex Legends. <laughs> I don't think, uh, I don't think that's my sort of game. I didn't jump on the Fortnite. I don't I don't jump on the the popular thing expecting to be like the the Apex Legends streamer or whatever the fuck, right? I honestly I, I don't I don't have anything to offer that other people don't. So there's no point. I wouldn't be good at that game. Um I don't think I'd have fun playing that game, so why would I play that game? That's just me personally. Like I, I understand a lot of people genuinely enjoy it, but I don't think I genuinely enjoy it. Okay. A cloth hood. Overwatch stint? That's because the game actually looked like it was fucking fun, though, and I didn't really stream that game. I just played that on my on my off time. Because I could get drunk and play Reinhardt and just charge into people. Like, I didn't have to know how to aim and shit to play that game, right? It just worked. Okay. Heads. Book of the Forgotten Memories. Which one was that again? That's the one that gave me counter, right? Yeah, okay. I'm just gonna skip through it. God Eater 3, maybe. Oh, did I just not get anything that time? That's fucked up. No, I did, I did. I did. This wasn't reading it. Pinecone? Okay, what the fuck is this pinecone pig thing? There are instructions on how to build your own pinecone pig. The amount of good luck and fortune the pinecone pig seems to originate from the north from the little village villages in the older garden. A narrow stick. Pinecone. Okay. That's gonna be an accessory that gives me luck or some shit, right? That's the only thing I can imagine it being. Oh, I don't have a pinecone. Okay. It's hard to keep track. You have the stick? Yeah, I got the stick. Good shit. Another one? What's this one gonna give me? Nope. I actually got fucked. It, it, it said I already acquired the skill counter. I, I actually just got dicked. <laughs> Unlucky. That's okay. 
bigger counter. No, you don't. You don't want to. You don't want to find that book twice. I guess. Alright, we're good. Alright, go find pine cone. Yeah, it would be nice. It would be nice to find the pine cone, but I'm not particularly expecting. Wait, have I been in here? Human Hydra, I'm hungry, bring us food, human. What do you eat? Humans. Rip one head off. Uh oh. Uh oh. Head three. Let's get him. You gotta fucking stop. Can't you see us suffering? Wants to bag or something? What the fuck do you think you're doing? You don't stop, we're gonna wreck you up badly. Alright. My bad, dude. <laughs> we let you go this once. Alright, alright. I'm not I'm not gonna press my luck there. I know I'm gonna get my ass kicked if I keep hitting them. Just chop a couple of their heads off for the fuck of it, and then we'll bring we'll bring them a nice small child as uh, recompense for the couple of heads that they lost. I feel like that's a good compromise. What about you? Cult is passive. They kill you very very well if you run into them, but they don't chase you. Okay. Two eggs. Do I have the purification? Talisman? I don't really have anything to do right now. Okay. Courtyard looks like Demon Souls. There's, there's actually a part in a previous run where we got to a place full of fucking, like, bunny-masked people fucking in the woods, and I had to, I had to put it on my screen so chat couldn't see because it was a little too raunchy. A little too hot for Twitch.tv, if you know what I mean. Okay. I'm probably going to get banned from this stream, so I hope you guys enjoyed it. <laughs> Thank you, Duke, for the host. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. The last time you'll ever see Tolomeo on Twitch.tv... Immediately sent to the Shadow Realm. Okay. Written notes here, death is the answer. Okay. Check to see- No, I've seen other streamers play it. There we go, that's the book we need to go to the Nymph Forest. Tales. Cool. Empty scroll. Recipes of the 15th century. Okay, what does that do? Meat pie. Bacon and eggs. Blueberry pie. Mushroom stew. So. That was pretty good. You loaded with foods? Fuck yeah, I am. God damn it. Alright. So, I don't have the big ass sword, right? No. Hmm. Can cause momentary stun to enemies. I'm wondering how useful things like this would be. I, I actually kind of suspect the mace might be really good. Because it's only five damage less, and we've still... I imagine we'd still one-shot most limbs, but we have the additional added benefit of maybe stunning an enemy and getting a, a turn uh, without being damaged. Okay. What happened to the big sword? I, I fucked up my order of operations so I don't have an antidote. 
to use with the lizard. Which means I would be poisoned from fighting the lizard. Which is not exactly the most ideal thing in the world. That's that's actually a good point, Doc Peps. I didn't even think about that. Okay. What was behind here? It was like a kitchen, right? Favorite cereal to eat was Sprite. I don't like Sprite, and I'm not really big on cereal either. Okay, heads. Fur armor. Delightful. Okay. Heads. Fuck you. Okay. Now I can become a furry? Oh, thank God. I really want a pine cone. Two eggs. And a blue vial. So a healing potion. Not bad. I'll take it. I been here yet? Have I searched this shit? Yes, I have. This music is so foreboding. A pipe? That's really good. Ring of Wraiths? That sounds fucking incredible. What does that do? I see so much death and life forces leaking from it. wonder if that's what I need to open the door in that earlier place with the jellyfish. A wooden buckler and a bottle of ale. You didn't search that whole room. Which one? What did I miss? Hey, thank you, Rain, for the 13-month resub. I appreciate it, dude. How are ya? It's a very strange game. This is a very odd video game. It's not going to be for everybody, but I've been enjoying it immensely. Hold on. I want to cook some shit. I have some meats. I need to beat this shit out of that prison guard, though. Rain, you're, you're about to like something that's coming up, though. I promise you. Exploded door. I think I did everything. 13 months. Subs are cumulative now. They changed the way it works, so thank you for all of your continued support. Wait, use red vial? What the fuck kind of sense does that make? Okay, it melts the lock. Huh. Okay. I'll take it, I guess, but... Wasn't really what I was expecting. 35 silver coins. Jesus. Okay. And a leather vest. Let's eat a salami. Do I have blueberries? Something that I can use to heal just a minute amount. Let's drink some ale too. We're at that we're at that point. The subs don't have to No, no noodle. They're all together. They're all added up. See, I would buy potions, but the dude appears to be a scam artist. Like, he doesn't actually give you shit that's worth having. Like, the potions will just poison you and shit. So, honestly, coins have seemed to be... less than ideal. Okay. Let's get Let's get his other arm. Please don't fucking miss. Okay. A stinger. His leg. And then his head. Fuck. Fuck you, asshole. I'm just gonna go for the torso, I guess. 
I still lost a fuck ton. I really need to use the the double attack thing. Oh god, he's gonna kill me, isn't he? No. Yeah, hitting him with the torso. I don't know. I don't know. He still he still definitely gets it, the opportunity to hit you. But you know what? I don't need to heal. You know why? Because I have the book to access the land of the nymphs, and there are no more enemies that I can that I can recall. So let's go let's go to the nymph land and get that full heal. I still don't really like the fact that I have to I have to use that after one of the easier encounters. Because at this point, don't really feel like uh I, I, I think chopping the hacksaw arm off I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't hack the dick off, but the dick does some big... Well, it does some big dick damage if you if you let it stay there. It hits like 28. He, he viciously thrusts you with it, and it's not good. It's not good at all, if you ask me. Later, I fly high. A fuck by- No, I didn't really get fucked by RNG. Hold on. What happens if I go this way? Can I avoid the encounter with the Outlander? Yes, it appears that I can. Okay, I gotta- I gotta- I gotta move the window because this next part is very graphic. <laughs> I'll see you in a couple minutes. Get, getting some sexual healing. God damn. Sounds like me when people visit. Well, thank you very much for the resub, Crinkles. I appreciate it, dude. Thank you for 11 months. You lose track of time, but are able to snap out of it. You feel rejuvenated. Okay. Use two turns out of the way. Yeah, there's no way to kill those guys without getting fucked a little bit. I understand that, but... I don't know. I'm just trying to figure out the, the best way to hit the head. Can you describe what's happening? Lots of sex. Lots of sex. Like an, an inordinate amount of procreation. Do you think we should try to kill this guy? Everybody wants him to live. Oh, now people are saying yes. Okay. Hey, buddy. I've already read all your dialogue. I'm gonna say that I'm... Oh. Pressed it one too many times. Okay. Let him be pretty. I bet he's gonna be the most beautiful butterfly the world's ever seen. You're a crack underneath your feet. Oh, my God. Okay, chat. <laughs> Death check. Do you get to keep playing the game check? Heads? Nudity allowed? It's more than just a little bit of nudity, though. Oh, my God. Ankle feels a little hurt from the fall. Explosive vial. And a stick. A sticky! A cloth hood. And a quill. Okay, so let me check. Can I? Empty scroll. First verse. Second verse. Third verse? Huh. So I thought maybe those would be saves. But I guess you're supposed to act... Okay. Okay. We need to pay attention. Because we're going to have to write something. We're going to have to write out a poem. At some point in this game. 
so we we actually need to keep our our eyes out for that i guess seems like an interesting game i think it's very interesting crow door you might be right actually Why can't I just unlock the door like that? It talked to rhymes. It did. It did. But I don't know if it would be big enough to... Uh, to write all that shit out, you know? Wheat flour. This game kind of T-Dog TOS? Yeah. It has a section on Twitch, and I've seen... Uh, vods of other people playing it, but I don't want to. I don't want to risk having a screen of 12, 12 instances of people fucking. You know. God damn it! All right. A brief explanation of story. We're in the dungeon looking for shit. I don't. I don't have much else to say. Not, not a whole lot to say. Alright. So that wasn't too bad, but... We need to figure out what happens when we sacrifice the girl to the Hydra. That's what they meant, Bleeding Norwegian. Character actually fuck? Yes! You take all your fucking clothes off, you put on a bunny mask, and you ride some dude in the woods. Not anything, since you cut some of its faces off. It's a good point. Maybe I shouldn't do it this attempt. We'll have a little party member. We can go kill cultists together. Maybe, maybe she'd actually be decent for something. She, I have a feeling she's just gonna die on the first fight we have, though. Like it would, it would take a lot of effort to actively prevent her from dying. What if she's OP? She's not. How can I download this game? Steam or itch.io? See, the girl always has erotophobia, I guess. Or maybe it's, it, it determines whether or not she has it uh, on, the, on the new game creation. Why didn't I skin this dude? Give me that shit. What's going on, Mope? Okay. I don't want to do anything with her, right? So, let's go to that secret area. Quote, I say secret area, but the area that's behind the, the fucking thing. I can't think of what I'm trying to say. When we need the book to, to access. Oh, and she's, she's hungry too. That's right. Any closer to beating this? We managed to get to the fourth floor. Or at least we figured out how to get to the fourth floor. But we've learned a lot. Chat, do we want to keep her as a party member? Or do we want to do we want to give her to the Hydra? Keep? Okay, overwhelmingly people are saying keep, so that's what we'll do. There's a Hydra. It's not the kind of Hydra you're thinking of. And I don't know, Dessa. I have no idea. I'm just doing it just in case I need him for something later on. Alright. Is it a dong Hydra? It's just a clump of human heads. That's really all it is. Like, Hydra's kind of a, a grandiose term for what the fuck it actually is. Okay. Give. Uh -oh. She's gonna fucking kill me. <laughs> and then the girl stabs you! And you're bleeding out in the blood pits. 
She drags your corpse all the way through and throws you in the shit pit. Okay. Her attack is 10, dude. She's fucking worthless. <laughs> I still feel like I should sacrifice her, but I won't because you guys asked me not to. So now we gotta go to the prison. Do I have a white vial? Can I kill the lizard? That lizard actually ended up being super important in my strategy. I I, I remember I got his, his two-handed weapon and said, oh, that looks fucking shitty, but it's actually really good. Can we say what happens on sacrifice? No, because I'm gonna do it eventually. See if you can take on Shakespeare. Oh, yeah, I'm sure. You know what? Let's beat the fuck out of this asshole. Fuck you, buddy. Priests robe with you. Beat him. Fuck you. And then his god of choice casts a divine retribution down and kills me. Oh, I guess I could give her some armor. She's got fur armor now. She's a little furry companion. have the robe? Can you go incognito? That's a good point, but I don't want to risk it, because the other cultist encounters are two, not just one. And they, they have an instant game over move if you fail a coin toss on turn three, I think. It's it's really... It's really not, not worth the effort. Too bad you can't give her the club? More save points would be nice. It adds a certain sense of tension, though, and it's... I think it works, because even though we've died and we have to replay shit, I think things are fairly different each time through. Like... Dude, I have an idea. What if I make a calculated risk where I fight the lizard and hope he, he poisons her and not me? And I sacrifice her. I use her as a guinea pig. have to take the long way around now. Okay. All right, this asshole. Okay, well, let's equip you with the ring of still blood. You're not bleeding anymore. And let's equip you with the ring of still blood. And you're not bleeding anymore. Explain what this is. Man. It's hard. I'll just let this dude be a demonstration as to what this game is. Would it be fucked up if I made the little girl attack the stinger? I think I'm actually gonna get fucked here. That did not go well. Just one. Wait! Are you fucking kidding me? Oh my god. 
That was fucked up. Search him. Healing ring is nice. Is that what's happening? If she dies, I'm gonna lose that ring. I don't want I don't want her to have that ring. I I I am not particularly attached to this girl. More questions now that you started the demonstration? I'm sorry. Oh shit. I accidentally just yoked my escape key off of my keyboard. I'm very strong. There we go. Okay. Fuck this door. Oh, we found an exploit! Dude, we won! We won! You see what the exploit is, right? I fucking love doors, dude. The thing is, though, the thing is, we got this ring after the save, so if we die, we lose this ring. It might be for the best. Okay. Alright, it looks like you're getting heals after all, little girl. Oh shit, we gotta be careful because those gnome things are there. Find the ring out. It's just RNG loot, dude. It's just one of those things you can't really just say, I'm gonna find this ring. You just get lucky. Cost you hunger? It does, but I think that is an acceptable, an acceptable transaction. Try talking to the door. That'd be fucking funny if that worked. Okay. Got a lot of food. We actually really do have a lot of food. We actually have a recipe book that lets us cook like bacon and eggs and shit. People approaching you? It's fine. We can heal. Literally don't know what's happening, but I'm enjoying it. I'll stop after this. This is not exactly the most enjoyable thing to watch. I know. I'll go and just I'll, I'll man up. I just wanted I, I wanted a little bit of cheese, you know. Okay. Now we're humping doors. Absolutely. You can do with the skins. I don't know yet. However. I don't think, like, it's a trade-off. Like, here, here's my thing, right? So. That ring is really good. It's really good. But the thing is, a ring isn't gonna help me if the enemy chops my fucking arm off. So I still want to keep the arm guards on, especially when I'm fighting the big Brutus-looking motherfuckers. But the ring on door strategy seems solid. It, it honestly seems extremely good, and I should report it to the dev. Because <laughs> that's insane. Like, you, if you have access to a door, you just have infinite healing, essentially. Alright, buddy. So how are we gonna do this? Okay, and you go for his foot. Hey, thank you, Ein Salar, for the 14-month resub, dude. Jesus Christ. Thank you very much. How are you? Okay. We gotta get that, that right arm. And you know what? Maybe she does enough damage to chop that shit off. Nope, she's gonna miss. Okay. Delightful. Been too long, my dude. How you been? Alright, we gotta... We... 
we honestly have to go for the head now. Here's hoping. Yeah, we got him. Fuck your leg too, bitch. Oh, he killed the girl anyways. <laughs> Monstrosity is down. Search him. Skin him. It's fucked up that they get to attack. The girl is dead now. I can't skin her. I should have abused the ring more. Yeah. It happens. Oh, I got another small key. That's dope. Okay. Fuck off, gnomes. Shit. I guess I'm fighting the gnomes. <sighs> you fucking idiots. Okay. Okay. See, so when you do the que, it does it to all of them. So you actually... It, in, in theory... In theory... You should never get hit beyond the first turn if you use fast attack against any number of these gnomes. Because you can incapacitate them with the little dialogue options. Good to know. Purpose of skinning enemies? I don't know yet. I assume it's for crafting, but I, I... Oh, shit. Speaking of crafting, we got the fucking pine cone. Pine cone pig. Okay, so it's definitely an accessory, as I suspected. That means it's gonna do something, but it's gonna be something that I'm never really gonna be able to discern on my own. You have an infection? Oh, is that what that is? Well. That's not good. How do I solve the infection? It's a leg infection, right? What if... I use the blood vial. Damn. I, I I lost then unless I'm misunderstanding. Hold on, actually, what items can I use here? I can use all of this shit. Alright. I wonder if you could use the knife. How much does this hit for? So I'm gonna die anyways, 96. I wonder if I could decapitate something with that. Probably, no, no, I, I know why you would say that, Ricky, but those gnomes do give you that. Like, I've died from an infection before, thanks to the gnomes. Now that I think about it, those are actually like the most dangerous fucking enemies because they just infect you like that, huh? All right, ladies and gentlemen. No infection anymore, but I'm bleeding, which I can cure with my ring of still blood. So I'm not gonna die, not yet at least. Let's equip the ring of wraiths and go fuck the store up. Uh, both legs. Yeah, I'm not really sure what that's about. I do not like this anymore. Why? I guess she cut off her stinger. <laughs> my stinger was the thing that was actually infected. I uh, my my actual limbs are okay, thankfully. some fucking dirt. I 
Maybe it was this dude's hill, maybe. Bone cell is just an infection cure. Yeah. That's a woman, yes. See, here's the problem. We gotta go the long way around because that lizard man is waiting right there to eat my ass. Cut your leg off again and see if you start crawling. No, thank you. I think I'm gonna pass on that for now. I had the arm guards. Well, how the fuck are arm guards gonna stop my, my legs from being chopped off? Doesn't make any fucking sense. So. I could have sworn. I guess the dungeon layout's different, because I remember the first time we did this, there was a. Uh, a second area. Also, I need to remember, I have a bear trap. Maybe, maybe I can use the bear trap on the lizard and kill him without getting poisoned. But I guess the bear trap's not going to stop him from using his tornado tongue on my, my clitoris. Okay. Speaking of which, I don't think we ever talked to the, the king dude for our reward. What's this game about? Sex, drugs, and rock and roll. Hey, buddy. Yep. Okay, so he always gives you those 40 silver coins. Good shit. Supposed to vial the door? I don't wanna. I don't wanna, but I will just for you, okay? Later, Ricky Knight. Arm guards may be bugged to make you immune to limb loss. That's a possibility. I don't want to blow all the doors up. I need some to heal from. Which sounds retarded when you say it and you hear it out of context. Not that one. Wait, I guess I could. There is a dude here. I can see what this guy wants. Maybe he'll be a party member. Nope. So don't... Don't use explosive vials on the doors. They hit for 52. They are not meant to be weapons, which is really stupid, but... The more you know? The more you know, right? Where the fuck was I going right? I was gonna use the explosive vial on the door. Now that that's done, we gotta go the long way around. Most underwhelming thing I've ever seen? Good thing you never seen me naked. Alright. Hmm. Wonder if I could use the explosive vial on the tombs, like this the sarcophagus. Does W D stand for? I I fucked up. I just, no ifs, ands, or boots. Like, I fucked up, dude. <laughs> I messed it up during character creation. Alright. Wide dick? Yeah, let's go with that. Let's go with wide dick. WD-40. WD-40 is pretty goddamn good. I can't believe our small child was murdered. Should we buy the full healing potion from this guy? Maybe, maybe it's just RNG as to whether or not the potion does something or fucks you. And everything else in this game is fucking RNG, so <laughs> wouldn't surprise me. Should I go down the well? Or what if the potion of life ended your life? That would be unfortunate. I wouldn't like that too much. Tolo dies since he cut his leg off? No. I did not. Did I get these? I did. 
Check your inventory. Why? I have two small keys and nothing to use them on, which kind of sucks. Really? Oh shit! I just, I just noticed. There it is. Lag. You can eat your own lag. Yeah, let's go ahead and cure our hunger. Cool. Thirty hunger for a lag. This is what I wanted. Oh fuck. I'm trying to think what I want a blood vial for, like where I could use that. How do you walk? I'm not sure. stuff as expects or uh, effects you never expect excuse me jesus christ that doesn't surprise me this game is very strange and that's why i like it if you've ever if you've ever heard about those weird fucked up creepy pasta games that are haunted and have all sorts of weird shit this is probably the closest thing i've actually played to one okay not really concerned with dying. I feel like we've we've kind of gotten fucked already here. So, what's this, Ugu? Find a soul stone. Cool. Hey, thanks, Anks the Viking, for the thirty-five month resub. I appreciate it, dude. What's going on, man? Oh, that's. I can't move. What the fuck is that? I thank you, Duke, for the prime resub. I appreciate it, homie. One tooth bite. Okay. Bleeding. I, we, we gotta get rid of the cave gnomes. Hit her right in the fucking pits. Hit his head now? I'm gonna fucking have to. It doesn't have a head, it just has a torso. Okay. We killed it. It just flies away? I caught her tits? Her wing? Okay, so next time we need to cut both of her wings off. Maybe she won't be able to fly away if you, if you cut both of them off. God damn it. Okay, cure bleeding. Time to find a door. I'm not I'm going to try not to abuse that too hard. Let's go and use some was mushroom stew heal body? No. Oh shit. The little baby gnomes are out there. Claims to return life where it once lingered. Oh shit, I wonder if we could revive the little girl with that. Later, Hanky. Let's go check. Oh shit! Um. Alright, this isn't good. <laughs> Apparently I took- Oh, what the fuck?! Oh, shit. Shriek like a cave mother, then maybe I can get the gnome to attack it. Damn it. What if I pretend to be one of its babies? 
Her titties regenerated. Easy. Counterattacked her mammary glands off, baby. The legless god. Okay, so counters really fucking go A gnome egg. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I think we're pretty fucked, even though that was a pretty good victory. Infected hand. All right, it's time to get the bone saw. good we're doing fucking great right now i should probably equip the anti-bleeding ring huh now let's equip the the ring of raids it sucks that i'm gonna die and lose that because that's such a good item what do you do with no hands i'm gonna fucking bite him asshole I'm gonna fucking nibble. Dudes, alright, you guys are about to see one of the most epic gamer plays you've ever seen in your entire fucking lives. Get ready for this shit, dude. Where is it? Did I, did I imagine getting a bear trap? I guess I did. Cut off your arm, because I had an infection. You die if you get infected. This is a train wreck? No, we're, we're gone. We're chilling. Yeah, you, I ate my leg earlier, one-legged rafflecopter. Bunny peep. You know what? Oh, fuck. <laughs> How did that hit me? I'm crouched. I want to see if they'll fuck a cripple. Do you think they'll have sex with me? With one arm? It's a free game at seven dollars. Bring back- I'm not gonna bring back the little girl. I mean, I guess I could. It's just- it takes so fucking long to get anywhere right now. Yeah, maybe maybe the the pussy ether will regenerate regenerate all of my limbs. <laughs> One can hope, right? Might as well see if it works. Go down this shit hole. Yeah, just drowning in it. Die anyways. Yeah, no, you're right. I want to see what happens with the nymphs, though. That's the number one thing. So, chat, what do you want me to do? Do you want me to r try my luck having sex with the nymphs? Because it's not my first time, 
So I think I get a game over if I fail the coin toss there. Or should I try to resurrect the little girl and feed her to the Hydra? Actually, you know what? Let's feed her to the Hydra. Reason being, I could just do the bunnies after. I, I, like, nothing's... Like, everything's dead. Nothing's gonna kill me on the way, right? Oh, I... I... Yeah, it wasn't good. What ankle, asshole? Fuck you. It was actually a shortcut, though. <laughs> Alright. My character's looking worse for wear, I gotta say. Find out exactly, Peg Knights. We'll see if the potion works. What if you use the potion? Oh, fuck. Okay. That is hold on I know how to beat him if I do get in a fight but ha you can never catch me oh shit I went the wrong way oops idiot go away cape gnome Yes, Loco. I will not keep the sweet-ass healing ring unless I beat it like this. Wouldn't that be fucking amazing, though, if I actually, like, this was the, this was the run? <laughs> I'm gonna beat this game. One day I'm gonna beat this game. This shit's- aw, oh, fuck, she's gone. friend back you get save points you get save points but they're exceedingly rare and you can only use them once like we have only found one and we have used it so we don't start all the way over but we we get set back pretty considerably but I fucked up a lot on this save so that's okay because we, I, I found out that my favorite strategy is there's a lizard man in the in the flesh pits that you can kill, but he poisons you. So I need I I used my poison cure before fighting that lizard to save, and he drops this two handed sword that can kill the huge cock guys in one hit for, on a torso hit. It, it makes dealing with them considerably less dangerous. Potion on yourself to revive dead limbs? Maybe. <laughs> I'm poisoned. <laughs> I I agree, Vlad Ted. That was a strategy in Lisa as well. Save only when you absolutely have to. Just drink a potion of life and it poisoned me. So I'm probably dead before I get to the nymphs. I'm gonna be like this bleeding, poisoned, starving nugget with one arm. It's like, hey baby, I might not have I might not have a left arm and I might not have any legs, but let me tell you. My 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 tornado twister with my right arm is immaculate and I still got a tongue. Happens if you cut you know what? Fuck it. Let's just cut our other arm off. Why the fuck not? How are you going to do that, though? You can't do that. How the fuck are you going to saw your own arm off with one arm? Okay, good. I was about to say. Is he crawling right now? Yeah, I lost both of my legs and an arm, Hindo. I, I got into a fight with a cave harlot, and I, I... It was an epic battle. There were two fights, and I thought I had felled her. I had chopped her wing, her tits, and her legs off, and she flew into the darkness, and as I was crawling out of the cave, hoping for an escape, hoping to survive, she screamed and came back with both of her wings torn asunder, but her tits had regenerated, 
And it was a close battle, but at around 5 health, I counterattacked her tits for 250 damage, defeating her. And then I reached into a crevasse in between her legs to pull out a gnome egg. This game is fucking ridiculous. Like, it, it, it sounds like I'm embellishing it. It really does. Like, if I, if I, I wouldn't blame you if you thought I was just making shit up. But all that shit legit, like, that is exactly how it went. Like, there's not even a little bit of, of bullshit there. Like, Hulk Hogan and his dog, they wouldn't detect an ounce of bullshit, brother. Little girl to help with the saw. I wonder if you could do that. She's dead, though. Oh, what a tornado twist is? Don't worry about it. And now we're going to the, the forest of fuck nymphs to see if they'll fuck me in my nugget form. What's the opposite of Ultra Instinct? Because that's what I am right now. Ultra Nugget. <laughs> Can be form. Yamcha, gamer. My gamer form. Don't fall in the fucking hole again. Also, my favorite part of this save so far is I fell down this hole and hurt my ankle while I did not have any lower legs. I would like ghost pain in the ankle as a bitch, I guess. I'm gonna heal. I'm gonna heal, dude. All right, I gotta, I gotta move because there's too much sex going on in, the, in what's about to ensue. So give me a second. What's going on, Papa? That I'll let you know what happens though. I'm crawling there very slowly. Hold on. I must have a lot of uh, a lot of bug bites crawling on the grass like this. Okay. I'm gonna have sex with this man in the middle of a field. Equip the pine cone before you coin flip. I like the way you think, soldier. Alright. Are you looking for a partner? Yes. Just take off your clothes and put on- He's having sex with me. I have all of my limbs back when I'm- when I'm doing this. I- I magically rejuvenated, but I gotta roll heads or tails. Chat heads or tails. We're in the dozen bunny fuck fields. And we might we might get the anime getting fucked face if we fail this coin flip. Heads. Alright. We don't have a tail anymore. We got heads. I'm gonna do it again. Actually, no. You know what? Fuck this. We're going the distance, dude. I'm full healed. I might be poisoned, but I don't give a shit if I'm poisoned. I don't give a fuck, dude. I'm a fuck nugget. Alright. I can bring the game back now. The scene is over. Are you- No, I- I'm still- Like, I regenerated them for the sex scene, but I am very much the same nugget I've always been. Okay. Attack Butterfly Man? I fully intend to attack him. Hank Hill Propane God in the flesh versus a nugget. Place your bets, ladies and gentle sirs. Dude, I bet you if I don't do anything, he'll turn into a butterfly and fuck me up. Hey, buddy. Turning into a butterfly? Just wait and see. Become a beautiful butterfly, the kind of source of... Suppress this sun that I will get to see the sun. Alright, alright. I want to see him turn into his butterfly. 
You deserve to die. You do not understand me. No one ever understands me. I like how he's called Butterfly. Alright, let's say goodbye to your leg. His pain is unbearable. He's got wing things sprouting from his back, so I believe him when he says he's going to turn into a butterfly. I am 100% confident that is exactly what he's going to do. Let's chop his fucking head off. He's fucking dead. I want to try something. What happens if I leave and come back? Will he be reanimated as a butterfly? You monster? I know, I'm sorry. Hank was defeated by, by this fucking thing. Okay, you should jump into the well now just to check. No, we did the well earlier. These are a chest. Alright, there's one more thing I want to try. You know what it is? Seriously, man. You gotta fucking stop. Can't you see us suffering? Want us to beg or something? Wouldn't double tank be amazing here? Probably. Might be onto something. Let's do it. We're not about to die or anything. Ha. You can't die from poison and bleeding in this game. Seriously, man. That should be the last head. Oh, it missed. Gotta fucking stop. Remains of human hydra remain here. I mean, that's what remains do, asshole. <laughs> Fuck you! Well, that was... underwhelming. I guess he was, he was... he didn't really have any big dick moves up his sleeve. I'm making some pretty good progress as a fucking nugget, honestly. I'm doing good. Sex again and see if it's a lose condition. Oh, okay. Try to dis be disguised as a cult member? We could do that too. Offer some warmth. It actually changes the way I look, so I'm gonna assume that the answer is yes. Greetings, sister. If you come for the holy ceremony as well, the time is now. The times the prophecies have foretold. I <laughs> like how he's not even questioning the fact that I'm, I'm like this little fucking lump of shit on the floor with a robe on. <laughs> Thank you for the two month resub, the best bad idea. I appreciate it. Uh, Almer. This is Almer, right? Almer is the most recent of all the older gods, but that is only because he made himself apparent. At such a late age, he has existed for aeons as the seed of his father. Interesting. Okay. Ah! All right. So, you know, that's cool. I'm going to go have sex in my cultist outfit. Does this shithole look like it? It looks like me, all right? Oh 
Just look up a picture of me and you'll see what this shithole looks like. And it's the shit pit, by the way. Talk to the lady? That's a good fucking point. I don't think she cares. What are you doing here? Does it look like I see how a brute like yourself would understand the meaning of libraries? You used to have a nun emote? Yes. Fight Shakespeare? We already fought Shakespeare. The thing fucking kicked our ass, even with the two-hander. We did 750 damage to its limb, and it did not fall off. Okay. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta take this down so you guys don't see the epic sexy times. Okay. You play as a mage? Yeah, there are different character classes and shit. I just like the knight. The knight seems to be the most proficient at combat from the start. Okay. So let's see. I'm gonna I'm gonna have sex until I, I fail the coin flip. Thank you, Dongle Doogle, for the prime sub. Appreciate it, dude. Thank you very much. Oh shit, you're right, RD Toy. Heads. It's heads. That we're gonna go back and see. We're gonna go back because I want to see what cursing will. Oh. Cursing a weapon does. You weren't kidding about the orgy? No, no. It's definitely an orgy. Later, Mope. Alright. I've been a nugget for a good while. Like, my survival rate is this fucking crawling little, little shitbird is pretty impressive, if you ask me. Really fucking good at this game. We might actually have to go down to the cave and explore. I think we will. We'll curse the weapon and we'll go down to the cave and see how far we can get as a nugget. Can you skin the butterfly? I don't think so. That's a long fucking dog. Jesus Christ. Did you grow an arm? No, it just looks like it. The sprite's not accurate. See, I, I am very much a droopy-eyed, armless Jimin. It takes forever to get anywhere. True, but I've also done quite a few things and, and, and gotten into some epic battles. Okay. Fuck in. Top of that, you're necrophobic. Yep. Maybe it was a mistake coming to these dungeons, but no get ponders. <laughs> Gee. Huh. I wonder. Okay. Can I not use this because I'm short now? Curse equipment. Longsword. Aw, oh, I need to. Fuck you. Okay, then use the Hexen. What can I get? Counter, Leg Sweep, Fast Dance, Devour, Bloodlust, Marksmanship, Needleworm, Mastery Over Insects, Counter Magic, what the fuck? Blood Portal, let's get Blood Portal. Yes. That sounds promising. I don't even know what these skills do that's the problem here. Blood portal. Magic that enables one to create... Okay, so it's fast travel between the ritual circles. Fast travel's important when you have no legs. This looks conspicuous. Can I go this way? This looks like it would be a, a fake wall or something, doesn't it? Locust swarm. Yeah, imagine you see this little manlet nugget and you engage in combat with it and it starts it summons a biblical plague of locusts to devour you and your friends whole that'd be some shit wouldn't it all right well, we're going dude we're, we're doing it 
What ring do I have? I want to make sure that I have the, the ring of wraiths in case I get into a fight with the lizard man. Because I'm pretty sure there's no real- wait, no. Actually, hold on. I don't need to fight the lizard man. Because I could die. Actually, no, fuck it. I'm gonna fight that lizard man. I'm already poisoned. So why the fuck not? I can kick his ass as, as a nugget, right? Do you guys believe in me? Actually, no. I don't even... I can just go right here. I don't even need to fight the lizard. We're gonna explore over here. We're gonna see as much of this new area as we can before we inevitably get fucked by something. We actually kind of ran out of things to do. <laughs> armor? Put on my real armor? You know what? That is not a bad idea, gamers. So what the fuck is this thing? Can I put the Nomag in it? You want to pray? Pray Grogoroth. What about- okay. Uh, can I pray to Sylvian? That's the one I've- Uh-oh. We still haven't found what's making those noises. Do you think it's friendly? It'd be some real bullshit if you had to jump. gonna catch up to me. We gotta fake it out. Alright. Oh, what up, dude? Who the fuck are you? It's Pocket Cat! This is the fucking dude? Oh, God. Okay. How are you doing on this wonderful day? I want to die. Don't we all? Don't we all? Life sure is peculiar like that, huh? Life is peculiar when you're peculiar. Got that right. I'm liking you already. No, we just met, but I feel a connection forming here already. Okay, write that down. I want to die, and then more peculiar seems to be the right thing to say to this dude. Living humans are divided into two groups, yes? Yeah, bronies and everybody else. People do well in all hardships of life. They have dear humans who they want to return to. Even in the darkest hour, they can feel the warmth of their loved ones in their heart and gain extra courage from that. Then in the opposite end of the spectrum, there are people like Tolomeo. Fucking retard. What an asshole. They have learned how to live with those feelings. In fact, they have grown to love the ever-pressing... Is this fucking Kingdom Hearts now? Those humans are able to draw energy from darkness. They are not dependent on other people. They only need darkness. They're all... This is Kingdom Hearts now. Humans are, Okay, are we light or darkness, chat? What are we? Darkness? Yes, they all are. I suspect as much. I'm glad you're able to be... Okay, so say... So say it. Do you love me? Yes. Right. Okay, so next time we need to say no. Next time we need to say no. I'll trade items for human children. So we 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 know where to bring that little girl next run through. I bet we get some big dick gear from that, too. Alright, we learned something valuable there. Do you know what it is? We, we learned something really fucking important. Actually, you might you might not think it, but I think we learned something that will, will help us a fuck ton. 
Not be a little bitch? No, no, we acting seriously. No, we seriously learned something. Counter's best skill. What we learned is counter hits the body part they use to attack. So if you're fighting a wolf and it uses its head to attack and you counter, you hit it in the head and just fucking behead it. Now, if it were attacking me with an arm or some shit, it probably would not have been that easy. But we counterattacked its fucking head and just killed it in one hit. That's why it died so quickly. Oh, can we look for another Nomag? Milk it? I'm sure it does, Justice Lemon, but it's it's an idea. You milk some yellow muckus from the brass. Delicious. What's yellow muckus do? Alright. The nugget escapes. The nugget escapes. Gotta feed your baby gnome. That's actually a good fucking point. I probably shouldn't have just used it, huh? I'm just expecting to die every every second. Okay. Use it to raise your gnome. <laughs> Wonder how we do that. Oh my god, we're actually gonna get through this cave. <laughs> we're doing it, dudes. We're the fucking best in video games. I have no more healing items, though. I don't give a fuck. I'm, do you see me? I will fuck anything that moves. Gonna beat the game in this form? Fuck yes. I don't like the music though. Notice a person kneeling in the darkness. Show yourself. Hello! A nugget pops out. Just. Hey! New visitors? My name is Nostromus. I'm an alchemist living down here. Pleased to meet you. Cannot quite tell if the alchemist is a woman or a man. Is this a GameStop situation? Do I have to be careful here? Nice to meet you, too. Apologies, I left the kettle on. I'm in a bit of a hurry. Let's meet again. Should have said nothing. Doing it? Fuck yeah, I'm doing another one after this. Are you serious? Person disappeared into the darkness. The echoes of his footsteps sound distant before vanishing. His? I thought you didn't fucking know. F fucking asshole. So you did know and you were just pretending. You were you were doing it on purpose. A healing item. I'm just so fucking good at this game. Jesus Christ. So where's this presence that I heard about? I'll kick his ass. Oh shit. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. Uh. Counter? WD has lost both legs and arms and is useless now. <laughs> Man, fuck you! Can still dodge, bitch. <laughs> we almost had him, dude. All right, I'm gonna pee and get a drink, and then we're gonna start another fucking run. <laughs> that ghost is fucked up, though. That he doesn't seem to hit that hard, but I don't know if I can hit him. That's my thing. Like, I don't know if I can actually damage him. Am I supposed to run and hide? I don't fucking know. All right, intermission. You need water, Sif. No, you're good on water. Okay.
All right. I am back. Did you miss me? You better have fucking missed me. So, we learned that those fucking gnomes are not good. And honestly, I think that one of the biggest mistakes that was made in that run was fighting the fucking bird thing. What's going on, Pat Vader? I don't think the no mother should be should be engaged, period. Because the gnomes infect you, and if you get infected, that's pretty much your limbs fucked. Right? So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna try to kick that lizard's ass to get the two-handed sword. But I wanna try something first. I have an idea that I wanna I wanna see. It actually works the way I think it's going to. Oh, we got another poison cure, too. Good shit. What's good? See you, vodka. Okay. Man, we lost so much, dude. Holy shit, we don't have recipes to cook food. We don't have food. Jack diddly fuck. Alright. Wait, I wanted to try something. Let me go. I want to voluntarily get into a, a, a combat situation with these fucking gnomes. Hello? There we go. Okay, so what I want to try to do is talk. And quack. Talk. And quiet. And then I want to use fast attack. Okay. So now I win. They can't hit me. They they can't hit me because I can just stun them and, and, and do this. I, and I have two turns. Oh, nope, never mind. There's a certain amount of times you can use it. Alright, I wanted to see if it would work. No, I'm infected, but I don't have parasites anymore, I don't think. It just, it just feels there are tons of seemingly permanent setbacks to your character. I think that's kind of the point. Fuck. Okay, so these, you need to avoid these. Always. Always. Later, having the adapt. You at least have limbs, but now I, I got an infection, so... I've got two infections, as a matter of fact. Hold on, let me see. Nah, just kidding. Shippo is right. Ring of the Stillblood gets rid of... gets rid of infections. I never should have been a nugget. Never should have been a fucking nugget. This ring is OP. Bleed and infections are nullified by it. I actually have no excuse to ever be a nugget. So that's something. Nice tits. Thank you, Saul. What's going on, dude? Found some oil and a red herb. So we're gonna get rid of the parasites, but we gotta fight this asshole first. And get our, our big dick weapon. Yeah, unless something chops a limb off. Like, these right. Alright, say goodbye to that fucking arm, my friend. Now he's gonna give me the pussy smooches. That's what I like. And then we're gonna fast attack. Arm guard stop combat limb loss. That's true. We're, we're just... We're gods. Get the leg. And... Get the tail, just to be a cruel dick. <laughs> just to be a piece of shit. Just taking all of his shit. We're Goofy and Donald. I'll be doing Kingdom Hearts soon enough, don't worry. We need a, uh... We need a break. Oh shit, I can get his head now. Okay. 
And now we get his big ass sword. So now what we do is we're gonna take this worm juice, delicious, part of a balanced fucking breakfast. And then we will take the white vial. So now we are parasite free. However, our body is not in, in good condition. We've we kinda I, I feel like we kinda have to get lucky-ish at these next parts. Like number one thing I have to do is I have to kill the ogre in this first area so I can free the girl. My number one thing that I want to do this run is bring the small child to the cat. And see what he gives me for, for turning her in. That is my, my absolute highest priority. I, I, I don't know if he's going to give me soul gems or like a big ass... Uh, big ass shield, sword, armor. I, and I kind of just want to see what happens, honestly. That probably makes me fucked up, but there it is. Okay. I think I'm just going to go for the one hit kill on the body. Fuck you. <laughs> Fuck you, asshole. Wait to add her to her, your party? Well, she joins your party once you free her. But yeah, we do have to kill all of the uh, all of the other dudes. Like, the big ogres specifically all need to be dead before we start escorting her. Or at the very least, the lever needs to be pulled. Kill the cat, man? I don't know if you can. and You can't skin the guy. I tried. Okay. When I skin the body, you can't. It says you have no... Like, it'll tell you you have no reason to skin it. Remember the cave mother? I remember. I don't I don't want to fight the cave mother. I, I have no reason to. The only thing... You don't get experience in this game from what I can discern. So the only logical reason one might have to, to do that... Is, is solely to, uh... Okay. Is solely to get the gnome egg. Fuck. So we're good when cursed. Oh no, I haven't cursed anything yet. Alright, I wanted, I wanted that chest. Maybe it would have given something good, but... I fucked up the roll, so we'll never know. Pocket cat. No, th there's a, there's a split. There's a split. When you get into that area, you can go to the right, and that's what triggers the encounter with the cave mother. If you just go straight ahead, I don't think she's gonna attack you. So I don't I don't think you have to do her the first time you go to that cave. And I, so really, the cave is not dangerous at all unless you are willing to fight the cave mother, which we won't be doing. Not this time, at least. Where'd you get this game? I found this game when I was looking for Game Jolt games, but I thought, wow, this game actually looks like I, I, I'd really fucking like it and be something that I'd want to play normally. So... Yeah, I said fuck. I, I asked chat during Giraffe Town if they would want to see me play this. And a lot of people said yes, so here I am. I hope it ends up being a good stream. I just, I feel like eventually I'm going to hit a brick wall with this game in order, like, how, figuring out how the fuck to progress. That's really the only thing, is I've got to really just be paying attention so I don't get, I don't get walled off and just fucked and, like, wandering around doing nothing for hours. But we, we have a very clear route of progress right now. We need to get to the mine and get past the ghost warrior. That's, that's what killed us last time. Okay, so what the fuck else was I doing? Right. Let's go kill the dude with the ballista first. Mm, is that a smart idea? Fuck it. We don't do smart. Don't go on the that side. Go on this side so he can't hit you with the ballista. <laughs> Shit, that's not what I wanted to do. God damn it, I fucked up already. Alright, no, that's good. 
That means if we get that two-handed sword, this it is almost inconceivable to take damage on this fight. Because the first turn, he has to load the Ballista and pulsate his Stinger. So even if I miss once, I have to miss twice in order to get hit by him. You see how much easier that was with the two-handed sword? Because you, if, you, if you actually hit them in the fucking torso, you just outright kill them. It's quite nice. But there's a second one. The melee ones are more dangerous. So we will see. Should be it. He's gonna get an attack, so he should die after. Yep. So that two handed sword, despite my. <laughs> despite me talking shit about it and saying it was stupid earlier on, really, really expedites the process of killing these prison guards. Like, you don't have to worry about chopping any limbs off. However, you can get fucked by RNG if you miss. That's the one thing. But you, you, you would still, even on the melee ones, you would have to miss twice to really receive any huge consequences. Okay. Because now, now I can go fight the Cave Mother right now. That's the thing about this game, is it might seem like a huge setback to die, but I could go fight the Cave Mother and or, or just go straight to the mine if I wanted right now. Ring of Raves? No, I got that after the save, so I, I only have the bloodless ring which is fine because that ring really allows you to do some cheesy bullshit <laughs> just fighting a door over and over to heal pretty fucking funny though my stinger's pulsating right now we still have a lot of side shit to do though like we need to search the libraries to find the book that allows us access to the nymphoids I'm gonna kill the, the last prison guard and then use the nymphs to heal after searching the library and then we'll go get the girl and bring her to the cat. Infection's pretty cheesy. Well, now I figured out my ring actually gets rid of infection and honestly I have no excuse to die even in the last run because I could have just equipped the ring and gotten rid of all of it. I didn't have to saw both of my legs and an arm off at all. It, it honestly kind of trivializes it a little bit. Oh, there's still no second save. I bet after the cave there will be. Or the mine. Start with that ring. I just happened to find it and then save. The rings are really rare. What the fuck is hard mode in this? Something we might have to try if we... If we want to. I feel like it might be fun once or twice. Wait, I need to search. Okay, and I don't want to search the meat piles because it, last time a maggot crawled up me, and I don't know if that has any sort of real consequence down the line, so I'm not going to risk it. A hard mode is nugget mode. Two eggs. All right. Um, dry meat. Hard mode is flipping the coin and both results are bad. That would be fucked, but it would be pretty fucking funny, too. All right, we need to find this ogre. Five silver coins and a blue herb. We're getting some good healing items here. And a stick, everyone needs a stick. My, my dog can confirm that if you don't have a stick, then what, what do you really have at the end of the day? Right. It kind of scared me a little bit. He saw me from around the corner. But... calculated because now now if i had missed i probably would have gotten a game over honestly but now i use no healing items killing all of the prison guards and i can go use the nymph area to heal did you even play this game is not the night well um the the thing i figured out is there's a consistent armory that you can get to at the beginning of the game that has, I want to say, one weapon rack and two armor racks. And going down the well, if you win the roll on that chest, it gave me plate armor. So now that I know where to get equipment, early on, I could probably do it. But why not just skip the middleman and just pick knight, right? Cleaver scare the little cave gnomes away? It's possible. I should try it, but I don't really want to risk it right now. 
And I, I guess I'll use the explosive vial here. The big reason to do it is there's a chest, and that means if I if I fuck the roll up, then it wasn't really worth. But fuck it, dude. Heads and tails, chat. Heads? Alright. Cool. A long sword. Well, I think we already have that. Yeah. The chest seemed to be the main form of, of gear acquisition. Like, if you want to start as a class with shittier armor, you really want to get the right rolls on those chests. Explain the coin flip. If you guess right, you get good shit. If you guess wrong, you don't get anything. So when you find a chest, you have a 50% chance to get absolutely fucking nothing. That is it in a nutshell. And it's also a combat mechanic. Some enemies, if the fight goes on too long, they get a... They get a coin flip attack, which, if you guess wrong, usually kills you in one hit. You you can survive uh, some of them, but, like, if you get it from the cultist, if the cultist, you fuck the coin flip up, you're, it's a 100% game over, as far as I can tell. Is it random? No, you guess heads or tails. That's, that's literally all, you, all, all it's about. Like, it, it, you just have to guess right. It's a 50-50... Okay, what book do I get? Alright, this is a good one because it, this is just free items, but this time... The last time we went here, we figured out that you're timed. You only have a certain amount of time to go through this area, so let's go as quickly as possible. Canadian now? Always. I just like saying a boot. Does that make me a degenerate? Two swords and get double attack? I can try it, but I'm not gonna try it right here because I wanna I wanna get some shit. Okay. I got my pipe. Pipe's really good for sanity. Just not even fucking with it, just gonna 50-50 it. Ancient Talisman. Ever watching ta Okay, that sounds fucking sick. But we gotta get out. We gotta go look for some more shit. The city's starting to feel more and more like an illusion. See, over the course of many, uh... Many attempts, we're, we're gonna map out the best route to get good shit from the city, I think. I doubt- I doubt it's set up to where we can consistently get all of the chests and whatnot. But, this is going a lot better than- oh shit, right here. Right here. Tails. Okay. Tails! So that was no good. We got a bear trap, a cloth hood, and we're, that's it. Like, there's not even, I'm not going to be able to make it back. That, I think that's the route I should go. I'm going to try the other path, but that's three chests. If I get that book. It's, it's a coin flip to get that book and a coin flip to get, uh, three more, <laughs> three more coin flips. Tails. Alchemelia Volume 2, what does, what does that give me? Okay, effects are different colored substances. Red, corrosive, black, growth hormone. Causes uncontrollable growth. That's important. That actually helped, because we can fill a vial with that black shit. So we need to keep in mind that we have access to a growth hormone potion. Um, so there's probably some sort of puzzle or encounter... The, the first thing that comes to mind is the, the human hydra, actually. That we could use that on. I think that's for limbs? That's also a really good fucking point, huh? And yellow is protein. Okay. 
Blue plus purple is an antidote for poison. Interesting. Unless you have the pine cone pig. Maybe? I, I really don't know. I don't know if the pine cone pig is supposed to be like a general, like maybe it makes it to where you have a 60% chance to win the coin flips or if it's used for a specific instance in the game. Don't tell me, by the way. Um, I'm just kind of musing to myself. Okay, let's go get a vial of the black shit and see what that makes. Did you check the talisman? I should do that, huh? It's not in here, so it's probably equipment. Ever watching Talisman. An ever watching eye is taking care of you. Seems to relieve your feelings of fear and terror. So that probably prevents sanity from dropping. Is this on PC? Yes. That that it, it the wording of, of that dialogue is very similar to how not dialogue, but the description makes it seem very very much like the uh, the other sanity helpers sound like I can't I can't talk okay the yellow vial is what we get from the the cave mother that's the only thing I can recall that gives us the yellow vials I got might of the meek I don't know what that is but that sounds dope no, you have to find the book to unlock the recipe. The books are non-negotiable. Also, we have a problem. We we don't have the key for the girl's cage. Was it the yellow stuff a goop? Was it? I guess maybe we could get it from the eggs there. We can milk her more, maybe. Milk the fucking Canary Mary. Does this key work here? No, we need a small key. So it's RNG whether or not we'll be able to do the thing with the little girl. The guards diary every time. That's true. That means I have to kill another one of those ogres, which means I need to heal first. And thank you, Gallo, for putting jail for the win in the cuck shed. I appreciate it, dude. Thank you very much. I'm sure he appreciates it too. He's one of my one of my uh I, I know he loves me. What's going on, Ricky M? Okay. So I'm trying to recall right, I have to go to the books. The books. Do not go to the left and fight the fucking warden or you'll get your ass beat. And I'm not really worried about this guy because I can probably just one shot him if he decides to attack me. See, we're, we're, we're learning. We're, we're getting better at this game. Is it the critical app? No, nah, no. Nah, I, I know. Jail's cool. He just... He started watching me during Dark Souls 3 and every fucking stream for months. Uh, no matter what I was doing, he would ask what weapon it was because I was doing SL1 and it was always the Astora Straight Sword. And he still asks me that to this very day. So that sucked. But that's actually good. That's I, I don't consider that to be bad. Because we get to access these crates, which I don't think we could we could get normally. So we take a little bit of damage. And I think we take a little bit of sanity damage as well. But that's really not bad. As far as I'm concerned. And thank you, Thunder Scott, for the seven-month resub. XD to you too, fellow gamer. How are ya? Yes, use it. Swordfish on your back? I didn't ask if someone else would have- Oh, I know. I know why you did it. It's just fucking funny to me. He just got tired of me explaining that it was a store of straight sword every fucking stream because someone would ask me invariably several times. I'm okay, this game looks neat. It is. We're just trying to figure out the most effective way of going about things, so we're not seeing too much new shit. But, game's a wild ride, honestly. I think my favorite part was milking a, a stone bird woman. I think that part was really good. Okay. 
fuck away from me, you nasty little beast. I actually want to go this way. You think I had a tooth infection reminded me of your fish antibiotic story? Good, good shit going to the fucking dentist. It, it boggles my mind how, how my own fucking mother will have, like, a tooth infection and try to self-medicate with stupid shit like fish antibiotics. Both of my parents are the sorts of people who will never, ever listen to anyone when it pertains to medical advice or anything like that. They will do whatever the fuck they want, even if it's retarded. Seems like if you took the tone and themes of Silent Hill and put it into an RPG. See, I've never played Silent Hill before, so I don't really. I don't know. I don't. I don't really get that comparison. Spam. Is that the Astora Straight Sword in every game you played for like two years? Oh yeah, that's normal. It's absolutely normal. That is that is what my chat enjoys. Like nuking the world because an ant made you look bad. Can't force a person to be healthy. Yeah, it sucks. It's something that. I I really get frustrated with, but honestly I can't I can't do anything. Are they anti-vax? No. Okay. Heads. Ooh, that sucks. I really, really want to want to get that one, because that's the book that teaches me to do counter. And like we established, it seems like uh it seems like counter is very useful against those wolves because they attack with their head, they bite you, so you counterattack their heads and kill them in one hit. Oh, God. The God of Mega Milk. Goddess of love, lust, and creation. She created men and women at the dawn of time from the very first moment she loved her children greatly. Over time, her love blossomed into a more obsessive form and she would try to guide her children more and more. She realized children would never be able to return the same amount of affection back to her. Her love took a more twisted form. Sylvian would shape mankind more to her liking and more into her own image with her gift to people. The love magic. Otherwise known as the flower magic. For a brief moment in ancient history, mankind fell into a craze of fleshly delights. As a synchronized mass, sea of naked people in the middle of coitus would pulsate and waste their days. Sounds fucking good to me. Still cults dedicated to Sylvian to this day, but many believe she left mankind behind long ago. Uptime, about seven hours. No, six and a half. Six and a half. This is our other opportunity to get the counter book, I think. Nope, Alchemelia. That's good too, I guess, but I really, like, counter is very important, I think. Okay, it doesn't really do much for us right now. Wait, actually. Hold on. Wait, what the fuck is this? Cloth. Right? I can make a big dick potion. I made a light blue vial. I think that's a better healer. Or a healer. A better healing potion. Hard to set up your capture card? It's the same thing as a graphics card. It takes all of five minutes. Super senses. I think it makes it to where you the brightness is increased so you can see if there's like an asshole around the corner or some shit. Oh, I should probably should probably minimize this because it's the it's the orgy fuck fast section of the game and I don't want to get banned that bad. God. This is fucking ridiculous. I need to get that red herb, I just realized. There's an herb I can get here. Okay. Wait. Uh -huh. So something appears to have happened because it seems like my max health is only 90 now. I wonder why that is. I wonder at what point did that happen. If it isn't the core of the game, sexual content is allowed. This particular scene is just very, very, very... It, there's literally 12 couples having sex on the screen at once. It's not... It's a little excessive. I think if it were just, like, one... 
for a story scene or some shit, it would be alright, but I don't want to risk showing a gangbang on stream, because that's exactly what it is. Later, Blind Ashlyn. Okay. Sprite people lazily humping each other. Yeah, yeah. But you never know. You never fucking know. Later, Kreptine. Take it easy. So we need to tell him that we are... We are not evil this time. No. Only time will tell. You'd be surprised what you're truly capable of once you stay here. Okay. Give the butterfly guy growth hormone? That's not a bad fucking idea. Will he take it? What if I throw it at him? It says it's highly flammable. That was the growth hormone. That did a fuck ton of damage, though. That was crazy damage. I can go make more of those, too. I'm gonna do that. That actually... That can save my fucking life. That is... That is a please get the fuck off of me. I want you to burn in hell. Sort of thing. And it's easily makeable, provided I have the oil. Throw that at Lantern Shakespeare? Not a bad idea. But the thing is, you underestimate the power of Lantern Shakespeare. What I could do, maybe, possibly, is if I got the little girl and this guy with the two hand, I could I could get the little girl to throw the, the vials of oil and beat him with the two hand and maybe I'd be able to pull out a win that way. But I did 750 damage to one of his limbs, and it did not break. So, so Lantern Shakespeare is, is not playing fucking video games. He's, he's not fucking around. I actually have an idea. Wasn't just the black vial the growth thing? Maybe, I guess so, huh? Well, we could try it next time, because we're definitely going to die. Lantern Shakespeare, it... It's this gigantic Ornstein and small-looking thing. Oh, shit, he's not here? Huh. Did I kill him? Be immune, because he can light his hands? Or maybe that means it would be super effective, because it's flammable, and it, 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 it becomes even, uh... Even more potent. It really could go either way. We'll have to try it. I'm not doing too great on food this time. Unfortunately. See a small body with ruined sentinel helmet? Yeah. More or less. I'm so Dude, I am too. I've been playing this shit for almost seven fucking hours. Fun the first 10, 15 dungeons, but it just gets repetitive. What, this? Or are you guys talking about Darkest Dungeon? Or, I don't know what the fuck you're talking about, actually. Okay, what am I trying to do now? Max HP down to 80? No. It increased. I don't know what hit me, though. I'll eat blueberries. Well, I could do a, a blue herb. I want to save that, though, just in case. Because the blue herb, if I ever get Alchemelia 1, which I've never gotten. I always get 2 and 3, but I never get 1. I imagine 1 is the one that lets us make the regular health potions. Okay. So now we can get the girl. I'm trying to think. We should be able to take her right to the cat. There shouldn't be any, any sort of... 
any sort of hindrance on the way there, as long as we dodge the gnomes. So we're about to see what happens when we pawn the little girl off to a, a creepy-ass cat merchant. Are you excited? And then maybe we can figure out something to do do with the with the ghosts. We need to find a way to fight ghosts. That's actually our number one priority. Because it looked like in the in the mine there was an ephemeral boss that beat the shit out of us, but it didn't look like we could hit him because he was a fucking ghost. Health drop because you were hungry? That's certainly possible. Bed explosions. We do have an exploding vial if, if need be. Probably cursed sword. We might. It might not be uh, an encounter that I'm supposed to win. I might be intended to go by, by him. Um, I don't really know. But it's a narrow ass cave, so it would be difficult to just circumvent him. Okay. All right, my friend. Deck the girl out, give her hope. No, I don't want her to kill the cat. The cat's gonna give me fucking items. I'll probably think, he'll probably attack me if the girl shanks him. Okay. Absolutely no resistance whatsoever. Hello, stranger. How are you doing on this wonderful day? I want to die. Don't we all? Don't we all? Life sure is peculiar like that. Life is peculiar. I want to make sure to answer no to his final question. I want to say I'm from darkness, but I want to I want to tell him that I don't love him. I'm, I'm, I'm making sure I don't press too fast because I'm pretty sure light it or light is the default choice. I need to kill that dog. Darkness. No. Very good, very good. I love honest words even when they hurt me. I say that now, but I'm probably going to feel really awful later on. But don't you worry about that. I really have grown to love this feeling of being rejected. Merchant swords, I sell precious items. Weapons for those in need. The funny thing is, though, I want you gold or silver. I'll trade items for human children. Here you go. Well, hello, stranger. And hello, little one. What a pretty little face you are. Oh, fuck. I like your hips and ankles, especially. The girl seems to be scared of Pocket Cat. But I make it off, you cannot refuse just for you, my special customer. Oh, man. A f the Necronomicon? A Claymore? Give me that fucking sword. Trade the little girl for a claymore! This game's just delightful, isn't it? Okay, let's see if the claymore's actually good. Yes. Alright, later. Sorry, girl. Real unfortunate for you, but... You know, it's a doggy dog world out there. Is 10 better than the snake sword? Yeah. Okay. I bet we... Okay, okay, okay. Remind me. Save an explosive vial for that rubble. She got the Necronomicon. I wanted to see how good the sword was. Now that I know it's only 10 points better, I'll get other shit the next time. Because that's our route. We're, we're going to trade her to that cat every single fucking time. You realize that, right? Okay. Let's not say anything and see if we get the same result. No, it's the same thing regardless. Pocket we, we read Pocket Cat and he doesn't do good things. We we read that book towards the beginning of the stream. Give me a fucking explodey vial or some shit. That would be preferable.
Maybe I could break it with the claymore. I can. Okay. Okay, we can break wooden doors with the claymore. I don't know if we could do it with the snake sword, but we can do it with the claymore. This looks like nothing could possibly go wrong. Terrifying presence has entered the room. Well, that's good. Reach for it. Oh! <laughs> what kind of noise is that, dude? Okay, kick your ass, Salmon Snake. Oh, he's just gonna kill me in one go, isn't he? Alright. <laughs> he got like seven turns in a row. He even missed once. It wasn't stunned. He just gets that many turns. If you got counter, you're right. If I had counter, I may I maybe could have won. Okay. Well, that's a bitch, ain't it? <laughs> that's a fucking bitch, ain't it? That's just how the cookie crumbles. Alright. We're doing so good. We did everything right and we just, it all just got exterminated. But look on the bright side. Now we get to see what the cat gives us for, for the other things. And we can try the growth hormone on the butterfly guy again. And not burn him. We can, we can prevent just killing him this time. Which is always good. Far back. It's pretty far, like maybe 15, 20 minutes. Okay. Burn Snake or Shakespeare now? If we get that book again. No, I think we just need the black liquid. I don't think we need the flammable liquid. So what I want to know though, is it said a terrifying presence ent entered the room. When we went into that area where we just got fucked by the salamander, right? So, what I want to know... Is, does that... was I'm, I'm assuming that was the terrifying presence, right? I mean, that makes sense to me. What may, let me know what you guys think. Ooh, I'm still hungry. If you're hungry, you do, you do dog shit damage. So, it's, it should be 450 damage. Let me fast attack. Thought it was the ghost. That's what I thought, too. I, I messed this fight up, honestly. Provided I don't miss here, I should be fine for the big dudes, though. Okay. Search his body. We are gonna go ahead and worm juice to get rid of our parasites and our white vial to get rid of the poison. And we are a healthy motherfucker. Our suit is very, very tight. We're not gonna... We're not going to heal just yet. If we need to, we will. But for the time being, I think the safer bet is to just see how the how the ensuing fights against the prison guards go. Okay. So let's go get the shit beat out of us. You can grab whatever is in the water. That's what I'm thinking too, Geico. But that's a pretty big risk to assume considering what happened last time. <laughs> Why is my, my damage so low? I don't think I equipped the fucking sword, dummy. He's dead anyways. Okay. No, I didn't. 
All right. And now we'll go and beat the... Uh, we should be good health-wise. And it seems like the the book that opens the area to the fuck nymphs is always there. So it's not, like, gated behind RNG or anything. So we should have... We should have this section pretty much solved. Okay. Oh, yeah. I like how the lizard shield is a spider shield from Dark Souls. I wonder if there's going to be any more epic Dark Souls references. I can't believe I just got dicked by a giant axolotl. That's that's actually what happened. That, that thing that killed me was literally... It, they called it a salmon snake, but it was actually just an axolotl. Actually. But, I want to try something. This time we're gonna get like the we're gonna get the Necronomicon. And I want to see if we can break the door down with the snake sword, the wooden door. Or if we need the claymore to have enough damage to do that. I'm kinda curious to see what the answer is gonna be. Thank you, Zamad. To save an explosive vial? True. The other part of the mine needed an explosive vial, so we'll we'll see. I wish you could see what the items the cat offered you did before you before you had to pick one. I mean the claymore is pretty fucking obvious, but I'd like to see the stats and shit, because I have no idea what anything else does. Talk to the cats for trading the girl away or leave the area? I will. I just I I honestly I was not expecting to get stunlocked by it by a, an axolotl. I really like that that genuinely caught me off guard. Hey, thank you, Kaisi, for the nine month resub. I'm scared. There's no reason to be scared. Thank you very much. This is a nice family friendly wholesome video Huego. Okay. Fuck out of him. Fuck you, asshole. Print snail to Kaisi. Gotcha. Okay. Do my best to remember that. I need some more tea. Need more sustenance. Two eggs. Those hot fries I ate for breakfast are really like they, they are propelling me with, with immense gamer fuel. How's Sif today? She's good. I think I'm, I'm probably going to stream this. This will probably be the last run. I think uh, most people have, have retired to bed. It is Monday morning tomorrow. So, I think we can resume this another day after this. Although, knowing, knowing how that goes, this is going to take the rest of my fucking life to finish. <laughs> Okay, let's get this chest. Just going for heads. Tails. I feel like it... I feel like I should always do tails, honestly. It's the meta. Actually, I feel like I ha... I haven't explored many of these barrels and shit because I didn't kill all of these tentacle-faced freaks. We also need to figure out what opens that door. Okay. It's barely gone down, but they go to bed, though. Like, you, they go to bed with the stream on. It's not about view count. It's about chat activity, you know? Like, I can tell. And then, it, like, if I were to scream right now, I guarantee you a gaggle of people would show up. Like, what the fuck? You woke me up, Tolomeo. That's just that's how it is. Like, it, it is very difficult to keep people invested in a stream for, for seven hours. <laughs> like most people, I'm the same way. When I'm watching a streamer, after a couple hours, I just kind of, kind of keep it on the background. Oh fuck! All right. Let's kick his ass. If I miss, I'm done. Though I'm actually fucked if I miss. Unless I run. Nope, we win. At least I think so. I hope 342 is enough. Yeah. They, I, I would, I would wager they have 300 health. That seems like, like the right number to me. Okay, so 
We we have pretty. I I think it's safe to say we have solved this portion of the game. These these prison guards are no longer the menace they used to be. Um, we can kill the lizard consistently. I think it's safe to say that everything before the mind we have on lockdown, except maybe repeat performances of the the fucking cave bird thing. Like we we have a general idea of how the game works, and we have a general idea how this first act act always plays out. Those big dudes have their dicks out? I mean, fuck it, dude. I got my dick out. Okay. We got lucky. Good RNG. That's what we want. This is this is the loot book. But we gotta be quick. They also have an attack where they use their dick. They thrust it at you and it does a lot of damage. It's like 30s. Challenge you to keep her alive? Dude, I can't even keep myself alive. <laughs> Are you fucking serious? Banhammer incoming? Why? You don't get banned for playing Outlast. Let's go north this time and see if it's any different. Because we haven't been north. Let's go into this house and go north. Let's just get this freebie chest and see. Because we know, we know what the left leads to. We don't know what's up there. Okay, it seems like this one always gives you the ever-watching talisman. Like that particular chest, because it's the second time we have gotten that from that exact same chest. Okay, ale. What the fuck is that thing? Are we about to die to a, a, a surprise boss encounter? Should we, should we molest it? Should we bother it? No, it doesn't fuck with us. Okay. And when I, when I say molest, I mean like how you, it, if you fuck with a lizard in the wild, people used to say you're molesting the lizard. Not, I don't mean like anything actually sexual. That'd be fucked up. Okay. Should probably not say that, honestly. Okay, definitely better go to the left. Definitely. I think I think it is 100% meta to go to the left. Unless, uh, unless, maybe, if I ignore the pots and just try to go for the chests, it would be worth something. Because that's an idea, right? Like, I could just say, fuck it. And ignore the little containers and just only get the big ones. Okay. Red herb. Break down the boards. I didn't have enough time to, to see. Alright. Let's get some dried meat in there, big boy. Okay. And let's get this shit. Wheat flour. So now we're going to try the growth hormone, what I think is the growth hormone, on the butterfly. It'd be fucked up if we turned him into a butterfly and he attacked us. Getting one extra ring? Yeah, but it's it depends because we still haven't played this game much and there's, there's the potential to get that ring that basically turns doors into infinite healing fountains, right? Like, that's not... Well, actually, no. No, we, I think we actually got that ring from, a, from like, a normal-ass urn. I just think it's an exceedingly unlikely possibility for that sort of thing to happen. What the Necronomicon? I... It... Maybe. Maybe it's possible. Okay. I, it would be really weird to have the method for dealing with that be gated behind it, pawning off the child to the cat doll. That's the one thing that I'm kind of eh on. Okay, so let's get our books. Studies of Grogoroth, we don't want that. Please give me a, a book that lets me make, like, fucking crystal math. I really feel like Tails is the way to go.
I really feel like Tails is what we want. It's gonna be hence this time, I guarantee it. I fucking promise you. Fucking hate this game. Okay. Alright. I'm not surprised. I'm not I knew that was gonna happen. I just, I don't think I've won a coin flip this run. I think I've lost all of them except for the one that gave me the talisman in the dream world. Okay, I gotta, gotta minimize this, my gamer friends. Literal coin flips are a good game mechanic. <laughs> I mean, it's probably funny to watch at the very least. If nothing else, seeing me get fucked over by, by RNG probably brings a smile to your face. What's going on, default, bro? Okay. Why the minimize? Because this scene is a gangbang. Quite literally. And I do not particularly want to show that. It looks like a bunch of those, those bunnies from Dead by Daylight fucking each other. I mean, it's safe to stream. Yeah, but I don't want to take risks. I'm, I'm not. I'm, I'm a very risk-averse human being. Okay. There we go. So now we're all healed up. We've got 100, 114 hunger. So we're ready to fuck. And let's see if we. Let me. Let me look at this black vial that I have. I wonder if I can throw it at him. Hey, buddy. What's going on, Draugr? It does not appear we can throw the black one at him. Throw the explosive one at him, but that'd be kind of fucked up. Alright, just playing, dude. I just, I'll leave. Don't mind me. I'm not asking much, just let me turn into butterfly. Not a butterfly! Burst them into flames? No, I mean the regular black vial, not the black vial plus oil. What's going on, Papa Thundercock? Okay, I don't fucking care what this person has to say. Alright, so we just have to... We're, we're almost to the caves in the cat again, don't worry, chat. I will not... Oh shit, yeah. Please fail. Please fail. This gives me extra items if it fails. Of course. But I'm going down anyways. Okay. Find a pipe. Good shit. Very good shit, brother. Blue vial. Also very good shit, brother. I don't know what that does. I think... Maybe it fucks you if you don't have the arm guards on, which prevents limb damage. But it really doesn't seem like there's a particularly steep penalty for falling down there. Like, one mine damage. Like, woo! No, don't do that. Unless we have multiple explosive vials. Do we? No, we only have one. We need to save it for the mine and see if it's worth using there. This game about... We're basically trying to dive deep as far as possible to figure out what the fuck is going on. Later, Rookstar. Did you explore Tree Lady? As much as I could. We killed the creature in it. It was some weird eldritch thing that looked like a penis that inflicted mine damage more than anything else. But after that, we couldn't find a way to proceed with the rest of the area. I know there is a rest of the area, because you can see it off screen, but I don't know how to get there. I'm sure there is a way, I'm just not entirely sure what that way is right now. Okay. So now we gotta go get the key and get the little girl, and then we're going back down here. I wonder how hard the, the bird lady is with the two-handed sword. Because when we fought her, we only had the one hand, which gave us extra defense, I suppose, but... wonder if I could just chop her torso and, like, m maul her titties in record time with that two-handed lizard man sword. What's going on, Dib? The game's very PP-oriented. Surprised Riskum hasn't played it. <laughs> it's fucked up. Riskum's cool. Alright. Is he here this time? No, I wonder why... There's some sort of event that makes it to where the, the big prison guard guy is no longer here, and I don't know exactly what it is. 
but it's definitely a thing. Blood and flower magic, that sounds fucking good. In this book, I reminisce my time at the Eastern Sanctuaries with my late master, Nasra the Great. I was given the honor of being an apprentice to a great wizard. My time with him was brief, and I only managed to scratch the surface of the immense knowledge he possessed. In this book, I will list out the secrets and spells he spoke of, of how to acquire the knowledge by these blood magics and flower magics. These would be his words. I know the first secret of Grogonoth. If I see hanging from a tree a dead man's corpse, I wish upon his soul and bind it back to their umbilical cord. So you soul trap on one of the corpses at the tree place is what that what that says, right? And then we can get some blood magic from that maybe. Cuz the tree and the soul trap like there's there's not really too much uh deliberation as to what that means, but I don't know what the umbilical cord bits about. Lisa is a really good RPG maker, Daytalis. Lisa is fucking amazing. It's it's a great game. Like it's not a great RPG maker. It's just a great game. If I sprinkle my seed inside the womb of a freshly deceased, the life that is left lingering in that corpse will spout a son in my name. A son that will a life of violence. And that's flower magic, apparently. Minuscule world I have always felt curiosity for becomes understandable to me. I'm finally able to converse with the insects around me and have them reveal their deepest secrets. No longer I fear for separation from my loved ones, for we can forever join in a marriage of flesh, an act of love that creates a beautiful unison for two souls. For all the wrong they have done to me, I can merely point my finger and leash out the violence at them in their desperate cry of remorse. As human beings or simple creatures guided by their feelings and loss, I can easily control their affections in the most primal of ways. Alright, well that was a very fucked up book. Just fuck a corpse and it'll make a violent sun. Alright. Did I get the key? Okie dokie. Let's go see what the Necroma Necronomicon does. Necromicon. Someone's playing Catherine. Oh, yeah, you can see that because I'm doing display capture, huh? I completely forgot I was doing display capture. How difficult is Lisa? Not very. Even on hard mode. The, I don't think the encounters actually get more difficult. It just imposes mechanics that kind of make progression more irritating. In other words, you can only use save points once. There's some extra fights in hard mode that aren't there normally. But they're not super difficult or anything. Can you make a son and give it to the cat? Maybe. Let's see if we can fuck that recently deceased dude's corpse. Because we definitely just killed another man not too long ago. Man, this game makes you say some fucked up shit, huh? Let's go see if we can fuck that recently deceased man's corpse. Fucking Christ, dude. If I wasn't on an FBI watch list, I am after playing this game. I could kill these guys, too. Say fuck. I I'm not going to talk about fucking recently deceased people, though. That's not normally uh, a, a subject of discussion for me. Okay, we need to send this dude back down. Okay. You do that, you know it's just a possible thing. Yeah. I doubt this game is that expansive, but who knows? Okay. So let's get fucked by the axolotl again. I think we should try fighting him once more, especially since we still don't have counter. Seem like a good idea to you guys. Okay. I wonder. We're, we're gonna we're gonna see what happens if he gives us different choices from answering his questions differently.
Yeah, it's the same shit. So what do you guys think? Book of Forgotten Memories we've gotten before. That's the thing that lets us learn counter. We've absolutely gotten that before. I don't know what Book of Enlightenment is, but I think this is the obvious choice. What the fuck? Can I... Is it... Wait, am I fucking on drugs, right? It's this. It's Ancient Book. I'm looking for Necronomicon. It's called Ancient Book. Feel twist aside as you take the book from your satchel. You feel greater to show up in the book, but at the same time, you feel like consequences might be terrible. I want to see what's on the other side of the mine first. Try talking to the girl you sold? That's fucked up. Okay. Dot, dot, dot. She's trembling. Read the book? Do you really want me to read the book right now? Look at Pocket... Yeah, the book about Pocket Cat. I was talking about how he did that. Okay. Let's see what's on this side. Oh! Well, that was fucking rude. What an asshole. Feel, hear steady growling and feel strong killing intent. So let's go see what the Necronomicon does. I'm, I'm really feeling that more than anything. Read the book. Turns out this book is the very book many legends tell about. It goes by many names, the Rites of Madness, al Eve, Testament of Grogoroth, Ex Mortis, and the Necronomicon. Oh, fuck. Adds. Book has so many powers that exceed your understanding. Next to this ancient presence, you're nothing but a feeble ant. You cannot contain your fear. You lose your mind. Delightful. <laughs> Delightful. Just straight up killed me, huh? Priced. Fuck did you guys tell me to read the Necronomicon, dude? Should have waited and see, saw if we got a save spot. Put the talisman. I wonder if that would have done anything. Why'd you choose heads? Because every time I pick tails, it's fucking heads. Hmm. Pick both? It makes no sense. Always rolled well on the orgy. Jordy's always tails. Do we want to keep playing more? Alright. I'm not sure if I want to pick the Necronomicon this time. I feel like maybe the meta strat is picking, I'm turning my AC on by the way, you might hear noise for a little bit. I feel like the meta strat for that would be to pick it, but don't read it until you get to a save spot. And then after the save spot, you can read it and cheese the coin flip. That's probably what you would really want to do with that book. But like going through all of that shit and getting fucked by the 50-50 sucks so much shit. Like, that sucks so much. Okay. Someone's watching you while you slept. This room doesn't feel safe anymore. Oh, I can? Wait, what the fuck? It, I could save again? It, it literally just said the room didn't feel safe anymore, though. 
Man up and take the 50 50? Fuck you, jail. Okay. It's not 50 50. It's like fucking 595 for me in the last run. I, I, I had like 20 coin flips and I only got one of them. <laughs> it was terrible. Okay. White vial. Mm, yeah, big boy. Mm. Save again this whole time? Maybe? Maybe? Okay. Water vial. Alright, so I need to make sure I'm not hungry anymore. Need to really make sure because the shit fucks you. Like you, you do so much less damage to the lizard if you're hungry. Actual chances like 80-20 and the game's just fucking with you. Honestly, wouldn't surprise me. Maybe I'm doing dog shit damage because I have parasites. We're just going to try to get his torso. I hate how it defaults to his leg, though. That shit sucks. Right. Please don't miss. We're good. We are good. Search. Search. Oh, what the fuck? Uh... I guess there's more to do in this room. Stirs my sleep. Can't you see I've not retained my whole body yet, you insolent fool? I need more fresh blood for the ritual. Oh, fuck. I'm, I'm, I'm out, dude. Fuck you. Able to escape the terror? Cool. Now I need to go get that lizard man. <laughs> lizard man sword. <laughs> okay. What was that head? Apparently you can just search the, the piles of shit here and, and encounters like that happen, which is... Fucked up. Okay, get some tequila worm juice. White vial for the poison. Fruit sword. Left for two minutes, what was ahead? Is this a new game? We've been using the same start file that has like 18 minutes on it. We, we've explored quite a bit of this section of the game, although there's still a, a, occasional surprises like that fucking wizard and his music. Um... I think I'm going. I'm going to uh, see if I can save again after killing these guards. I don't want to save before making any choices, but I think we've done this part with the guards enough that. Oh shit. I have the wrong weapon. Do I? No, I definitely don't. Fuck you. <laughs> Fuck this guy. I meant the game. Oh, oh, oh. I think so, relatively. I think it's been like early access for, for quite a while, but the recent release is recent. Like the full release is recent, so I'm, I'm tired. I've been going for, for seven hours, so my brain is even more mushy than usual, even more smooth. Okay, two eggs. That's right, Daddy, give me your eggs. Oh, oh what up? He didn't even aggro onto me that time. He was just. I guess he's accepted the fact that he's fucked when he fights me. Damn. I like how his legs are chopped off inexplicably. I didn't chop those. Oh, we got cell keys! Okay, so it is... It's RNG. I don't think we've gotten those recently. Have we? Also, the vases are items. And containers. Hey, dude, I, I fucking streamed 10 hours of Kingdom Hearts last time, I think. 
I've been streaming a long fucking time lately. You gotta, you gotta give me some fucking slack. You guys are fucking bullying me. I'm surprised you haven't gotten enough of me yet. Okay. Open. Tails. It's gonna be heads. It's gonna be heads. No, it's tails. A soul stone. Cool. Fuck me. Ooh, 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 ooh. Fucking no. Old Toad doesn't have it. I've had long hair all my fucking life, even if it wasn't in a bun, though. And this is cool, too, because I can skip this part where I fall down the fucking hole. I don't have to do that, because I can just open the door. Let's get some blood. I wonder if I can give that wizard the blood vial. The, the wizard had. Oh, shit. Do you guys think I should save? No? This 10 minutes of literally the exact same route should be saved? I kind of agree, honestly. Knowing this game, I'm probably gonna get fucked anyways. Yeah. Yeah. God damn it, okay. You motherfucker. I fucking hate this game, dude. My only chance is fast attacking and then healing and, and okay. I'm probably gonna die. I imagine it'll do enough damage to just fuck me. <laughs> I don't even know what to say. <laughs> I don't know what I expected. Alright, so when you save, you have a chance of just dying. That's, that's dope. <laughs> God damn it. I should have tried running. Well, you know, hindsight's twenty twenty, right? I feel like I should just never save. Unless I want to fight that boss. Kill it, it might remove the coin flip. You know it's just gonna be something else. Like he's gonna peck your eyes out or some shit or rip your dick off with his bird beak. Is there an inventory limit? I don't know. Wanna try killing it? Do you think I could? Maybe with the, the two-handed sword. Maybe if I got the claymore. If I got the claymore and healed the full, I could probably kill it. I'd fucking dick it. But then I wouldn't get the Necronomicon. Do I want the Necronomicon? I really don't know. I mean, it's probably OP, but... I can't help but wonder if I can get it somewhere else. Will you beat it? I wanna try! I don't know if I'm actually going to succeed, but I, I, ha I have every desire to do that. Okay. Ne I got the Necronomicon, and when you read it, it gives you a coin flip, and I failed the coin flip and immediately died. Which was delightful. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely, uh, hold on. How do I... Hold on, hold on. 
You know what we gotta do now, right? You know what we're gonna do, right? Are there spells in this game? Yes, there are classes in this game. You can play as a wizard. So it probably gives you some pretty good shit. There he is. Oh, look at that in the background. Isn't that fucking delightful? Oh yeah, this is fucking terrifying. Okay. Cool though, I like that idea. That's actually that's that's a really cool theme. You just have to have enough damage. Like I should go there with the, the claymore and beat the shit out of them. Cause I bet you you get some dope things if you kill that wizard. This game's so, dude. This game is fucking awesome. I like it a lot. I'm just talking to yeah. I fucked up. I might have been able to kill him with the lizard sword. Maybe I should try to just beat the dick out of him. Do you think I should try to beat the devil out of him immediately? Like zerg him with the sword. Oil bomb. That's a good fucking point. But the thing is, what you're forgetting about the oil bomb is I need RNG to make them, because I need to give me the book that gives me the recipe for the oil bomb. See, I can't I can't make them right now. I like to get the good one that, that fucked the butterfly up earlier, I have to get lucky and get it as a as a item from a coin flip. I can't just go and get it whenever I want. <laughs> I think I got food poisoning. I think that's why my body's 90 and I'm doing dog shit damage. Getting the blood vial would make him stop as well? Maybe. Ooh, I think I'm getting fucked here. Yeah, this is super bad RNG. From below 40, it's not even worth continuing, I think. If it's below 40, I'm either gonna try to kill the wizard or kill the bird. I, I'm probably gonna try doing those things regardless, though. Alright. Do, do we want to try killing the wizard again, chat? Or do we want to try the bird? Reading wiki? No, don't spoil shit for me. Bird? Alright, let's try the bird. Let's try the bird. We might have better luck with him. Probably not, but we could try. <laughs> Flip a coin about it. I'm tired of fucking coins. Okay. Hmm. Fruit sword. This fucking thing is a blessing, by the way. Wizard resembles Rasputin. There's actually a wiki about this. Dude, this game's fucking awesome. Why are you talking shit on this game? Of course something like this is gonna have a wiki. How the fuck else are you gonna remember that, like, fucking a recently deceased corpse is gonna give birth to a man that you can sacrifice at a pet to, at a, to a pedophile cat? Think I'm just gonna remember that? Okay. 
How much was this game? Seven dollars. Heads. <laughs> I mean, that's what I wanted, but it just nothing surprises me at this point, you know? Alright, game first. Fast attack. Oh. Ow. Give me that arm. Miss. Give me that arm. If I had hit him there, that could have been dealt. Let's try to get his other arm. Don't peck me, you asshole. What the fuck? Oh my god. A fucking course, dude. <laughs> he literally pecked my fucking head off. <laughs> I fucking hate this game, dude. Jesus Christ. I, I said something like that was gonna happen, too. Maybe I should get a helmet, like a better helmet or something. I don't think that would happen if I had a plate helmet. I'm gonna go get a drink, though, and then we'll, we'll play some more. <laughs> dude, this fucking game is ridiculous. I'm gonna still play, but I gotta take a moment. My sister is sick, so she wants my humidifier, so I'm gonna fill it up really quickly and put it in her room, and then we will continue. Oh.
Sorry about that. Okay. Probably gonna take an hour or few at this rate. I don't care. I don't care. I like figuring out things myself. There's no fun in playing a game like this where everyone feeds you the answer. Ooh. Like, don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. I appreciate the idea of wanting to help. I really do. I really do. I understand that you just want to help. And I, I, I respect and appreciate that. But the fun for me is figuring this shit out my, on my own. Or not at all. It's entire. It, it's probable. It's almost certain that I'm going to miss out on shit and eventually either have to miss it all together or ask somebody. And when that time comes, I'll ask. But at least let me try to figure shit out. Whew! Okay. We're up and down the stairs, filling up fuck humidifier. Whew. The crow person drops some great loot. He probably drops absolute dog shit. Hmm. But let me, let me just put it this way. Let me put it this way, right? There are very few games that exist where I'm going to start it for the first time and play it for like eight hours in a row all fucking night. Um, that's, that's a rarity for me. It's not, it's not common. So I would ask you to not spoil my fun. Okay. Especially something like this is pretty fucking funny. I mean, what, what other game... Am I gonna play where a crow just kills me in one hit by literally pecking my fucking head off? Like, you have to admit, that shit's hilarious. Even if you're not big into this game, that shit was fucking funny. <laughs> like, especially since I kind of anticipated it earlier, but he didn't. And then the second time around, he definitely fucking knocked my goddamn head off. One, two, three. All right, he's so fast to tell. Yeah, everyone, it's all good. I didn't see what Shippo said. I have no idea what the fuck you guys are talking about. It, it did not spoil anything. I, I think I think he gets it. I think he gets it. Let's just all fucking relax and enjoy me getting fucked by the lizard people. All right, we are, we are chilling. We are all fucking good. We are good as gravy. Everything, like, let, let Daddy Tomomino cradle you in his arms. Wow, holy shit. I didn't take any damage from that. That was fucking immaculate. That's never gonna happen again. <laughs> and I had the hunger debuff, too. I think I, I think it's from eating too soon before you... I don't know, maybe I got food poisoning, but I thought the dried food was good. Okay. Monstrosities down. But in all likelihood, it is going to most likely take me a long time to beat this game. And if that if that isn't good, I apologize. But we will beat this shit eventually, and when we do, it'll be fucking absolutely epic. It is, you, you gotta, you gotta believe, dude. Like, think of it. Think of it. Think of this shit. At the beginning of this game, seven hours and 37 minutes ago, these huge cocked ogres were dicking it. Like, I would scream when I saw one. I'd go, ah! And fucking run away when I saw one of these because I, I figured, you know, my little white cock can't compete with that. Are you serious? Like, look at that fucking thing. It's bigger than my torso. But now we've, we, we've figured a lot out. We've made a lot of progress. It, me compared to earlier me, seven hours ago me, like, it's night and fucking day. Like, I still fuck up and get the shit beat out of me by giant axolotls or, or, or crows or whatever the fuck. But it's, it's not like we're exactly at an impasse. You know what I mean? Can you attack his dick? Yes. Here, let me show you. It even, it even has an animation for chopping it off. Like, imagine being this asshole. <laughs> like, this game's fucking awesome, dude. What's going on, Custard?
Like, you can literally chop their dicks off in combat. Opium powder, that's what I'm talking about. I, I could make a really epic joke. It would be so funny that everyone would be, ha, 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 But I can't because I might get banned. Died a dickless virgin. Well, I don't know if he's a virgin. Okay. Okay. Good shit. See, now I don't know whether or not I want to play this or Kingdom Hearts next stream. <laughs> That's my problem now. I didn't expect... I expected to like this game, but I didn't expect it to be like, holy shit. I am, uh... I'm, my, my nipples are hard just playing it. Gonna have to do both. Try talking to the doors yet? My stinger is pulsating. What's going on, Bort Delunzo? How are you, dude? Okay. Any restarts have there been? A lot. But we're making consistent progress. Like, we are, we are getting places. We're not doing the same shit. We've got a strategy for the early game that is working very reliably. It's just we keep finding fucked up shit. Like, I accidentally tried to loot this dude and talked to the wall. And there is a terrifying encounter if you decide to talk to the wall. It's really fucked. Um, but it's also really cool. I'm wondering if I, I'm, I'm debating on trying it again. I won't this time. I just don't, there's so many fucking things to do. There's so many goddamn things to do that I'm just kind of, I'm kind of overloaded. Show it, do it. Alright, I'll show you guys. Check this shit out. Check this shit out. Check this shit out. A lot of progress. We've, we've... Progress may be not the right word, but we've discovered a lot of shit. Like this. This is, this is a big dick fight. Alright, so this is a beheaded wizard, and you're gonna notice that the music is extraordinarily frightening at the beginning. Right? And you're like, okay, well, why the fuck could that be? Look in the background. It gets closer and closer, and you have to kill the head before the thing smushes you. Uh, you can run away, thankfully. I don't know if I'll be able to do that fight again, but I'm sure I'm going to die to something else before that really becomes a consideration. And it, it gets- it actually gets super fucking creepy the closer he gets. Like, it's actually genuinely unsettling. Okay. What's good, Gensbit? Like a lot of hidden stuff. Absolutely, it would be so fucking easy to miss that. So I'm sure we're gonna find and we found out that we can save again. We we we're not limited on saves, but when you try to save again, you get a uh you get a coin flip. Delightful, right? Like that always entails good things. A fucking coin flip. And if you fail the coin flip, you get forced to do a boss fight. And I was doing good. I, it's, it's a bird with, like, this fucking rusty arm blade thing. And I chopped it off, and I'm like, oh, he's he's on the ropes, dude. I'm going to dick him. And then he pecked my head off. He literally just pecked my fucking head off. And fuck, dude. Like, you just can't catch a goddamn break in this fucking dungeon. So maybe I should just try to go for the fucking YOLO headshot. Okay. Infected? I mean, that's that's the least of my problems when he's pecking my fucking head off. Shit, <laughs> like, like, yeah, that does suck. But goddamn, dude. Like, there's there's a little bit to worry about there. There's it's it's a lot. 
Okay. Preparing a move that would instantly kill you? Yeah, I'm curious. I, I have to fight him again to see, but I have an idea. Because the first time I fought him, the first time I fought him, he did like this crow attack. Um, where he just sent like a flock of crows at me. And then the second time, he, he like charged it. The third cultist was gone. Yeah, I noticed that too. Um, he looked at me for two turns in a row. Like, he has two turns, but he passed his two turns. So maybe on the third, like, if he does that on the third turn, he packs you so you can anticipate it. I don't know how the fuck you would, you would deal with it. But that's what I'm guessing. I'd have to fight it again, though, and I'm probably not doing that anytime soon because I really don't like restarting. <laughs> like, I don't, I don't particularly want to want to die again. Maybe if I got the Claymore, I could burst him down. Like, I just ignore his arm. And try to, to kill his torso. Oh, hey. Scroll of the Black Arts. I've never gotten that before. Let me see. And the Secrets of the Black Orb. Okay. Well, whenever I find the black orb, I guess I can interact with it. But as of right now, I don't think there's much to be done. Alchemelia Volume 2. Alright. That's what I'm talking about. That was a learned spell. Maybe? Let me see. Oh, yeah, you're right. Holy shit. Concentrated negative energy that could be hurled at your opponent. So you call them a retard. Alright, I can respect that. What's going on, Sinister Strike? And thank you, Waynes, for the 31 month resub. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Later, Mr. Weeb. RNG in this run's way better. I've gotten pretty dog shit RNG the last couple of times, though, so you gotta give it to me. You gotta. Like, something stupid's gonna happen, anyways. You realize that, right? Like, there's never. It's never smooth sailing. You just get fucked in different ways. See, Pop It Out, that is why we've named every single one of our characters after a K-pop band person. She's actually a girl, though. Alright. Good fucking hustle. No, that's just what you get. Like, you get assigned a phobia at the beginning of the game. And I noticed that it comes into effect when I'm doing the the fight with the wizard. And so I think I'm severely uh I'm severely fucked in that fight because of the particular phobia that I have. So that's cool. So let me read Alchemelia, by the way, so I can get those recipes. See, just as black is a growth hormone. I don't know how to use it on the Mothman, though. Let's see. Man, I don't have shit right now. Okay. It's time to search. It sucks that I didn't get the Dream World book. That's such a huge boost of the resources you get. Necrophobia runs around killing shit. Yeah, no, it's weird. It seems to be, like, combat-specific. Because one of the other ones you got earlier was Phobia Against Ghosts. And I, I think that... I think that if you have a Phobia against the type of monster you're fighting, you're at a disadvantage. I'm not sure it has outside of combat effects. So wait, actually, hold on. The Crawl. The Crawl. Remember that door earlier in the basement with the tentacle jellyfish that had the sig like the signature of the crow or some shit? I wonder if killing the crow will let me go through that door. That would fucking suck, bleeding Norwegian. Okay, so I, I feel like that's probably the solution there, but I suppose I've been wrong before. Later, hellish heads, baby. Fuck you. I wish they'd at least give you a shitty item, you know what I mean? 
Like, <laughs> do, we, do we really need to get nothing? Like, can we just get, like, maybe dirt or some shit? What's going on, Grave Lord Natoy? Fucking game just wants to dick me. Okay, so what are we doing? We're going back to the... The blood pit with the girl. I'm gonna sacrifice her for the Necronomicon. And then maybe I could do a big dick play and try to save. And if I if I successfully save, I could save scum the Necronomicon. And then I could try to fight the bird again, although that would likely end in, in me getting fucked like it has before. What's going on, Gata? You're supposed to effectively heal. I mean, there's quite a few items. Like you have blue vial. You have the the these herbs heal you. The blueberries heal you. So it's limited, but I really haven't like healing is not the problem we've run into at this point. Our problem is getting fucked by insta kill moves because like the axolotl can stun me to death. I can't do anything to him, right? Um, the crow can peck my head off, and the wizard summons a demon that stomps me and smushes me in one hit. No amount of healing in the world is going to help me in those situations. Like, it's just not, it's not good. Okay. So we'll go back to this area, and then we'll get the key and save the girl, and we'll sacrifice her. I still need to test if this two-handed sword is sufficient for breaking wooden doors or if I need to clay more. Try running from Crow. I have a... He... I, I bet you it won't work simply because the the geometry of the room physically wouldn't allow it in a real fight. So it'll probably say something along those lines. Like, he's in between me and the door. So I really doubt that running is a realistic option. And this is the sort of game that kind of accounts for that sort of situation. Later, Game Boy. So I wonder why that last cultist isn't there. It's really weird. Does that mean Brutus is going to be in here? Doesn't matter if he is. I'll kick his ass one way or the other. But he's not. Worm juice. Do you think worm juice comes from those big dudes? Nipple clamp me. Fucking Jesus Christ. Right. Worm juice comes from Stigger pulsating. Alright, at least the small key is a consistent item that we always get. Let's fall down here and get the items. This is a pretty important part. Like, there's, there's several chests that we can get here for free. Find this game. I found it while I was looking for game jolt shit. I saw it. I'm like, wow, this game actually looks good. I want to play it. And so I did. And here we are. Now we've been streaming this shit for eight fucking hours. <laughs> Worm juice. Silver coins. You weren't tired? I want to see. I want to play this fucking game, dude. Like, can I tell you a secret? I've been on a on an epic gaming mood lately. Like when I was done with the ten hour Kingdom Hearts stream, you know what I ate? Fucking nothing. I ate like the last couple of, of Elmer Fudge cookies that I had left. I didn't eat a pizza. Cause I was I was into gaming. Went and played RuneScape and Path of Exile. Yeah, literally an epic gamer. Who needs sustenance? Only fucking retards do. Go away from me, you fucking gnomes. Let's see, for $8, but you need adult setting to see it? I hope at least a couple of people buy this fucking game. It's pretty fucking fun. I'm shilling for this game. No, no one's paid me shit, but this game's awesome and you should fucking buy it. I'm gonna play WoW? Fuck you. Not playing World of Warcraft. Like that it would require a lot of money for me to want to play World of Warcraft. I'm not gonna be not gonna beat around the bush. Like, I would have to be 
receiving shackles. Alright, she's good enough for a save? Fucking no. I don't. But what the fuck else am I gonna do? I mean, I could go to the... Huh. You know what? I got big dick pla plans. I got big dick plans. I think I need to learn how to fight the crow, though. If this doesn't work, I think that, that the path forward... Like, the crow seems beatable. The, the crow seems like he's within reason. You can chop his arm. You just have to find a way to get around the fucking pack. Maybe if I get counter? I guess I... Hold on, let me... Let me look. I do have defense stance. I wonder if that would work. Maybe I could break its legs and chop its head off. Like, I don't know. There's a variety of different... Maybe I could just go for the YOLO headshot. Um... Maybe I could burst them in the torso. Like, there's a variety of things I haven't tried that could conceivably work. Maybe I need appropriate headgear. Like, right now I only have a leather helmet. Maybe if I had a metal helmet, it would prevent getting one shot. Guarding? I don't know. I don't guard. It seems like a waste of a turn more often than not. Okay. But I think the crow is honestly the most likely thing to fall out of all the things we've encountered. I'm not beating the demon. I think I think we can all agree that that demon is not happening right now. Um, I guess the church, the the tree thing. Maybe there's something else to be done there. Um, that the tree with a bunch of corpses. Uh, we didn't fully explore the the area past the landslide in the mine. Like that could be something. Maybe there's a save point over there or some shit. Who knows? So there's, there's quite a few things to try. It's just, it's a very trial and error game. Like, that's really the thing, is progress is kind of incremental at this point, because due to the nature of save points, it's very, very trial and error. Okay. I need to go get fucked by the nymphs. Nymphs. <laughs> so I can get full health, though, regardless of what I want to do. Although maybe it would be more wise to use healing items here, because I'm only at 50... I'm, I'm not really that low in the grand scheme of things. Okay. Uh, oh, right. I need to move to the left so I avoid this shit. I don't think you should bring that girl with. Well, I'll tell you what happens. Girl is meat wall. I don't want to sacrifice those items, Hellmax. Like, I don't want to sacrifice the Necronomicon or the Claymore. I don't want to use her in an RNG strat. I want, I want to use her to get some fucking items. Do you think I can give her, give her to this guy? If you give her to the Hydra, that's something I haven't tried. Do we want to try that? Probably not. I don't. I, I doubt whatever the Hydra gives us will be adequate. But I kind of want to see because I forgot that we have the option to give her to the Hy Hydra. All right. I, I gotta. I gotta block the orgy out. Okay. So maybe something will happen if I go to the nymphs with the girl. Though I fucking hope not. Kill him last time. He didn't drop anything. We killed him, but we didn't sacrifice the little girl to it, which could potentially give us something. Try 50-50 save? Maybe, but then if I if I fail the 50-50 save, I don't get to try the Hydra. Okay. She's not watching. Don't worry. It doesn't seem like anything happens if she's there. Find the rubble, uh, that leads to the tree. The tree with the sanity reducing monsters, it's really not worth uh, exploring right now. You don't seem to get anything from it. I killed the monster in said tree, but it there are probably more of them and I couldn't find out a way to progress through said tree. Okay. 
Long stream, yep, yep. I'm into this shit. This game's fucking dope. Oh, yeah, I've shown her before, don't worry. I just don't want to show the orgy. Where's the game? I'm hiding it to avoid uh, a gigantic 12, a 24 person orgy that happens in that part, but it heals you if you partake in the orgy. So I kind of have to go there a lot because this game's pretty fucking hard. All right, let's 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 give her over to the Hydra. Virgin girl me. The girl struggles a little, but you push her into an opening between heads and tentacles. Better than what we imagined. Cheers. Oh, that's it? Don't get a reward or anything? Wait, hold on. Let's see what happens if we fucking kill it. Maybe something different will happen if you kill it after sacrificing her. Because it doesn't do damage to you as far as I can tell, so it's, it's safe. And then we can try to kill the crow again, maybe. We can get more practice on it. Because I don't, I don't, like I said, I want to give the girl to the cat so I can get the Necronomicon or the Claymore. So this is, this is, this is pretty much a, a, a done run. I'm just trying shit out now. It's going to suck when I win the, the coin flip for the crawl, though. Actually, you know what? Fuck the crawl. Let's just go explore the mines some more. Nope, absolutely no reason to give it to the, the Hydra. You get literally nothing. Okay. Maybe I could try... Do I have the book that gives me counter? Maybe I can fight the Axolotl. Nope. Maybe with more? Yeah, it's possible. Trolled the fuck out of you? It happens. Do you guys... I think most of the people here have forgotten that the shit pit is an area in this game. Oh shit. I'm a fucking god at this game. For those of you who weren't here, there's a place you can go into. There's a hole that says that it's covered with... feet. No, it smells like feces, death, blood, and semen. That's literally what it says. And you go in... And it drops you into an area called the shit pit where you cannot escape. Like you lose the game. It doesn't kill you, but you have to you have to exit the game. So that that's the sort of game that we're dealing with, is what I'm trying to say. Like this game is not playing with you. Shit pit is funny. Watching you get sucked into a writhing mass of human heads isn't funny. Well, that's just like your opinion, man. So what do you guys think is going to be in here? Oh, is this one of these assholes? Okay, I can, I can handle this. This dude's a fucking pussy. <laughs> Those are the easiest enemy in the game. Those are the only enemy that I have consistently managed to uh, just kill before they get an opportunity to react to me. Found some cheese. Good shit, brother. Cloth hood. What's this way? Is this gonna lead to the fucking ghost? Uh, uh, is he sucking on a dick? Man in a wolf mask eating intestines. Oh shit. This is... Two are busy with each other. Huh. Wow. I, I see we found rainforest. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh my god. 
So what's gonna? Okay, I need to. What, what's what's going on? Lust for flesh almost hooks you up, but not quite. All right. So we we this is the furry cannibal fest. I'm I'm I wanna get out of this area as quickly as possible. Oh fuck! Oh god damn, dude! Seriously, this is fucked. All right, all right. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to move this and talk to everyone to make sure I'm not missing out on anything. A terrifying presence has entered the room. Well, that's delightful. <laughs> cool. Apparently, even though these guys are being devoured and, and ripped asunder, they are, uh, they are living. Genitalia seem to be an abnormally high-pressure erection. I'll get banned for that? I don't want to risk it, dude. I, 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 like, this is, this is how I, how I survive in life. I don't want to take chances. Feed your arm to the other one. You guys saw it. You, you, you understand what is going on right now. I can, I can sit here and describe it. Okay, I don't like whatever. I don't see anything, by the way. It said a terrifying presence entered the room. But fuck, who knows what the terrifying presence actually is. I don't see anything. I think if you just stay in one place too long, it probably fucking kills you. If I had to warrant a guess. It can't be more terrifying than these furries fucking and eating each other, though. Okay. I can bring the screen back. Hey, what's up? How are you? So what is this terrifying presence? Oh, fuck. Are you shitting me? Oh my god. Well. Alright, you know what? Fuck this bird. Fuck this bird. Because you know what? You know what? I ain't afraid of no fucking bird, this Craddock looking motherfucker. Are you serious? Like, what kind of retard? I'm gonna smoke tobacco right in front of your face. Puff, puff, motherfucker. Fuck you. That's what I fucking thought, you little slut. Hold on, let me eat some fucking cabbage in front of you, bitch! What's this do? What's, what's the ball of negative energy do? Am I gonna throw fucking Tybee at them? do <laughs> nothing I could do <laughs> fucking piece of shit bird man thank you for 100 bits man this is some shit What do I do there? I think. See, I thought he would... My, my initial theory just kind of went out the fucking shitter, because I was saying... That it seemed like he prepared the pack and you could kind of anticipate it. And I can I explain about the stupid crow monster? No. Because I know, I, I know what I need now. I need fucking head armor. I need to, I need to get a fucking helmet. 
because it, it, it's got to be something stupid like that. I, I got to get a plate helmet, and I think that maybe that might be the solution, but we will see. If not, then we'll find another solution. But now we know what the terrifying presence is, and fuck the mines. I think I speak for all of us when I say fuck the mines. Like, that's some bullshit, and you fucking know it. But I'm... I think we're gonna try to kill the crow with the bed. Cause like, what the fuck do we do? And like, the mines are, are fucked. Cause look at this shit. It's a fork, right? The center is an intangible ghost that we can't diddle. To the left is the crow man. And on the right is an axolotl that stunlocks you to death. So like, cock-a-doodle-do, what the fuck am I to do? <laughs> Shit's just like, come on. Hold on. I gotta wait for my food poisoning to wear off. Like, maybe I could use explosive vials on him. Maybe it would just kill him or some shit. I don't fucking know. It seems like there are... There's no easy way out of the situation. I don't know. You break the arm first. That's right, you little slut. I guess it doesn't really matter. I can just hit his torso twice. I don't really need to speed it up. That dark orb of magic. Well, I don't have it anymore, but maybe. Man, oh man. We are we are doing great now. I think we've reached the difficult part of the game. Okay, so where the fuck are we gonna get a helmet? You know what? Maybe? No, that wouldn't work. That's stupid. No, Amater. I did not. Oh, fuck. Yeah, that's a thing. Damn, I'm doing great. Game's pretty stupid. I was gonna say, maybe I could, uh... Oh, I didn't cure my parasites. That's good. Maybe I could... What the fuck was I gonna say? I can't remember now. Oh, maybe I could kill Shakespeare. And maybe, maybe Shakespeare, if I got lucky RNG and got multiple things to throw, I could burst down Shakespeare. Cause maybe, maybe I kill him and he'd give me a helmet, right? Like he's got, he's a big old fucking suit of armor, so why the fuck not? Weirder things have happened. Because it can't just be RNG. They wouldn't do that. Like, even this game isn't gonna have a boss fight that's just, like, literally nothing you can do to circumvent the RNG. That would be fucking retarded. So there's obviously a solution to the crow thing, and I'm... The only thing I can think of is, is a helmet that would protect you from it, but I don't have such a thing right now. And I have no idea how I would go about... Acquiring something like that right now. I just want to hit him in the dick. Fuck this asshole. Yeah, that's right. You better miss me, you fucking stingerless piece of shit. Fuck you. A soul stone. If I get two of those, I can curse my weapon and maybe I can just dick the fucking crow down without having to worry about it. Dirt. Have a head slot? We do, yes. And we've gotten a plate helmet by RNG before, but we don't have anything anything that would be like that now. Because the mines seem like no man's land to me. Because in the axolotl place that we got that haunting presence thing, so the crow dude was there. In the furry place, I don't even know if there was a way to get around him. Like, I guess maybe when I first saw him, I could have ran around him. And then maybe there would have been something to do there, but I kind of fucked myself, I guess. Later, Custard. 
tree potty. See, I don't know if I need the book for that trigger to happen, though, is my thing, Dream. And it requires me to use my explosive vial to get there. It's just some shiggy diggy bullshit. Maybe it was some mistake coming to these fucking dungeons. Recruit party members? I haven't found a way to yet. I'm sure you can because the screenshots in the game show that, that such a thing is possible. But... It's a learning experience. We'll figure it out eventually. Or not. Or we'll just solo big dick the game down. A little girl party member? She doesn't do anything though, so I, I struggle to consider that a real party member. Guy. Girl, you fed to the Hydra counts as a party member? I mean, we're sacrificing her. Maybe, maybe, if I really wanted to... Wait, why would I want to use the Soul Stone here? No, fuck you. You equip her any weapon? She can only use a toy dagger. Uh, which is always in the same place, and it gives her a whopping 10 attack. She hits like 50, dude. She's worthless, and she dies in like two hits. What did the Hydra give you for the girl? Absolutely fucking nothing. Use her to be stun locked by that thing that stunned you to death? Maybe, but that kind of... I would have to kill it in the subsequent turn, right? It, it would maybe save me for a single turn, but then I would have to kill it. And that thing does not look like it's going to die in a single turn to me. So I wonder what's up with that cultist not appearing anymore. That's really fucking weird. And this dude's not here anymore? I guess he's only here if you come in through the front door. I don't know. Recipes of the 15th century. That sounds like cooking. Various recipes from famous Chef Anders. Okay, I don't give a shit. Give me all of it. Vegetable pie. Woohoo. Tails. It's always fucking tails. Fuck you. Front door. Yeah, this place seems to be a lot better going from the from the back. Because you can't get the event that leads to saving the noble if you come from the front. You have to come from the blood pit. It just seems like there's no reason you would want to come from the front, honestly. Also, an interesting thing about this game is it doesn't appear that you can level up. I think it's safe to say that there's not really, like, leveling up's not really a thing at this point. Because we've killed fucking countless enemies and we've never experienced anything aside from the orbs. Like the, like the lesser soul gems making it to where you can get extra skills and shit. But I doubt those increase your, your actual level. Although I could be wrong. I didn't check when I did it. Alchemelia 1, holy fuck. Blue plus red, greater healing properties, blue plus blue, blue vial. Okay, so that means we've been kind of railroaded into a decision as far as I'm concerned. We've got a risk saving because we can make potions now. Like, that's a huge fucking deal. Fuck. And then maybe we'll luck out and beat the crow. Who knows? Crack underneath your feet? Good. With the sexual healing? That's true. But after the first time, remember, it's a coin flip. It, you, you, you die if you fuck up the coin flip. That's not good. I, I don't like dying. Blue vial. Okay. I wonder if there's any sort of containers that I haven't been interacting with that would make it a lot easier on me. I doubt it at this point, but you never know. Not winning every coin flip. I'm sorry, Hank. I'm not a good gamer. And all these pipes. Jesus Christ. We're going to be smoking out the entire fucking castle at this rate. We got one for the girl, too. 
Game jump scary? No, it's not jump scary. It's very ominous and creepy at points, but it's not jump scary. The only thing close to that is when you are, oh god. Is when an enemy ambushes you and you aren't expecting it. Find the weighted coin. Is the fight more strategic or mainly RNG? Honestly, most of the fights have been fairly strategic. Strategy works very well on most of the enemies in the game. The crow, though, I, I don't know. I think it's RNG without a helmet. I think if I... Like, let's just use our fucking brains, right? Like, we're not dumb motherfuckers. Like, maybe other streamers will say we're dumb motherfuckers, but what what happens is obvious. The bird pecks you in the fucking head and your head explodes. How are you going to stop that? You're going to wear a fucking helmet. Right? Like, that makes sense to me. What I don't know about you guys, but that, that's perfectly logical in my mind. So there's got to be it, right? And then we'll figure it out. If not, we'll, we'll go back to the drawing board. But I, I am wagering that's what you have to do. A long sword. Woo. Yeah. Hold on, I want to try something. That's what I expected. I might die now. I'm gonna die to one of these fucking things, huh? What if? What if? Misses right now. Okay, so now we can use a blue vial here and attack. Now we got parasites again, though, so we might be fucked. I wanted to see if I could just lop its head off. But, alas. Alas! I, I probably fucked myself here. But that means we get to experiment. It's like Bob, it's like some Bob Ross shit. Happy little accidents, right, gamers? Now we can see we can see what the Necronomicon does. Cause I don't think I have another white vial. I do not. Uh-uh. And the parasites make you very, very hungry. Later Abyssal Spirit. Depressing little accidents. Read the book. So, I actually, you know what would be fucked up? I just thought of something. Let's play hypotheticals, chat. Let's play hypotheticals, okay? Let's say we beat the crow at the save point. We save, we lose the coin flip, and we beat the crow. Does that mean we have to do another coin flip to try to save after that? Because that would be fucked up. That would be no good at all. That would suck dick. Did I kill the Brutus in this area? I don't remember if I did or not. No, I didn't. If he... Okay, it's fine. I have enough body to deal with him, I think. What's going on, Noodle Nuke? It's, it's hard to explain. This is like when you get caught with furry pornography by your parents jacking off. So you don't have the words. It's hard. It's not the only thing that's hard, though. Hey, what up, dude? Fuck you. You still playing this thing? You're goddamn right I am. Look at this dude's cock. How could I stay away? Calculated. Okay. Does this guy do 19? No. Fuck you. Yes. 
Sound like you speak from experience? I'm a very experienced man after all. I can teach you a couple things. Okay. Hello, Tentacle. I never got the skinning knife. I haven't been skinning these motherfuckers. I plucked out my F1 key. Hold on. Really easy to accidentally yoink your fucking keys on this keyboard at this angle. Okay, well, let's go to the nymphs. I think that the nymphs probably have a couple things to say to us in our two health. Later, booty warrior. Have fun, dude. What kind of things do you know about right whales? Keyboard made out of cardboard? It's a mechanical one. It's only like a $50 one, though. Hello, Madu. Oh, shit. That's right. Blue herbs. And hello, Dizzable. It's epic gamer strength. Is that what it is? Can you use the soul for? I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you. Hey, thank you, Red Melody, for the host. I hope you had a good stream, dude. How are ya? What'd you play? Hello, sensual lizard, and good night, Becky. Every time we get a soul gem, we need to test out this room. This is leveling. This is how you level up in the game. So what you do is you go in here, and it will let you use a soul to gain a new ability. And I need to trial and error find out what the what the good abilities are so we have lock picking that actually sounds really fucking good steel dash hurting pyromancy trick it's a pain in the ass to navigate around can you use the mouse necromancy wait necromancy why can't i get necromancy you, you fucker blood golem okay so that sounds fucking lit Demon Seed? Oh, baby. Loving Whispers? Alright. Wait, Healing Whispers? I don't think I can get it with the amount of points I have. Counter? No. Fast Dance? No. Leg Sweep? No. I got Blood Portal once. I think I need two. Let me see. Do I have to unlock the... Can't check what they do. Uh -uh. No, I have no idea. Maybe I have to read about abilities to use the soul to unlock them. Like, yeah, maybe I have to do this shit. Maybe I have to, like, creation of life. With the black growth hormone... Have okay, this is actually interesting. I need to pay attention to this. Finally giving me results. The black liquid has proved to be very potent in my previous research, but this new discovery isn't like anything I expected. A mixture with human blood has created a new artificial life form. It's also a tiny fetus with human features. It is breathing lightly and seems to be in constant agony. Nostramus, that's the guy in the mines that we talked to that runs away from us. Rapid growth. It is an already, already an ever-hungry baby craving for more nourishment. I'm doing experiments with different sources of food. It seems like the life being is affected by this. My form is already a size com comparable to a human child age around 10. It has an extreme appetite. I killed the child that was growing attached to it. No helping that. So, if I go here, do I have... Okay, we're gonna go heal and we're gonna make, we're gonna have a child. I can get this, I have the vial to get the black shit. Very interesting. I wonder what this is gonna be. Do you think it's gonna be a party member? I bet you have to give it a fuck ton of food and then it becomes big dick swinging. Like it's ready to fuck. It's a vial of semen. I mean, it's blood and, and tar, essentially. Oh, I need to get the book from the, the earlier area. And I already have parasites, so that's not good. I fucked up. Okay, I gotta be quick. Let me make a pie or something so I don't fucking die. A vegetable pie. A tolomeo pie. Oh, wow, holy shit, yeah, I'm... Goddamn. 
that it also has a coin toss where it can turn off. Oh, you, you know, you know that's exactly what's gonna happen. Like we're gonna be in the pivotal boss fight, and it's like coin flip to see if your child betrays you. Game's interesting. Honestly, we're we're not really in a very interesting portion of the game because we're trying to we're trying to progress, but they're very interesting parts. Do you think we could? Yeah, that's a good point, Eric. Do you think we can make more babies? This is where the book is. Yeah, it's always here. We're gonna beat this fucking game, chat. We're gonna beat this shit on stream. This game is gonna be our little slot one of these days. I don't know how long it's gonna take, but we're gonna we're gonna see the end of this shit. What is this? This is Fear and Loathing. It's a survival horror JRPG, basically. It's turn based. It's it's kind of I'm starting to consider it its own unique little thing. It's it's very different, but it's very good in my opinion. Fear and loathing. Okay, fear and hunger. My bad. My bad, dude. My bad. Just making sure you guys are awake, you know. Making sure you guys are are awake. There's a fear and hunger streamer now. I kind of want to play this more than Kingdom Hearts, honestly. <laughs> does that make me does that make me bad I think my next stream will probably be this too okay oh shit I gotta I gotta fucking move this so you guys don't see the nymph orgy I wonder if this will cure my parasites. Do you think you can fuck someone so good that it removes internal parasites? The answer is no. All right. Fuck the parasite out of them. What if, okay, if I have a micro penis, does that mean I'm fucking someone with a parasite? Blue herb, epic. What the fuck was I gonna do? Make a fucking baby. That's right, that's what I was gonna do. A living and breathing fetus seems to be in pain. Okay, I can eat it, dude. What can we do with a fetus? Do you think the cat would take it? Probably not, right? Maybe we could give it to the Hydra? Maybe it'll change if it stays in our inventory? Feed it rare candies. Do you think this guy wants it? Put it inside of the cave mother. Can you put it in the girl? Which girl? It depends which girl we're talking about, I guess. Eat a bunch of fucking dirt. That's right, baby. Eat that fucking tomato, big boy. The girl? The little girl? Can I feed it to the Hydra? What do you eat? No, I can't feed it a fetus. Um, what would I do with a baby in this game? Maybe it's just really good food. It's 
Seeds and corpses? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Sacrifice? How can I sacrifice it, though? To the circle? You... You're right. I forgot about those. I forgot about those. You smart, you loyal. I thank you, Ponzel, for the 16 month resub. I appreciate it, dude. Thank you very much. But sacrificing the girl didn't do shit earlier, though. Remember, we beheaded a small child on the sacrificial circle and nothing really happened? Maybe the effects would be more potent if it was an infant, but. Maybe give it the growth hormones. Oh, God, can you do that? You make it with the growth hormones, though. Hey, thank you, Kabulu, for the 14-month resub. I appreciate it, dog. Thank you very much. The true ending, if you keep it alive at the end of the game. I'm hoping I get the dream book here. And I, I managed to get a, a, a parasite cure or poison cure, rather. No, fuck, goddammit. This fucking game. I don't know why I ever pick heads. It's gonna be heads this time. Guarantee it. Fucking guarantee it. Nope. Ancient book. Oh, that's the fucking Necronomicon, dude. We just found the fucking Necronomicon for nothing. That means that we can get the Claymore. All right, how do we want to proceed? Do we want to try saving at the bed at the risk of fighting the crow? We're gonna die, it's a 50-50, and whenever the 50-50s actually have consequences, we lose. We'll try to save. Nitroglycerin powder, just what the fucking doctor ordered. Helmet? It's leather, though. We need a me Like, I have a leather helmet, but leather's not gonna stop you from a fucking, like, one-foot-long beak. Like, go up to an ostrich with a little a little fucking leather hat and see if it pokes you in the head and you're, you're okay. Spoiler alert. You won't be. Thing will fuck you up. Come across this game looking for game jolt games. Hello, unlucky lucky me. Alright, you guys ready to get fucked? Are you guys ready to get absolutely fucking dicked by the bird? Because that's exactly what's going to happen. We are going to get fucking sodomized right here. Chat? You know what time it is. Heads or tails. Smoke. I don't have anything to smoke, so let's drink some ale. Tails. Okay. Our maximum HP. Let's see. Some fucking blueberries. Oh yeah, big boy. Oh yeah, big boy. Oh yeah, big boy. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh yeah. <laughs> God damn it!
Right off the bat. Doesn't even let me do anything. Fucking god damn it. Oh. Okay. What's going on, Tut? We need to figure out a way to do this shit. We need to get a helmet or something. I have never, never won the fucking roll to rest at that bed. I'm convinced it's it's a fake roll. I don't think it, you can actually win it. I really don't. It You always lose it. Like, I think that's four for four. Like, there's, there's no way you can actually win it. I think some rolls are just weighted to be severely against you, perhaps to the point of being unwinnable. What's going on, Azumian Chan? Okay. A water vial. I'm gonna get the two-handed sword and try to save again. I'm gonna I'm gonna see if I can get the two-handed sword on the off chance that I can actually fucking kill the thing. Oh, I fucked up. That's fine. Skill, fast attack. Is Jason born? Yeah. I doubt you could do it, XC. It seems like the accuracy uh, on headshots is virtually like it's impossible to hit unless you've chopped other shit off. Like maybe I could do some cheeky shit where I I hit two legs on the second turn, and if I'm somehow still alive, I can go for the head. Oh, no, 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 I don't want to do this. I, I want the crude sword, that's what I came here for. Okay. Worm juice. Thank you, Shao Kuzane. I appreciate the 13-month resub. Don't even worry about it, homie. Thank you very much. I hope you're ready to watch me get dicked. I'm seeing new shit even now. Yeah, it's not... It's not too bad. I don't really get that frustrated when I... I just wish that I could find a fucking helmet and see if that's what it is. What's wrong, Sif? Why are you panting, girl? What's going on at Beat Hal? Equipping the luck item? I don't have it. It's like I don't have all the items. You have to get lucky and, and get them. Okay. Heads. Attack. I'm ready for the one shot. Please don't use fucking pack immediately. Flock the cards, okay. My bones are broken though, so that's not good. The flock of crows clawed your eyes. You lose your eyesight completely. You can only see faint silhouettes here and there, but otherwise it's a dark world now. Okay. I'm just always gonna miss now, huh? Let me try something. Let me use this opportunity. What if I do defense stance? Peck me, you fuck! You fuck! Man. 
Man. This is rough. This is rough. <laughs> Holy shit. You died? I did. I've been dying a lot. We soft lock? I don't think so. We just, we could maybe get lucky getting a helmet from a chest or some bullshit. They just really don't want you to save. That's really the thing. Hold on, I have a fucking stupid idea. Blue vial. Wheel. How long have you been on this game? Just started tonight. But we've been streaming for just under nine hours. Closed helmet, yeah. This seems like, uh... A helmet is the absolute most important piece of gear you can get in this entire game. Okay, so. Dried meat. Delicious. Yeah. Good night, good Ben. Come on. Get this debuff off of me, alright. Now we'll fight this dude. I don't know what your problem is, Bleeding Norwegian. Cheesing game with Helm, Omega Lol. I wonder if there's a for sure helmet drop somewhere. Maybe? Le leather helmet doesn't count. You need a, a metal helmet, I imagine. Just speculation. I don't know if that is what you need. For all I know, you're fucked regardless. Like, maybe the helmet will protect against the birds, but not the pack. I, I really couldn't tell you. But that's the only thing that makes sense to me, personally. Okay. Because I, I have the leather helmet on right now. Search. Leather armor and crude sword. Okay. Hmm. This is using Spider Shield. This game's such a Dark Souls ripoff. True. So. What could I fucking do? Crow's just a common enemy. It is. Maybe, maybe I should just go to the mines. Maybe, maybe I, I can do something in the mines, but I just haven't really been doing it. Like, just get the sword, I have what I need. Like, all I need is a sword. Oh shit, I didn't kill him? That's the fucking first. Oh god damn it! Get that fucking thing away from me, you asshole. He fucking dicked me. What an asshole. Oh yeah. <clears throat> <laughs> Fucking bullshit. Moldy bread. Okay. Oh, he's fucking dead. The fuck out. Alright. Bottle of ale. Ale. Not a bottle, just ale. Four tinder boxes. 12 silver coins. Yippee. Okay. So, there's a place in the in the mines I haven't explored that I kind of want to see. But it's probably not a good idea. But you know when have I ever been known for good ideas? Let's go get some herbs in this bitch. Oh, yeah, big boy. The herbs heal a random amount, too, which is fucking annoying. Poor night waifu. I think I'm, I'm gonna need to refuel yet. Put 
Total played this game for eight hours. Longer. Eight and a half. What's going on, Indigo Fishy? Maybe I should try killing the mother thing again. Hey, why not? It's been a while. Why, why the fuck not? A lot of you haven't seen it. I'm going to show you the best enemy in this fucking game. How far? I have no idea. It's a soul stone, so I mean, that's cool. And right here, it's going to stop. Dark Soul, yes. Oh, so that's not, that's not going well. 1,203, Jesus Christ. the fuck out of here, bitch. Fuck you. I hit her for over a thousand. That's a lot of fucking damage. You might be wondering, why the fuck can she fly off when she just got her, her wings chopped off? Well, you're gonna see. She fucking comes back. fast attack. I don't like those titties. What the fuck? How did I miss the little one? You know what? Fuck the little retards. Just go for the torso. Just kill this bitch. Okay. Little ones are, are a fucking diversion. It's completely not even worth entertaining the fact that, like, the idea of, of killing them. They hit for, like, three. Just, just burst her torso down. Okay. Opening between her legs. Oh, yeah, let's search that shit, baby. A gnome egg. Distant cousin of the rat egg. The game's just wholesome family fun. You literally just scrounge through her vagine to get an egg. Switching behind. Oh, the the ring removes bleeding and infection. It's actually very good. So it's, it's OP. Okay, remember there's a ballista here. Don't fucking run straight. Go to the left. Fuck. No. Go to the right. Fuck myself. Chop this dude and his dumbass cock down for 1200 and si Why can't I get that sort of shit against the crow? What the fuck? That's some bullshit. It's fucked up, dude. I'm out of healing items. But that's okay. Stench of blood fills the air, so... What the fuck does that mean? Because the crow is rigged? True. Raw meat. What could possibly go wrong? I've never been in here. This is level 7. Is it, we've never been past level 6, so... This should be exhilarating, my, my fellow gamers. Chat? Which direction? I'm going up, I'm going to the right. North, okay. Oh, it's a staircase. Oh shit, this might actually be dope as hell. We might have made some progress, gamers, if this is what I think it is. A shortcut. Oh, what up, dude? Nice dick. Where does this lead? It's a chair. Cool. <laughs> I like chairs. 
Fine chair. It's purpose. No, maybe it's just here. Sit on it. Of course we're gonna sit on the fucking ominous chair in a tower. Why the fuck wouldn't we? I just slept late that morning. You embarked on this macabre quest of your Sarah Callous things. You could be joined the Surrey moment, but instead, sit in this chair surrounded by piercing cold darkness. Sitting here knowing that the moment you get up, death might be waiting for you just around the corner. Hint, hint! Horrible to say the least. What could possibly go wrong? Well, now, in a normal game, that would be very cool. Too bad we can't fucking save! <laughs> so what the fuck good does it do? All right. That, that is cool, though. That when we finally do... do maybe, like, I, I guess... Just keep going through this route as efficiently as you can, and then maybe you'll get lucky with the save, and then you'll have all your shit, and you can just skip right down. Maybe I won't get the crow one of those time ta those times. It's a fucking stupid idea to try to brute force it like that, but we could. What the fuck is all this shit? Little totem poles. We're fucking Crash Bandicoot land, and look, what the fuck is this thing? Mysterious organ is pulsating. Cut it open. Purple liquid seeps from the open cut. The organ stopped moving, although you can see some movement in the veins suggesting whatever is connected to this thing continues to live. Alright. This is the tree. This is the tree from earlier. A dead person tightly embraced by the growth. Okay. Found the tree? It looks like it, yeah. Any hidden switches? I haven't found any if there are. Let's light it before we go in. That's, that's the courteous thing to do. Door seems to be locked. Force the door open. You're coming with me, stupid fucking door. Okay, so we just need the regular two hand to get into the door. We do not need the claymore. Fuck that door. What's going on, mask guide? Old book. Book of Enlightenment. What the fuck does that do? Radiates light in every color of the spectrum. You feel like the journey has just began if your existence. Spelt existence wrong, you fucking idiot. Better understanding of yourself. It's a save. Okay. I don't really want to save. I've like this. I've kind of done this as a throwaway, to be perfectly blunt. I. I guess I didn't completely fuck anything up. I had the sword. I can go get the girl and bring her to the cat. I killed the. I killed the Kremlin thing. I suppose it's not unmanageable. But I I wanna I wanna save it in a different spot just in case I wanna go back and I, I inadvertently fucked myself at some point, you know. That's good. That's good. What if we No, I'm not gonna say that. I'm not gonna say that out loud. Oh shit, what the fuck is that? We just saved. I'm gonna kick your fucking ass, you little bitch. Oh my god. Get that fucking thing out of here. I don't want to look at that anymore. Cut your fucking head off. Fuck you. Alright, so if you cut off its dick, you get to cut its head, I guess. So you immediately go for the dick. However, he's gonna fuck you up if you do. So it's best not to fight those because they attack three fucking times in a row. Okay. 
Yes, it was my birthday. I can sing if you want. I'm just tired. Happy birthday. Oh, is this one of these assholes? To you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear mascot. Happy birthday to you. So everyone has a dick in this game, I guess. Now, however, we've unlocked a shortcut. That means that we can go to the nymphs, which we have not used yet this save, and go to full health and explore the rest of the, the, the area we neglected to. See, that's the main reason that I don't really want to keep this save, is because I skipped a lot of the gathering items from, from boxes and shit, and I don't really... I don't really want to have to do that every single fucking time, you know what I mean? But... Actually, you know what? Let's, let's just go and see what's further this way. We're, we're gonna go and see, and then whatever kills us is probably gonna be it for the night. And then we'll start, we'll start over from our old save the next time we stream this. And we'll get everything, because now we know. No, alright, alright, check this shit out. The next time we stream this, we know where the save book is, we know where the shortcut is. There's zero chance of us getting fucked. There's nothing that can possibly fuck us on the way over there if we don't sit there in the room and wait for the crawl. It's literally guaranteed. Um, so... We're, we're chilling. What does the imp thing drop? I guess I could search it. So we actually just like that. That was a huge bit of progress that that we that we just experienced. Search him. Something shiny. Take it. Oh, that's why he had a boner. He had five dollars. I don't fucking blame him then. Let's light this up and maybe it'll open. Dark figure looming in the shadows. Ominous aura coming from inside. What could possibly go wrong? What is that? This is the man you came here for. Your journaling has finally led you to this meeting. He's still alive. Just barely. Try waking him up. The man gets up. Don't, it's, 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 it's not over. Don't, don't fucking worry. It's not gonna throw a save point, and then the game just ends. Gone through an intense torch with different scars and marks filling his skinny torso. His gaunt cheeks and distant eyes only strengthen the idea that this man has seen Helen survived it. Ooh. I don't remember anything besides my name. Seemed to have an amnesia. Suspect this trauma of the tortures this man has gone through that has erased his memories. I don't want to stay here. That much I know for certain. But I feel pretty weak. Do you think I could join your part? Yes. 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 That's what I'm talking about. He has a hundred health. He appears to be a knight. I can give him shit. I'm gonna give him a mace. And an eagle crest shield. And a leather helmet. Oh my fucking god. Okay, so the next time we play this shit, like a whole new world is ready. We can beat this door. There's two of us now. I don't like the noise the mace makes. <laughs> you know what we could do? If we wanted to be fucked up, we could get the claymore and give this dude the lizard sword. And we could do big dick burst damage. I bet you we can beat Shakespeare if we both have two hands. I bet you we can we can we can start beating these fucking bosses that have been giving us the, the, the dick down. Open the doors. No breaking down these doors either. Okay. Make sense of the carvings of the door they are crafted by some unknown culture. Will the rabbits have sex with him too? I'm sure they will. You could do the love ritual. We can try. Do you think he'd have sex with me? 
something in the darkness I came here for. What is it? The ancient city. The strength there. Strength? Yeah, it's been exactly. It's more like a feeling. Okay, well, let's go, dude. Open the fucking door, asshole. I'm ready to go when you are. No. He looks very... I really do look like a K-pop star, don't I? I look like fucking Jimin. Where's the sacrificial circle? All right, all right, all right. Can I kill him, you think? Not gonna happen. <laughs> he just says no. Like, you try to sacrifice, he's like, no. No. Fuck you. <laughs> like, I don't even have the option. He just says, no. No, thank you. Not right now. All right. Well, I think that that is a good note to end on nine hours and five minutes into playing this goddamn game. I'm fucking starving at this point. Sad face? We'll play this tomorrow, okay? We'll play more. We'll play more. We're gonna finish this fucking game. I told you we will. But I do not... I am not happy with the run that led up to this guy. I want to go and do everything. And then, like I said, I know how to do it now. I know where to go. There's no... Like, the next run I do, we will get to the save page. We will get the party member. And we can start opening things up. We could bust the lid off of some of the shit that's been fucking us, like the crawl. Possibly the, the head dude. You know what? You know what? Let's try the head dude right now. Let's I, I'm not ending just yet. We're gonna see if we can fuck the dude with the the wizard head on. Oh shit! Alright, scratch that thought. It looks like we're gonna get dick down. I'm not afraid of you, you little bitch. Fuck you and the tricycle you rode in on, asshole. We're gonna fight that fucking that 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 headless wizard. Okay. But first we need to sacrifice the girl so we can get the claymore. So that we can get this dude big dick damage too. We all need big dick damage in life. And we need to heal at the nymphs as well. Because I am not looking too good right now. I am I am very wounded. This game's so fucking fun, dude. Holy shit. If you guys like this shit, you, you need to get this game and support this motherfucker. <laughs> this, this, shit, this is his first game, apparently, by the way. The dude who made this, this is the first time he's tried making a game, and this is what we fucking get. That's fucking lit. That's what I'm talking about. We need more- we need more motherfuckers like this. Okay. Trading or sacrificing the girl's a mistake? Fuck no, it's not. Fuck- uh, that'd suck if I died that way. Stream over? No. I- I don't want to keep this run, so I'm gonna try to beat the- the Headless Wizard. I don't think we're gonna beat the headless wizard, but we're gonna fucking try, goddammit. We are gonna try. Because I wanna show chat just how cool some of the encounters are, because there's a lot of people who just popped in, so if they haven't seen some of the. Like, there's scarier shit than the crow in this game. Like, you know the crow that's been, that's been killing me in one shot by pecking my fucking head off? There's worse than that. <laughs> there's, there's worse than that. Oh, fuck. It's gonna take me a, 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 like five minutes to get there, though. All right. I have no expectations of this wizard dying, but I want to show people. All right. So I gotta get the book, and then I heal, and then I let's get the little girl while we're at here, here too, so we don't have to. We we need to stop here. Wait, what the fuck? Why are you here now? 
Right arm seems to be missing. There's something very intimidating. Who are you? What difference does it make? Not like we're gonna run into each other ever again. Fair enough. Second thought. The name is Isaiah. You could call me a veteran of these dungeons. Some time ago I found a manuscript concerning the ancient walls this fortress holds. There are multiple pages that were maps of sorts. Able to locate a few of the map locations that there were buried treasures hidden. A couple of the maps are a complete mystery to me. They're hidden so deep, I simply couldn't get you. In any case, I'm done with this place. I just realized something. I just realized something. You know what we got earlier? We got something earlier, didn't we, chat? Do you remember what it was? Oh, it wasn't the save. God damn it. I thought we had the Necronomicon. Fuck. I was gonna I was gonna try seeing what the Necronomicon did, but no dice. But what I could do, what I could do next time, maybe, is before I use the save book, I can go get the little girl and save right at the cat. Because the book is a consumable item. You can use it whenever the fuck you want. You don't, you don't have to wait to use the, or, the, you know what I mean? Wait, do I not have, oh my god. See, I didn't do any of this shit this run. That's why I, I don't want this to be my actual save, because I don't want to have to do this every fucking time I die. Which, as you guys have seen, dying happens frequently in this game. It is, it is not exactly an uncommon occurrence. Girl and Legrand before you use a save book? Yeah, I don't see why not. You do whatever the fuck you want. You don't even have to use it. Like, I could hypothetically use it an hour after I get it. What's going on, potato? I wanna see what that... Oh shit, he's here again. What up, bitch? Oh, this may have been... No. No, this isn't a mistake. You know why? Because I can just use this guy to heal my fucking dude. Oh, I missed. I'm fucked. The guard lost his left arm, huh? Alright, Lagarde. Get that fucking arm, asshole. Wait, why am I so weak? Am I hungry? Oh, I'm gonna die. He's actually just gonna kick my ass. Alright, so I guess we're not gonna see the wizard. You can't carry the claymore? Yeah, this entire thing has been fucked. My, my entire strategy's gone. I'll show you the wizard anyways. I don't think we were gonna kill him one or the other. We, we won. Card have a big PP? Pee -pee? Yes, he does. That's his stinger. You check your level if you live. Two. Have you never seen a bee before, Gape Your Bungus? He's just he's just a rare species of African wild bee. Just want some honey. I'm gonna show you the coolest part of this shit so far. Something I'm looking forward to uh, doing again. Let me find it. Okay. It seems, it seems good at first, right? Just some stupid fucking disembodied head. at you. He goes, <laughs> Oh shit, what's that in the background? That looks kind of scary. I wonder if he's summoning Bigfoot. Definitely looks like he's summoning a Sam Squanch. I know that demon. I really don't like the way he's looking at me. Oh, yeah, I think he wants a kiss. You were crushed with great pressure. And that will conclude.
conclude today's stream. It's been a good 9 hours and 14 minutes, my fellow gamers. I think I will do a Twitter poll as to whether or not the next stream will be this or Kingdom Hearts. So if you give a shit about that, there you go. But we're definitely playing this again. Um, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I am going to go fuck off and go eat some fucking Cheetos. So take it easy. Have a good day, good night, whatever the fuck it is for you. And I'm going to go jack off into pizza and then eat it. Goodbye.